हॅलो 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 माईक चेक हॅलो खाली बरोबर होतो ना बघा इकडच काय संबंध नाही डायरेक्ट तिकडनं आवाज येतो हॅलो 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 माईक चेक हॅलो येतो क्लिअर हॅलो 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 माईक चेक हॅलो हो आवाज क्लिअर येतो हॅलो आदित्य येस मॅम ऑनलाईन स्टार्ट केलंय का हो केलंय हॅलो गुड मॉर्निंग अँड वेलकम डॉक्टर संजय पाटील सर पीपल आर जॉईनिंग आदित्य कॅन आय स्टार्ट येस मॅम प्लीज Good morning and a warm welcome to all eminent faculties, enthusiastic delegates and dignitaries of the dais. Today's unique CME is on Tobacco Free India. 31st May is World No Tobacco Day, which informs the people the dangers of using tobacco on their healthy living and protect the future generations. It has started from 1987 by WHO. So today's faculty will be discussing on prevention and management of tobacco hazards. Dr. Nitin Abhyankar, sir, who's a convener of the CME, is a pulmonologist from Pune Hospital. So thank you, sir, for designing such a uh, uh, nice uh, informative lectures by eminent experts. So today's uh, post-learn session uh, is a unique again. Uh, tobacco free bharat by dr vinaya chitale uh, madam she is a ent surgeon in it is uh, the session is in the memory of late dr vishwanath b chitale 
and it will be followed by a spiritual discourse on manashanti by brahma kumari rohini devi uh, in the uh, at the end of the cme will be distributing uh, feedback forms so please note that i would like to do few uh, announcements now uh, that uh, ima pune 94th foundation day celebration events has already started today in the morning we had a uh, foundation day run and walk uh, so just it, it has got over so people will be joining after that uh, walk and many people have already joined and in the evening after this uh, cme by 6:30 we'll be having a melody monarch orchestra with performances by our ima own ima members in this same auditorium with old hit songs of bollywood please do attend on 31st may which is the foundation day of ima pune the, there is a hilarious audio visual presentation by dr ragunath godbole sir on doctors on everest over last 100 years chief guest of this function is mr sunandan sunandan lele sports journalist from uh, well known uh, sports journalist on 5th june we have variety of uh, events with recipe and rangoli competition art exhibition and vivida gunadarshan that is rangara karyakram by ima pune uh, ima members and their uh, families so it's a must attend function singing dance stand up comedy skit poetry and katha kathan and others on 12th june we have one uh, mmc point cme on diet and nutrition on 19th june we have diabetic food workshop it's again a physical cme and 21st june we have a yoga day celebration at 7:30 in the morning at kelkar hall so with this introduction i uh, request our president dr minakshi deshpande madam to give her presidential address good morning dr kalyan gangwal sir and welcome to this uh, auditorium good morning all of you and welcome on this nice sunday morning uh, i would like to welcome dr gangwal sir over here in the auditorium physically and uh, dr pratinidhi madam is also here one of our most senior members of ima and we are proud to have them physically over here in ima sancheti auditorium today welcome sir and madam and we are also having our faculty dr nitin abhyankar over here and we thank him profusely for giving us a cme today on occasion of world no tobacco day the occasion is also very apt as well as the topics which he has selected along with the faculty are also extremely right topic and the right faculty we have got today so i welcome you all again and just to give you a recap of few things which we are having in future for our all our ima members is first of all you increase your coming to ima building because we have kept so many programs now for you that it is not a excuse of not coming to ima and attending online only so i request all of you to make up your minds and come to ima to attend the ima pune programs on 31st of may which we are having is the actual 94th ima foundation day we are having a nice program between 4 to 6 pm it is a talk by dr ragunath godbole and he will be telling us few important slides and information about 100 doctors who have gone to mount everest and come back so it is also uh, organized on occasion of a mount everest day which falls today it is uh, the day falls today but we are taking today's program on 31st of may at 4 pm and of course the critic and the uh, chief guest will be mr sunandan lele an eminent sports journalist so i request all of you to come in large numbers at 4 pm on this tuesday at 4 o'clock in the same auditorium after that we will be having a 5th june rangarang program in which our own ima pune members are uh, we are encouraging them to participate in our um, rangarang program which includes singing and dances poetry katha kathan and whatever you are talent it is talent of ima pune members it is for ima pune members and by ima pune members so i request all of you to join over there also 
Second thing is we are having a Yukon 2022 conference. It's a IMA Maharashtra State Conference, which we are holding here in Pune city. It will be hosted by IMA Pune and we welcome you all of you to register also for uh, this conference. The early birds charges are very less. You can contact us for that and register yourself at least in the month of June for very minimal charges. The venue will be very exotic menu, I'm sure, and we will announce it shortly. It is there on 27th and 28th of August. And including in, in that are many cultural activities program. And I would invite all the lady doctors of IMA to become a part of this conference because it is going to be a very uh, extravagant conference with a very good menu also and very good venue and very good cultural programs also. So that is there. And uh, of course, last but not the least, we have got our delegate, we have got our feedback forms today. Uh, and I would know, I would like every one of you to know that now from this year onwards, we are having 30% for online and 70% for physical attending CMEs. So in the after next five years, the points will be calculated for physical CMEs like in the range of 60 to 70% and 30 to 40% will be in the range of online CMEs. So that is the main reason why we are encouraging you to attend physically all the conferences with MMC points so that your physical attendance will be marked. So with these words, I would give hand over the mic again to secretary and thank you all so much for attending this conference, this CME. Thank you, Dr. Minakshi, madam. Now I request Dr. Nitin Abhankar, sir, today's convener of the CME to say, give overview of the CME. I think it's the first time back offline in IMA Pune after nearly God knows, three years, something like that. Uh, no, the, the IMA CME, my, my, for me, it is, yeah. I mean, it's, it's a pleasure and a privilege to be here once again. And I think uh, today's topic is a lot, lot, lot more serious than what we actually take it to be. Because we say as a country, we are sinking a Titanic daily. So a Titanic full of men or women are dying daily because of tobacco related diseases. So it's a huge horror, which is completely preventable. And that is something which brings us all these people together. And I think the idea is very simple. Uh, Rushali will introduce you to the basic idea of how nicotine is addicting. And then it is going to be few stellar people, I mean, Dr. Gangbal sir, Pratinidhi madam, they are there. So the first part of this CME is going to deal with the smokeless part of the tobacco or the chewable tobacco, you can say. And the combustible part, we will start with Ajit, me, and uh, we'll go through that. And I'll end the on the pre-lunch uh, lecture will be about the actual de-addiction strategies, which are medical strategies. But a lot more needs to be done beyond that. And therefore the post-lunch part is actually divided, uh, I mean, is designed for the social outreach programs. And we have three excellent social outreach programs out of which two are related to tobacco. And I've included one brilliant program from Dr. Arvind Kumar, who is a very renowned surgeon from Medanta in Delhi. And he's going to not talk about the tobacco part of it. This is the only non-tobacco lecture, but it's about the air pollution in Delhi and what he has done. It's something worth seeing. You know, the whole idea is uh, today's, I've used this opportunity to showcase the best of brains and best of hearts. Dr. Gangwal, sir, I know he speaks from his heart when it comes to it. And of course, I mean, we have the brain here, Dr. Pratinidhi Madam. So that, these are two examples of you know, brain and heart who are dedicated themselves, their entire lives to this kind of a mission. And I think it will be worth listening to uh, from these stal stalwarts. With that, uh, I hand it over to the secretary. Thank you. Thank you, sir. So we'll be starting CME. Today's uh, chairpersons for the first uh, morning session is Dr. Arun Halbe and Dr. Shilpa Naik. They'll be joining because in the morning they were for the uh, foundation day uh, walk. So the uh, sir will be joining uh, in a short time. With this, uh, I in, uh, introduce uh, our uh, first speaker, Dr. Rushali Khadke. 
to this slide. Mm. And her topic is pathobiology of nicotine addiction. Just now, sir has told us that she'll be telling us about the nicotine addiction. So she is an interventional pulmonologist at Pune Hospital, Inamdar Hospital, and Shwas Clinic, Pune. So I think with this uh, short introduction, I will uh, request Madam to come on the dais and deliver her lecture. So an extremely good morning to all of you. I mean, it is heartening to see that on a Sunday morning, people are actually coming in to speak about the topic like no tobacco. It shows how much close it is to everyone's heart. And with that, uh, I also will be actually united with Dr. Neeta Ghate. Excuse me, ma'am. She's been my ENT teacher and I'm meeting her after a good 22 years. So uh, basically, thank you, IMA Pune, Dr. Uh, and thank you, Dr. Abhyankar, for uh, designing this beautiful CME. I'll straight away go to the pathobiology of nicotine addiction. I'm sure everyone us, you know, keeps on encouraging, or rather, we keep on pointing out to people who are in our uh, people we know who are smoking that you know you stop smoking. But what goes behind the stop is very important, and there will it will change our perspective as to how we can approach these people. So uh, we, I will be delving on these topics. What is the current tobacco use in India? Then what is the definition of an addiction? Why it is important to understand what an addiction is? And then the general mechanism as well as the neurobiology of nicotine addiction in particular. So before that, um, I'm a small question for everyone. What do you think is nicotine? Is it an acid or an alkali? Uh, hands off, uh, hand show for an acid? and hand show for an alkali. Actually, it's an alkali. Okay, so, so this is a, a part and parcel of trouble of our life and we are very, very uh, less aware of this. Next, uh, what is the time taken by nicotine to stimulate the brain? Is it seven to 10 seconds? Is it 15 minutes? Is it two hours? Who is going for seven to 10 seconds? Show of hands again. Okay, three of them, 15 minutes. Another five, six, seven of them and two hours. Okay, so uh, actually in my first slide itself, in my introductory slide, it was a small, you know, a point place where I had written down it reaches the brain within 10 seconds. That's the reason, you know, you see people uh, immediately have puff onto a cigarette whenever there is a stressful situation or whatever. And two hours is a half life. So by that time, the nicotine is washed out of the body and the patient, person is ready for the next. Okay, with this, we go to the current tobacco use. So nearly 267 million adults, that is 26.7 crore adults in India are users of tobacco. That is huge considering a population of 140 crores. The most prevalent form of tobacco use in India is the smokeless tobacco. And it's commonly used products are Kenny, Gutka, Vital Quid with Tobacco and Zerda. So besides the nicotine effect on the person's body, we are well aware that this, the smokeless tobacco is also responsible for the um, littering around in our country, as well as the spread of infectious diseases, particularly the respiratory infections. Now this, 42.4% of the men are addicted to tobacco and 14.2% of women in India are addicted to tobacco. Among the youth, that is the children who are uh, in their teenage, 13 to 15 years of age, 8.5% currently use some form of tobacco. 
this is 9.6% in the boys and 7.4% in the girls. And uh, there's an equal distribution of smokeless as well as smoked tobacco. This comes in from the uh, Ministry of Health and Family Welfare Government of India uh, survey, as well as a global adult uh, tobacco survey. One of them was in 1617, the other one was done recently in 1920. So now more than 1 million adults die each year in India and around 9 million globally due to tobacco use. In India, this accounts for 9.5% of overall deaths. And the prevalence of tobacco use, though declined in many areas in the country, that is really heartening, except in our, the, the eastern part of India, you know, our, uh, the seven jewels. Uh, hopefully, this, that jewelry in the northeast is getting blackened with the suit of tobacco. Okay. And uh, in case of women, the prevalence has declined in most of all the states, except for Mizoram and Sikkim. So tobacco India in northeast is a definite challenge. So this uh, shows us in short, you know, that what has been the tobacco use in uh, 1617 and 1920. And we can see that in. So here in Goa, though it's a minimal increase from 15 to 18 percent, Goa, Gujarat, okay, and uh, this is Mizoram, and Sikkim, you are seeing that is an increased trend towards use of tobacco, whereas uh, it's quite less in Kerala and all other states. You can see Andaman and Nicole 58 percent, Assam 59 percent, Bihar 48 percent, Gujarat is 41 percent. We come down to again Manipur, Meghalaya 56 percent, uh, Mizoram is a uh, whopping 70 percent, and uh, this is Tripura that is 60 percent almost. All of these states, this is particularly men, though in the women it is not as much, but definitely not women. In Tripura, you can see even in women it is 50 percent use of tobacco. So that is definitely something which we need to work upon. And, and uh, you'll understand from my next slides that why it is important to prevent tobacco rather than later on get them off the addiction. Second hand smoke exposure was not talked about in whatever I spoke about. So it is 30.2% of the adults are exposed to second hand smoke and 21% of the youth also is exposed to second hand smoke. Cost in the society, 1718. It cost uh, the economic cost of tobacco attributable disease and death in India was 1,773 billion. So let me speak in percentage. The direct health co care costs were 22% of the total health care was uh, spent on tobacco and indirect costs was something around 78%. The cost of premature death was 75% of the total economic costs. And the total cost of tobacco is around 1.04% of India's GDP. Whereas we uh, spend, India spends around 1.28% of its GDP on healthcare. So which pathway is hijacked by nicotine? Again, for the audience, or shall I release a little bit of tobacco smoke over here so that everyone is activated? You know, because it's, I said it's 10 seconds. Anyways, uh, so we have the happiness pathway, then is the pain pathway and the reward pathway. Anybody? The, the happiness? Okay, the pain pathway or the reward pathway. Okay, so it is the reward pathway. Forget the happiness, it's the reward pathway. And that is the reason you want more. I think all of us would like more rewards. We are made like that. You know, we human beings are made in that manner that we would like rewards. So now the definition of addiction. Uh, addiction is defined as... drugs change the brain. They change its structure and how it works. These brain changes can be long lasting and can lead to harmful behavior seen in people who abuse drugs. This is from the National Institute on Drug Addiction. So I would like to play this video for you all. Uh, the first thing let's, let's try over here.
Papa? Huh? So but basically what this video shows is that, uh, you know, we are not born with addictions, but when we, uh, you know, for example, a child, you know, uh, when he gets some kind of a toy, which makes sound for, for them, that is important, you know, that it gives them pleasure. But when you bite into a good food, that good food ensures that there's release of dopamine from the brain. And then you feel, yeah, this is yummy. You can't bite into coal and, you know, that feel feedback is not there. So generally a human brain is taught how to, you know, what is yummy and what is not. So generally, whatever is bad, which you say, no, this is bad, you will avoid it. But what happens with all these uh, psychoactive or addicting substances is that they have particular chemicals in them, which ensure that you, they cheat on the brain and they behave like a part of the normal chemicals which are present in the brain. And they can overcome this uh, path, which, which is that this is not right. And thereby, the brain gets hooked onto those chemicals. So another thing which you realize is that you normally, you know, you know, I uh, love to, my brain gets the reward system when I possibly dance or when I possibly read a good book. There also I get a good pleasure or I see, I get happiness and with food. But if I'm not given a cup book for a couple of days, so I think I'll go with the, uh, so this is what, you know, when you bite into the apple, the dopamine release and you get pleasure. So the brain perceives this as healthy, it's good for survival and let's do it again. Same thing when you're playing, you know, uh, kids who play games, this is when you're reading a book. So all of this, they will release the dopamine to a certain level, but the food releases it to the maximum level. So now here comes the survival, um, the hierarchy of survival. That is, if you're kept away from a book, doesn't nothing happens. But if you're kept away from food for two days, you will be craving the food more than you will be craving a good book or thing. So this is called as the hierarchy of survival. So food, water, sleep and exercise is how it is. So you cannot eat a snow and this is, you know, you don't like to be punched. This is not what the brain will accept because it's painful, it's bad for survival. And you know, you get in this, and this need not be done again. But as I told you, these addict addicting substances, be it alcohol, be it marijuana, be it uh, cigarette, which we know are harmful for us, if by chance, we happen to drink it. What I did, I tell you that they have certain chemicals in them, which beat the pathway in the brain and make them more addicting and in fact, what happens, see, that the alcohol or the uh, nicotine that comes much higher up and your food and water and sleep goes much lower down. So much so that the brain perceives if between two choices, both food and the alcohol, it perceives that alcohol is more important for the survival. And you might not eat food and this, which you have normally seen, and people will be drinking and lying down and people will be smoking without food for hours together. So that is what is addiction is. Now we'll understand why do we need to know the uh, addiction in nicotine. Nicotine completely juckerifies the brain as if, you know, it just ties up the brain. You know, 70% of the smokers want to quit. Only 35% try each year. Spontaneous quit rates are so, so poor. It's just 1% per year. With the help of physician, just me talking to or you talking to your patient, it ensures that this goes to 3%. Is that adequate absolutely not minimal intervention programs you know will you know maybe you can give nicotine replacements amount of counseling that is five to ten percent and with intensive treatment and smoking cessation clinics that goes to 25 to 30 percent so we are still left with a whooping 70 percent people who are still addicted hence it's important to know that what is addiction now for the general mechanism and the neurobiology of nicotine so uh, nicotine is rapidly absorbed from tobacco or the e-smoke and it goes into the pulmonary circulation. The nicotinic cholinergic receptors in, are activated in the brain within 10, 7 to 10 seconds. Half-life of nicotine is only two hours. Smokeless tobacco is, however, of slow onset and has less intense effect than having a smoked tobacco. 
what it does it causes pleasure it increases alertness it improves performance it causes relief of anxiety or depression reduced hunger and also controls bo uh, body weight by the same means it has cognitive enhancing effects including imp uh, improve, uh, including the improvement of fine motor functions the attention your working memory and your episodic memory now in addition to these direct cues there are certain environmental cues or you know some certain things which act in uh, hand with the uh, nicotine cues that is you know you tend to have nicotine with a meal when you meet friends with a drink you know these are all triggers these are conditioned to cause you to crave for nicotine then who has more risk of nicotine use is people with mental illnesses people in uh, children especially or adolescents where there is peer and parental influences all of this increases the risk of nicotine use now the neurobiology nicotine binds specifically to the nicotinic acetylcholine receptors in the brain the autonomic ganglia the adrenal medulla and the neuromuscular junction but what is important for addiction is its effect on the brain the smoking causes up regulation of these receptors that is eventually so as uh, i'll just explain to you the mechanism that when you smoke and i say the nicotinic receptors are activated directly on the dopaminergic pathway which forms in the ventral tegmental area i think i'll go to the next slide and come back so the nicotine enters the brain from here there is stimulation of the nicotinic receptors and this is the mesolimbic pathway this causes dopamine release predominantly from the ventral tegmental area and this pathway is projected onto the nucleus accumbens and it's also involving the prefrontal cortex nicotine releases dopamine this causes pleasure and appetite suppression it releases norepinephrine i'm sorry and this causes arousal again appetite suppression acetylcholine is released leading to arousal and cognitive enhancement glutamate increase learning and memory enhancement serotonin mood modulation appetite suppression beta endorphin reduction of the anxiety and tension and gaba is actually an inhibitory uh, neurotransmitter that is suppressed and this again reduces the anxiety and the tension so the behavioral awards are largely linked to dopamine release with an impact of gaba receptors cytochrome p40 p450 affects the speed of metabolism so they can be poor metabolizers and fast metabolizers this is important for us to know in uh, particularly when we want to plan a nicotine replacement or smoking cessation behavior in a particular individual nicotine increases the fire in the ventral tegmental area and causes dopamine release from the uh, receptors and this is again sustained by a glutamate release which is again through the nicotine so addicting potential of inhaled nicotine is higher than that of nicotine replacement therapy and hence we use these therapies to get away from nicotine this is what i was uh, showing you so this is the ventral tegmental area and the nucleus accumbens and from here what you see is that uh, when the smoke is inhaled it acts directly on the dopaminergic um, receptors as well as through the glutamate increase they will have a positive influence and release dopamine whereas the nicotine uh, where is the gaba the gaba receptors actually have an inhibitory effect on this so this is important for us and it will be dealt with uh, uh, people will be discussed about the pharmacological aspect of nicotine uh, addiction and which pathways can be blocked is important in that case so when a person tries to stop smoking what happens is when they smoke the nicotine reaches the brain the brain dopaminergic system is activated there's a calm and pleasant feeling the level of nicotine fall and feel good factor disappears and they crave for more chronic nicotine use leads to neuroadaptation increase number of receptors this is very important so as i was just telling i explained the mechanism so when a person smokes the, there are the receptors uh, they will release dopamine and the surge is real rapid eventually with chronic use the dopamine release will be lessened so more neuroreceptors are formed on that particular area of the brain and that increases the craving for nicotine further and further because the patient, the person doesn't feel that kind of a pleasure which was felt with one cigarette hedonic dysregulation this is the absence of nicotine from the body leads to subnormal release of the dopamine causing the withdrawal signs and that explains the craving so what will happen to a person one they'll become restless they get headaches they'll be tremulous there will be difficulty concentrating they will have insomnia increased coughing anxiety or nervousness there can be depression there will be reduction in the uh, heart rate an increased appetite irritability anger frustration and therefore they will seek more nicotine 
Now, one small thing I think you know uh, is not really a part of my this, but a nicotine level in separate com uh, cigarettes or separate e uh, cigarettes or the vapes are different because you know what the tobacco companies do is they can they add menthol to it to reduce the irritation. They add various flavors, particularly in the for the youngsters in the e cigarettes, which are there to mask the harshness of smoke. They add ammonia, ammonia compounds to increase the speed at which nicotine is absorbed in the brain. and even bronchotilators in some places so that more nicotine reaches the pulmonary circulation and from there to the brain and sometimes add sugar to make it easier to inhale and form acetaldehyde which further enhances nicotine's addictive effects uh, before that i'll just play a small video for i come to the take home points for today yeah i'm done this is a one minute video Anyway, he doesn't. Uh, I was in that scene. So I think I'll uh, skip the video. It basically shows how the nicotine receptors are upregulated. Okay, so it's a beautiful understanding for us. Yeah. So this is how the smoke is inhaled, goes through the airways into the pulmonary circulation. From there, it is carried to the brain. And I said this takes only seven to ten seconds. and this will show how it goes and act, uh, binds to the nicotine acetylcholine receptors which normally are uh, you acetylcholine binds to it but here the nicotine goes and binds these receptors and this as i told you in the vta and so on and so forth so these are your receptors once the nicotine goes and binds then there is exchange of the various ions So the closed uh, receptor opens up, and then this travels uh, to the VTA, uh, the nucleus accumbens. This is what we see, and the patient feels the pleasure. This is a dopamine release, which I told you with chronic use actually stops, and uh, we go back to the take-home points. So research shows that the dopamine release with the chronic use will actually go down, and therefore there will be an upregulation of the receptors, or which is called as tolerance to the drug. so the take him point is definitely not that nicotine should be used for weight loss uh, yeah so nicotine is extremely addictive the tobacco use though showing a reduced trend which is really heartening and which is what we would all like is still a huge health and economic burden it has got a very short half life so there is severe withdrawal once there is no nicotine in the body the development of tolerance and upregulation of nicotine receptors leading to an increased use 
Bismal quit rates are because of this neurobiology, which I hope now everyone has understood quite well. And thank you so much, uh, uh, IMA and Dr. Abhankar for having me. This is the theme for uh, this year's No Tobacco Day on the 31st, that is poisoning our planet. Tobacco uh, is poisoning right from using the plantations. There is deforestation, excess water use, as well as whatever the butts of the tobacco are, they are leading the, because of the plastic that is all generating waste. So now we are not going to stop the tobacco directly. What we're going to show is the harmful effects of tobacco on the environment. So thank you so much. I uh, hope I, this was quite clear and uh, any questions? I think none really. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Just a minute. Just a minute. So thank you, Maram, for your uh, very informative lecture. Sir, I'm, I'm. Oh, sir. So, here we have online. I don't know if it's a good Yeah. You had to bear with more of my sound. Yeah. Sorry for the technical Sundar error. Sundar uh, I request our president, Dr. Vinakshi Deshpande, madam, to come on the dais to felicitate uh, our speaker. And I uh, request Dr. Arul Harbe, sir, to join the felicitation. And Dr. Gitanjali. Thank you, madam. Now, the next lecture. I don't think uh, I have to introduce uh, the speaker, the well-known uh, speaker, Dr. Kalyan Gangwal, sir, who is known uh, to Pune as well as Maharashtra and India also. So uh, he'll be speaking on Gutka and oral tobacco, the hidden uh, horror. Uh, I will request Dr. Nitin Abhankar to say a few words and uh, introduce him uh, as he wish. I always look up to him. He's taller than me. So I have to do that. And he's taller in all aspects. You can say that. <laughs> At his age, with the kind of energy that he is active is phenomenal. Sometimes I feel Paritosh is little, you know. <laughs> Sir, it is always an honor and a pleasure to have you in any meetings. And you have been the guiding light in the anti gutka Active uh, activity which has been going on for decades, and I think you have had some major successes. So, with that, the desk is yours, sir. Kalyan Majavaro, Puzurashan, Puzum, Brorota, and it's a medicine, Brorats, Shaka, and a good cartoon. Attentive, devotedly, Chan Kelly, Donika, and Sarkas, Luxury. Yeah, whom could go to it. Adarni Chairman, my colleague, Dr. Abhankar, the office bearers of IMA. I'm very happy to be here today. Ek vegri goshta sangnara me ki aaj me Marathi tar bolna raha hai. Yacha karana sir ki ek gale saata torshe ami ek moment chalu ke liye hai ki sagay avle regional conferences ya regional language mein dekhaoya. Just a me Madhya Pradesh, Jabal Rajasthan Made, even a medical conferences, Ya Hindi Made Salukalia head, and Ya moments are me ek promoter, Ani Adya Pravartak, Munumi Kam Kartoe, Ani ek moment ami Salukalia. Can it has Lady Sakalo, Marathi Zanta? Munapa English Adhar Kaichi Gurze as a Malawa Kaiwat of Nine. Dusi goes to moment Jasami pioneer ahe, Tiami India Nahi, Bharat Bolo moment. Kami India he now Karunta cover. आमचं जे भारत नाव आहे ते परत एस्टॅब्लिश व्हावं यासाठी आम्ही प्रत्येक ठिकाणी प्रयत्न करावा प्रत्येक डॉक्टरनी प्रयत्न करावा प्रत्येक एज्युकेटेड माणसांनी प्रयत्न करावा असं माझा अभिप्राय आणि म्हणूनच आज जेव्हा मला अभिनंदनी बोलावलं तेव्हा मी त्याला एक गोष्ट सांगितली की मी एक डॉक्टर म्हणून येण्यापेक्षा एक सोशल वर्कर म्हणून मी या प्लॅटफॉर्मवर आज येतोय कारण अँटी गुटका मोमेंट ही मी चालू केली हे मी अभिमानाने सांगू इच्छितो मला अजून ते दिवस आठवतात जेव्हा या गुटखा उत्पादक दोन्ही तो जयसिंगपूरचा असो या शिरूरचा असो हे सगळे फॅमिली मेंबर माझे पेशंट होते 
ते सगळे माझ्याकडे यायचे आणि एक दिवस तो अजूनही आठवतो की हे आल्यानंतर त्यांनी मला खिशातून एक पाकिट दाखवलं आणि ते म्हणाले डॉक्टर मी एक मोठं प्रॉडक्ट लॉन्च करणार आहे आणि ते प्रॉडक्ट संबंध क्रांती घडून टाकेल आमच्या ह्या व्यवसायाची मी म्हटलं काय प्रॉडक्ट आहे तर त्यांनी मला दाखवलं की हे प्रॉडक्ट आहे आणि याला आम्ही गुटखा म्हणणार आहोत आणि हे प्रॉडक्ट आम्ही लॉन्च करणार आहोत मी त्यांना विचारलं ह्या गुटख्याच्या मध्ये आहे काय कारण तो पण मला काही कल्पना नव्हती हातावर मळून खाणारे तंबाखू आणि ग्रामीण भागात लावणाऱ्या मशेरी लावणाऱ्या बायका ही आम्ही पाहतच होतो आणि त्यांच्या विरोधात आम्ही काम करतच होतो पण हा नवीन प्रकार जेव्हा त्यांनी मला सांगितला तेव्हा मला आश्चर्याचा धक्का बसला तो धक्का असा होता की त्यांनी सांगितलं की काथ चुना सुपारी आणि तंबाखू यांचं हे मिश्रण आहे आणि याच्यात आणखीन काही अशा केमिकल टाकलेले आहेत की ज्यामुळे ते खाल्ल्यानंतर पंधरा दिवसात तो आमच्या कब्जात पूर्णपणे माणूस येईल आता तू सांगितलंस की निकोटीन हे ऍडिक्टिंग आहे पण या निकोटीन पेक्षा देखील अनेक अशी ऍडिक्टिंग सबस्टन्सेस त्यात टाकली होती आणि जेव्हा त्यांनी मला दाखवलं आणि त्यांनी सांगितलं की हे आम्ही लॉन्च करणार आहोत आणि याच्यात प्रोफेशनल सिक्रेट पण आहे कारण आम्ही असे काही अरोमॅटिक हायड्रोकार्बन्स सुगंधी द्रव्याच्या नावाखाली टाकणार आहोत की ज्यामुळे मी ताबडतो प्रेडिक्शन होईल आणि हे सगळं सांगितल्यानंतर मी म्हटलं की हे कोणतं मोठं विष हा तयार करतोय मी खूप अभ्यास केला अर्धा दिवस मी त्याच्या मागे लागलो आणि मग माझ्या लक्षात आलं की हे किती भयानक विष आहे निकोटीन हे वाईट आहे तंबाखू ही वाईट आहे टोबॅको इज बॅड वी नो एव्हरीबडी आम्हाला सगळ्यांनाच माहिती आहे आणि मी नेहमीच तंबाखूच्या विरोधात व्यसनांच्या विरोधात अभियान गेले पन्नास वर्ष करतोय ग्रामीण भागात फिरतोय जसं शाकाहाराचं अभियान आहे जीवदयाचं अभियान आहे पशुवलीचं अभियान आहे बैलगाड्यांच्या शर्यती रोखण्याचे अभियान आहे तशी अनेक अभियानं मी करत असतो आणि प्रॅक्टिस जवळ जवळ तीन दिवस करतो आणि पाच सहा दिवस संपूर्ण आयुष्य याच्यासाठी तन मन आणि धन हे सगळं समर्पित करून मी करतोय आणि आपल्याला सांगायला मला अभिमान वाटतो की माझ्या उत्पन्नाचा पन्नास टक्के भाग ज्या दिवशी मी प्रॅक्टिस चालू केली त्या दिवसापासून केवळ याच कामासाठी वापरतो एकही पैसा कुणाकडनं दान म्हणून घेतलेला नाही आणि वापरलेला नाही आणि हे सुप्रीम कोर्टापर्यंत आम्ही लढायला लढतोय आता हे बैलगाड्यांच्या शर्यती परत चालू झाल्या आहेत आम्ही परत आता आमची लढाई चालू केलेली आहे आणि हे राजकारणी लोकांच्या विरोधात लढाया करणं म्हणजे भयानक महा कठीण काम आहे आणि या कठीण कामाची शिक्षा देखील त्यांनी मला अनेक वेळा द्यायचा प्रयत्न केला पण मला असं वाटतं चांगलं काम करणाऱ्या व्यक्तीला प्रोटेक्शन देणारी कोणतरी सुपर पॉवर अजूनही जिवंत आहे असं मला वाटतं कारण चार वेळा देखील या गुटखा उत्पादकांनी मला मारण्याचा प्रयत्न केला आणि मी त्याच्यातून प्रत्येक वेळी वाचलो सांगायचं एक गोष्ट आहे की हे गुटखा उत्पादक हे इतक्या खालच्या थराला जाऊन हे सगळं करत होते आणि मग मी याच्या विरोधात अभियान चालू केलं कारण मी पाहिलं की जेव्हा तंबाखू आणि चुना काच सुपारी आणि ही सुगंधी द्रव्य आणि आणखीन काय काय त्यात मिक्स केलेलं आहे याचं प्रोफेशनल सिक्रेट म्हणून ते सांगायला तयार नव्हते हे सगळं एका पुढीत ठेवल्यानंतर ज्याची डेट ऑफ मॅन्युफॅक्चरिंग माहीत नाही त्याची केमिकल रिॲक्शन त्या पुढीमध्ये काय होत असेल याचा आम्हाला कल्पना नाही हे लोक जेव्हा खातील तेव्हा काय होईल याचा मी विचार करायला लागलो आणि मग याच्या विरोधात मोठं कॅम्पेन तयार करावं आणि हे करावं म्हणून मी चालू केलं मला अजूनही तो दिवस आठवतो मी थोडा नाराज होतो आय एम ए वर म्हणून मी आय एम ए मध्ये येत पण नव्हतो का कारण मी जवळजवळ तीस पंचवीस वर्षापूर्वी आय एम ए मध्ये बऱ्याच वेळा येऊन गेलो आणि त्यांना सांगितलं की याच्या गुटखा विरोधी कॅम्पेन आपण आय एम एच्या थ्रू चालू करू कारण हे डॉक्टरांची कन्सर्न आहे इट इज रिलेटेड टू हेल्थ वाय शुड नॉट बी कम टुगेदर बट त्यावेळी मला विरोध केला आणि ते म्हणाले की टोबॅको डॉबी इतकी काही पॉवरफुल आहे त्यांच्या विरोधात आम्ही बोलणार नाही आणि आम्हाला अशा उद्योग करण्यात इंटरेस्ट नाही हे जेव्हा मी त्यांच्याकडनं ऐकलं पदाधिकाऱ्यांकडनं तेव्हापासून मी इकडे यायचं देखील थोडं कमी केलं होतं कमी केलं होतं हे निस्पष्टपणे आपल्याला सांगू इच्छितो आणि म्हणून मला असं वाटतं की हे अभियान आपण आता व्यसनांच्या विरोधातले अभियान त्याचं आपण पुढाकार घेऊन केलं पाहिजे कारण शेवटी वी आर हेल्थ आम्ही लोकांच्या आरोग्याशी निगडीत आहोत आणि लोकांचं आरोग्य सांभाळणं हे महत्वाची गोष्ट आहे असं मला वाटतं आणि म्हणून समाजात अशा काही वाईट गोष्टी घडत असतील तर त्याच्या विरोधात आपण कटाक्षाने उभं राहावं कटाक्षाने उभं राहावं मी शाकाहाराच्या बद्दल जास्त बोलू इच्छित नाही पण एक गोष्ट मी सांगतो आत्ताच मी माझ्या अमेरिकेच्या दौऱ्यामध्ये निर्णय युनिव्हर्सिटीमध्ये जी लेक्चर्स दिली मला आश्चर्याचा धक्का बसला थर्टी टू फॉर्टी पर्सेंट पीपल इन द कॉलेजेस आर बिकमिंग व्हेजिटेरियन इवन देर आर लार्ज नंबर युनिव्हर्सिटी इन अमेरिका दे आर हॅव्हिंग व्हीगन किचन बिकॉज दिस मोमेंट हॅज गॉन दे आर बिकॉज द पीपल हॅव रिअलाइज की दॅट ideal food for a human being is a vegetarian food and not a non veg food so this sort of a thing this moment starts from the medical profession aplya rashya vatel ki atta pasun 50 varsha purcha kalat mare mi pahat hoto anek doctors amcha even hostel madhe resident doctors quarters mare anek jan smoke karat hote pan ata smoke karnare doctors aplyala virala distil yacha karan asa ki jevha he white ahe he lakshat yeto tevha badal medical community madhe
अँटी गुटखा कॅम्पेन चालू केलं आम्ही शाळांमध्ये चालू केलं पेपरमध्ये चालू केलं टी व्हीवर मुलाखती घ्यायला सुरुवात केली आकाशवाणीवर मी मला लेक्चर द्यायला सुरुवात केली आणि या सगळ्यातून आम्ही एक मोठं वातावरण निर्माण केलं पोलिटिकल लोकांना भेटलो पण त्यांची मानसिकता नव्हती कारण गुटख्यापासून मिळणारं उत्पादन डायरेक्ट सरकारच्या तिजोरीत किती जातं त्याच्यापेक्षा त्यांच्या खिशात किती जातं याला फार महत्व होतं आणि म्हणूनच याच्या विरोधात आम्ही अभियान चालू केलं आणि आपल्याला कित्येक लोकांना माहीत असेल की हा गणेशोत्सव आपला महाराष्ट्राचा सगळ्यात प्रेस्टिजियस उत्सव हा गुटखा महोत्सव या लोकांनी केला होता आणि मला तेव्हा की वाटली मी त्याच्या विरोधात मोठा आवाज उठवला होता की गणपतीच्या समोर मोठं ताट ठेवायचे आणि त्या गुटख्याच्या पुढ्या ठेवायचे आणि त्यांना तिथे लिहिलेलं असायचं की ज्यांना जितक्या पुढ्या घ्यायच्या त्यांनी त्या घ्याव्या आणि लोक खिशे भर भरून त्या पुढ्या घेऊन जायचे कारण त्यांना माहीत होतं की ही मुलं हे लोक खातील आणि हे आपल्या ऍडिक्ट होणार आहे हाच प्रकार त्यांनी शाळांमध्ये चालू केला त्याच्या विरोधात आम्ही मोठं अभियान चालू केलं शाळेच्या बाहेर हे गुटखा उत्पादक त्यांचे सेल्समन शबनम बॅगा भरून उभे राहायचे आणि शाळेकरी मुलांना ते गुटख्याचे सॅम्पल जसे डॉक्टरला फ्री सॅम्पल देतात तसे त्यांच्या फ्री सॅम्पल म्हणून त्यांना देत होते आणि हे सगळं मी पाहिल्यानंतर मला वाईट वाटायला लागलं कारण जेव्हा मी पाहिलं त्या शाळेमधले जो जो वीस टक्के मुलं गुटखा ऍडिक्ट व्हायला लागली आहे मग शाळेचे पैसे ट्युशनचे पैसे खाऊचे पैसे हे गुटखा खरेदी करण्यासाठी हे मुलं वापरायला लागले तेव्हा आम्ही आरोग्य मंत्र्याकडे गेलो त्याच्या हातापाया पडलो त्यावेळी आपल्याला माहीत असेल डॉक्टर आहेर हे एन टी सर्जन होते नाशिकचे तर ते त्यांच्याकडे गेलो त्यांना आम्ही हातपाया पडवून सांगितलं की बाबा रे हे थांबव तू आणि मग त्यांनी एक थोडा फतवा काढला की शाळेच्या एवढ्या एरियामध्ये गुटखा विकायला परवानगी नाही किंवा तंबाखू विकायला परवानगी नाही तो नियम देखील कधी पाळत नव्हते कारण पोलीस खात्याकडे तक्रार करून देखील कोणी ऍक्शन घेत नव्हतं आणि म्हणूनच मला वाटतं की ह्या सगळ्या गोष्टीच्या विरोधात तंबाखू विरोधी अभियान हे जन अभियान व्हायला पाहिजे आणि हे अभियान आपण करायला डॉक्टर या नात्याने आपली मोठी जबाबदारी आहे असं मी मानतो असं मी मानतो आणि म्हणूनच नो टबॅको डे जेव्हा सेलिब्रेशन करायचं जेव्हा अभ्यंकरी मला सांगितलं तेव्हा मी म्हणालो मी नक्की येईन तसं मी फारसं आता जात नाही कारण मी आता डॉक्टरपेक्षा सोशल फील्डमध्ये जास्त काम करतो आणि याच कामात मी माझा सगळा वेळ घालवतो पण आज मला खरंच आनंद होतो आहे की आपण याबद्दल जागरण करूया आपण एकत्र येऊया समाजात काहीतरी चांगलं घडवण्याचा प्रयत्न करूया आणि याच्या विरोधात मोठं अभियान आपण चालू करूया तंबाखू बद्दल मी जास्त बोलू इच्छित नाही कारण ते आपल्याला सगळ्यांनाच माहिती आहे हे जे गुटखा नावाचं जे मिश्रण आहे ते अत्यंत भयानक आहे आपल्याला माहिती आहे की तंबाखू ही वस्तू अशी आहे की जगातलं कोणतेही जनावर खात नाही माणूस नावाचं जनावर आहे तेच फक्त तंबाखू खातं डुकरासमोर गाढवासमोर जरी तंबाखू दिली तरी त्याचा वास घेतो आणि निघून जातं याचं कारण जगातला कोणतेही जनावर तंबाखू खात नाही हे माणूसच फक्त आहे की तो हे आवडीने ह्या तंबाखू सारखा प्रकार खातोय तो चघळतोय आणि तो पचवतोय आणि त्याच्यापासून कॅन्सरग्रस्त हृदय रोगी नफुसाक सगळं काही त्यामुळे त्याला होत आहे आणि हे सगळं जाणून देखील आपण याच्या विरोधात एक वेगवेगळ्या स्तरावर अभियान केलं पाहिजे मला ज्यावेळी आम्ही याचा अभ्यास करायला सुरुवात केली तेव्हा आम्ही ठरवलं की याचं कॉम्पोजिशन काय त्याचं मी जास्त सांगू इच्छित नाही निकोटीन तंबाखूमध्ये काय काय घटक आहे आपल्याला माहिती आहे तंबाखू ही आमच्या देशात अगदी सोळाव्या शतकात आली पंधराव्या शतकात आली त्याच्या आधी तंबाखू ही वनस्पतीच आमच्या भारतामध्ये नव्हती याचे ऐतिहासिक पुरावे देखील आमच्याकडे नाही ते म्हणतात आयुर्वेदात त्याचा उल्लेख आहे आयुर्वेदात तंबाखूचा उल्लेख नाही आजची बात नाही अलक्षात धूम्र चिकित्सा नावाचा आहे तो औषधी वस्तूंचा धूर घेण्याची चिकित्सा आहे तंबाखू खाण्याची चिकित्सा अजिबात नाही हे गेल्या पंधराव्या शतकात इथे आलं आणि हे सगळं व्यसन फोफावलं आणि आपल्याला माहिती आहे की याचा प्रचार करणारी ही फ्रान्सची राणी होती तिला मायग्रेन होतं आणि म्हणून तिने तंबाखू खायला सुरुवात केली आणि स्मोकिंग करायला सुरुवात केली आणि हे व्यसन सगळीकडे पांगत गेलं या सगळ्यातून देखील या तंबाखूमध्ये अनेक विषारी द्रव्य आहेत आत्ता सांगितलं निकोटीन आहे निकोटीन आहे परफरॉल आहे मार्श गॅस आहे थ्री फोर बेन्सपायरिन आहे पायरिडिन आहे अनेक अनेक विषारी पदार्थ आहे आणि या तंबाखूचं विश्लेषण केल्यानंतर आज असं लक्षात आलं जवळ जवळ त्या चार हजार असे केमिकल्स आहेत जी आरोग्याला अत्यंत अत्यंत घातक अशी ही केमिकल्स आहेत पण त्यात देखील ही केमिकल्स नुसती तंबाखू मधली आहेत पण जेव्हा तो गुटखा या स्वरूपात जेव्हा बाहेर येतो त्यावेळी अनेक नवीन नवीन केमिकल होत राहतात कारण या तंबाखूचं हे गुटख्याचं सॅचेट कधी मॅन्युफॅक्चर केलेलं आहे याच्यावर त्याची मॅन्युफॅक्चरिंग डेट निखील नसते आणि शेल्फवर पडलेले गुटखा त्यात हे सगळे केमिकल पदार्थ एकमेकाशी इंटरॅक्ट करत राहतात आणि हे रेडीमेड पॉइझन तो तोंडात टाकत असतो आणि त्यामुळे त्याचा विषारी इफेक्ट जास्त होतो कारण याच्याबरोबर तंबाखू बरोबर सुपारी आहे सुपारी मधलं अरेकोलिन आपल्याला माहिती आहे की सबमिकोस फायब्रोसिस कारणीभूत किंवा ओरल कॅन्सरला कारणीभूत हे सुपारी किती मोठ्या प्रमाणात बीटल नट की त्यातलं अरेकोडिन किती महत्वपूर्ण ते देखील त्यात असतं आणि या सुपाऱ्या देखील हे गुटखा उत्पादक कोणत्या वापरतात हे आपण साऊथ इंडियात
त्यात जो काच आहे जो कटेच उद्योग वापरत होते त्या काच देखील आता शुद्ध राहिलेला नाही आपण या गुटखा उत्पादकाच्या फॅक्टरीमध्ये जायला परवानगी देत नाही ते आज घुसू देत नाही कारण त्यांचे सगळे प्रोफेशनल सिक्रेट आहेत सगळी पण आपल्याला माहीत असेल की जेव्हा खेर नावाच्या लाकडापासून हा काच तयार होतो जेव्हा सुप्रीम कोर्टाकडे आम्ही गेलो आणि सुप्रीम कोर्टाच्या मार्फत आम्ही खेरच्या कटाईवर सुप्रीम कोर्टामार्फत मनाई हुकूम मिळवला आणि त्यावेळी कारण का की कोकणपट्टीतल्या भारतातल्या हिमालयन भागातल्या हे खेरची सगळीच्या सगळी आपली शेती उद्ध्वस्त झाडं उद्ध्वस्त केली होती हा काच मिळवण्यासाठी मग या लोकांनी शक्कल लढवली आता आपल्याला माहिती आहे की आता या काथाच्या ऐवजी नैसर्गिक काथ दहा टक्के आहे गुटख्यामध्ये नव्वद टक्के गॅम्बियर आहे हे गॅम्बियर इंडोनेशियामधून येतं हे गॅम्बियर हे केमिकल कशासाठी वापरलं जातं चांबड्याला रंग लावण्यासाठी जी कात कत्तलखान्यामध्ये चांबडी निघतात किंवा लेदर इंडस्ट्रीमध्ये जी चांबडी वापरतात त्याला रंग देण्यासाठी ह्या गॅम्बियर केमिकल वापरत होते हे गॅम्बियर केमिकल आता ते इथं आणि ते केमिकल आणि नैसर्गिक काथ गेरू आरा रूट याचं मिश्रण करून हा नैसर्गिक काथाच्या ऐवजी सिंथेटिक काथ बनवला जातो आणि हा सिंथेटिक काथ देखील याच्या मार्फत लोकांसमोर जातो आहे आम्ही अनेक वेळा गव्हर्नमेंटला रिपोर्ट दिले आहेत अनेक गोष्टी गव्हर्नमेंटला सांगितल्या आहेत पण ह्या गोष्टी लक्ष द्यायला या पॉलिटिकल लोकांना अजिबात अजिबात वेळ नाही पण मला तरी असं वाटतं की अनेक पॉलिटिकल लोकांना हे जेव्हा कॅन्सर होतील तेव्हा निदान ते सुधारतील आणि मग याच्या विरोधात ते अभियान चालू करतील म्हणून मी एकदा गमतीने म्हणाल होतो की गुटखा विरोधी अभियानाचं नेतृत्व शरद पवारांनी करावं कारण सगळ्यात जास्त फटका शरद पवारांना भेट लागलेला आहे त्याच्या याच्या नेतृत्व अशा पॉलिटिकल माणसाने केलं तर नक्की क्रांती होईल आणि समाजात चित्र बदलेल असं मला नेहमी वाटतं मला नेहमी वाटतं आणि म्हणूनच हे जे विषारी पदार्थ आहेत हे विषारती पदार्थ एकत्र येत आहेत गुटखा गुटखा येतो चुना आहे त्यात सुपारी आहे हा काच काच देखील नैसर्गिक काच नाही आणि ह्या सगळ्यामुळे चार पाच महत्वाचे प्रकार होत आहेत त्याविषयी वैद्यकीय गोष्टी मी जास्त सांगू इच्छित नाही आपल्याला पण माहिती आहेत समिकस फायब्रोसिस होतो ओरल कॅन्सर होतो जी आय ट्रॅकचे कॅन्सर होत आहेत लंग कॅन्सर होतो प्रोस्टेट कॅन्सर होतोय ब्लॅडर कॅन्सर होतो या सगळ्यांना निकोटीन कार्डी होत आहे हे आम्हाला सगळ्यांना माहिती आहे पण हे जे गुटक्यातलं विषा विष आहे हे हातावर तमाळखू मिळणाऱ्या विषापेक्षा दहा पटीनी नाही वीस पटीनी जास्त भयानक आहे आपल्याला माहिती आहे ग्रामीण भागात मशेरी लावतात या बायका ग्रामीण बायका तंबाखूची पावडर असते ती आणि त्याचबरोबर हातावर मळून तंबाखू खाण्याचा प्रकार ग्रामीण भागात आहे पण त्यापेक्षा हा गुटखा जवळजवळ दहा ते वीस पटीनी जास्त विषारी आहे हे आम्ही त्यांना सिद्ध करून दाखवलं आहे कारण याचा ही जी केमिकल्स आहेत या जे अरोमॅटिक हायड्रोकार्बन्स आहेत ही सगळ्यात घातक आहेत आपल्याला माहिती आहे की सुगंधी द्रव्याच्या नावाखाली कन्नोजून अत्तर करोड रुपयाचे अत्तर हे वापरतात ही अत्तर तयार होताना ही अरोमॅटिक हायड्रोकार्बन्स आहेत ही अरोमॅटिक हायड्रोकार्बन काही सिंथेटिक आहेत आणि सिंथेटिक अॅड्रोमॅटिक हायड्रोकार्बन्स वास घ्यायला चांगली आहेत पण जेव्हा तोंडाने तुम्ही घ्यायला लागता त्यावेळी त्याचा डायरेक्ट इफेक्ट टेस्टी जोड होतो हे त्यांनी आम्ही अनेक एक्सपेरिमेंटच्या मार्फत सिद्ध केलं आहे रिजनल कॅन्सर इन्स्टिट्यूट तिरुवंतपुरमचे इन्स्टिट्यूट अहमदाबादचे कॅन्सर इन्स्टिट्यूट या सगळ्या इन्स्टिट्यूटशी आमच्या संपर्क होते आणि याच्यातून रिसर्च केल्यानंतर आमच्या लक्षात आलं की किती भयानक विष आज समाजात भांगलं जात आहे आणि म्हणून याच्या विरोधात आपण खंबीरपणे सगळ्यांनी उभं राहणं अत्यंत अत्यंत गरजेचं आहे शाळकरी मुलं जेव्हा गुटखा खात होते तेव्हा आम्ही विचारत होतो मला जेव्हा धक्का बसला की केयमच्या जवळ केयमच्या जाताना मी पाहिलं की तिथे दोन तीन कपडे आहेत आणि तिथे अत्यंत चांगल्या कपड्यात उभारलेली मुलं छोटी छोटी पानटपरीवर पाहिली तेव्हा आम्ही कित्येक वेळा जाऊन त्यांना था विचारायचो की तुम्ही काय करता तेव्हा ती मुलं सांगायची की नाही आम्ही गुटख्याच्या पुढ्या खरेदी करतोय आणि तो आठवीतला सातवीतला मुलगा गुटख्याच्या पुढ्या खरेदी करताना मी पाहिल्या तेव्हा मला धक्का बसायला लागला याचं कारण असं की ते म्हणे आमच्या शाळेमध्ये फ्री मिळत होती आम्ही फ्री घ्यायला सुरुवात केली पंधरा दिवस महिनाभर आम्हाला फ्री मिळायची तो माणूस द्यायचा सॅम्पल म्हणून आणि आता ती फ्री मिळत नाही आम्हाला ती खरेदी करून घ्याव्या लागतात कारण आम्हाला त्याची चटक लागलेली आहे आम्हाला त्याचं व्यसन लागलेलं आहे आणि मग मी त्या मुलाला विचारल्यानंतर अरे तू चांगल्या घरातलं दिसतोय मग तुला हे करायला पैसे कोण देतं तू म्हणे काय पैसे आईच्या पॉकेटमधून घेतो मी म्हटलं आईच्या पर्समधून तू पैसे घेतो आईला विचारून घेतो का तो हो म्हणाला हो पण त्यांनी मला सांगितल्यानंतर मला असं वाटतं की आपली पेरेंट्स पालक या नात्याने आपली जबाबदारी देखील किती महत्वाची आहे याची मला जाणीव झाली त्या मुलाने जे सांगितलं ते धक्कादायक होतं तो म्हणाला की डॉक्टर अंकल मला हे व्यसन लागायचं दुसरं कारण आहे मला पैसे पण कसं मिळायचं मी सांगतो माझी आई पूर्वी एक दोन वर्षापूर्वी रोज मी सकाळी जेव्हा उठायचो शाळेत जायचो तेव्हा टिफिन तयार करायला ती पाच वाजता उठायची टिफिन करायची आणि मला टिफिन द्यायची आता माझी आई टिफिन देत नाही रात्री दोन दोन वाजेपर्यंत टी व्ही पाहत असते मी जेव्हा शाळेत जातो तेव्हा ती झोपलेली असते 
मी तिला विचारतो टिफिन कुठे आहे तर ती म्हणते की नाही माझ्या पर्स मधून तुला काही पैसे घ्यायचे घे आणि तू काही टिफिन खायचा खा मी आज टिफिनचे पैसे गुटखा खरेदी करण्यात खातो आहे त्यामुळे मला अशा वेळी वाटतं की कोण जबाबदार आहे मुलं जबाबदार आहेत की आम्ही पेरेंट देखील तितकेच जबाबदार आहोत हे व्यसन वाढण्यासाठी याच्याविषयी आम्ही देखील विचार करणं अत्यंत गरजेचं आहे आणि म्हणून शाळांमध्ये जे पालक मेळावे होतात तेव्हा अनेक शाळांमध्ये मी जात असतो आम्ही करुणा क्लबच्या माध्यमातून शाळांमध्ये अनेक प्रोग्राम करत असतो निरा शाळांमध्ये जातो झोपडपट्टीतल्या शाळांमध्ये जातो लोकांना आम्ही हे जाग करतो आहे की हे सगळं वाईट आहे आणि याच्या विरोधात आपण कुठेतरी ऍक्टिव्हली इन्व्हॉल्व झाण पाहिजे पेरेंट या नात्याने डॉक्टर या नात्याने पालक या नात्याने शिक्षक या नात्याने आणि म्हणूनच आम्ही एक मोठं वेगळं अभियान देखील चालू केलं आहे ज्याची मी तुम्हाला कल्पना देतो की आम्ही शाळांमध्ये आता नीती आयोग आपला जो आहे आणि आपली नवीन शिक्षण नीती जी नरेंद्र मोदींनी आता चालू केली आपल्याला आश्चर्य वाटेल मला अभिमान पण वाटतो की ही शिक्षण नीती तयार करताना माझे जे गुरु आहेत विद्यासागर आचार्य विद्यासागर त्यांच्याबरोबर तासन तास चर्चा नरेंद्र मोदींनी स्वतः एक एक तास चर्चा त्यांच्याबरोबर केली आहे आणि ही नीती आयोगाची तयार झाली कस्तुरी रंगन जे हे शिक्षण नवीन प्रणाली तयार होत आहे त्याचे जे मुख्य आहेत ते देखील जे आचार्यांना भेटले ते माझे गुरु आहेत विद्यासागर की त्यांच्याकडनंच मी गेल्या वीस वर्षापूर्वी ब्रह्मचर्यात घेतलं एक वेळ जेवण्याचं व्रत घेतलं एकदाच जेवतो लसून कंदा लसून खात नाही अंडरग्राउंड कंदमुळं खात नाही एकदा संध्याकाळी पाणी संध्याकाळी सहा ला सूर्यास्ताच्या आधी पाणी घेतल्यानंतर दुसऱ्या दिवशी सकाळपर्यंत पाणी पण न घेता राहणं या सगळी नियमित अत्यंत संयमित जीवनाचे दीक्षा ज्या गुरुकडनं घेतली त्यांनी नीती आयोगामध्ये सांगितलंय की मुलांना नीतीचे शिक्षण द्या त्यांना केवळ पैसे कमवण्याचं शिक्षण तुम्ही देऊ नका याच्या पलीकडे आनंदी जीवन सुखी जीवन जगण्यासाठी त्यांना नीतीचे पाढे शिकवा आणि आता आपल्या नवीन शिक्षण प्रणालीमध्ये या सगळ्या गोष्टी येतील हा प्रयत्न मी वीस वर्षापूर्वी केला होता मला अजूनही आठवतं रामकृष्ण मोरे आपले शिक्षण मंत्री होते आणि त्या शिक्षण मंत्र्यांकडे मी गेलो आणि आम्ही चार चाप्टर करून नेले होते व्यसन विरोधी चाप्टर्स आणि मी त्यांना विनंती केली होती की आपली जी शिक्षणाची पुस्तकं आहेत लहान मुलांची पाठ्यक्रम आहे त्या पाठ्यक्रमामध्ये त्याच्या बुद्धीला पेलवेल असा एक व्यसनाच्या विरोधात चाप्टर टाकायचा लहानसा चाप्टर असेल की दारू वाईट आहे तंबाखू वाईट आहे हे व्यसन वाईट आहे ते व्यटन वाईट आहे हे त्यात टाकावं अशी त्यांना हात जोडून विनंती केली होती त्यांना हे पण सांगितलं होतं की आठवी नववीच्या मुलांमध्ये जेव्हा तुम्ही हे चाप्टर टाकाल त्यावेळी त्यात हे देखील लिखा की तंबाखूमुळे नफुसकत्व येतं कारण हे नफुसकत्व येते हे आता विज्ञानानं सिद्ध केलेलं आहे ही सगळ्या गोष्टी जर त्यांना लहानपणापासून त्यांच्या मेंदूवर गेल्या त्यांना जे समजल्या तर ह्या व्यसनांच्या विरोधात वातावरण तयार होईल मला आश्चर्य वाटेल की त्यांनी मला जे उत्तर दिलं मला फार वाईट वाटलं त्यांनी सांगितलं की डॉक्टर तुम्ही कुणाकडनं अपेक्षा करता तो दिवसभर खातो आणि दिवसभर पितो त्याच्याकडनं तुम्ही ही अपेक्षा करता का असं नरे मोरेंनी सांगितलं कारण मला माहिती आहे मोरे ते माझे पेशंट म्हणून रामकृष्ण मोरे येत होते आणि त्यांना अनेक वेळा मी सांगितलं की तुम्ही अल्कोहोल सोडल्याशिवाय पुढच्या वेळी माझ्याकडे येऊ नका त्यांनी माझ्याकडे यायचं बंद केलं होतं तर सांगायची गोष्ट अशी की ह्या सगळ्या लोकांना याच्याबद्दल काही राजकारणी लोकांना याच्याशी काही घेणं देणं नाही केलं द्यानी दुसरी त्यांनी सांगितलं की डॉक्टर आमच्या तिजोरीमध्ये जो महसूल तयार होतो या व्यसनांमुळे आमच्याकडे जे पैसा येतो तो जास्त आम्हाला महत्वाचा वाटतो लोक मेली तरी आम्हाला काही फारसं त्याचं घेणं देणं नाही हे त्यांचे स्वतःचे उद्गार आहेत आणि मला म्हणून वाटतं की आताचं जो शिक्षण प्रणाली आपली येणार आहे नवीन शिक्षण प्रणालीमध्ये या सगळ्या गोष्टी याव्यात म्हणून आम्ही प्रयत्न करत आहोत मी या सगळ्या लोकांच्या संपर्कात आहेत आणि कित्येक वेळा मुलांसाठी चॅप्टर लिहिणं त्यांना जसं त्यांच्या बुद्धीला पटेल त्यांच्या बुद्धीला मानवेल अशा त्या लेवलला त्यांचे चॅप्टर्स या शिक्षणात जर आले तर नक्की त्यांना बदल होईल लहानपणापासून व्यसन वाईट आहेत ही गोष्ट त्यांच्या डोक्यावर बिंबली तर निदान हा सगळा व्यसनांचा व्यापार सगळा कमी होईल असं मला वाटतं आणि म्हणूनच आज नो टोबॅको डेच्या दिवशी असा प्रकारचं जागरण आपण समाजात करावं की ज्यायोगे समाजाला एक वेगळी दिशा मिळू शकेल मला तर नेहमीच असं वाटतं की मला अजूनही तो प्रसंग आठवतो की सायन्स सिटीमध्ये कलकत्त्यामध्ये आमच्या फिजिशियनची कॉन्फरन्स होती आणि त्या कॉन्फरन्समध्ये एक अत्यंत वाईट घटना घडली आणि त्यानंतर आम्ही तिथल्या सगळ्या प्रेसिडेंट सांगितलं की तुमचं बँक्वेट जे आहे तुम्ही ठेवता ते विदाउट अल्कोहोल ठेवा ज्यांना प्यायचे त्यांना रूममध्ये पिऊ दे पण सामान्य एका कॉमन ठिकाणी दारू पिणं हे चांगलं नाही कारण डॉक्टर या नात्याने आम्ही लोकांना उपदेश करत असतो दारू पिणं आरोग्याला घातक आहे आम्हाला कोणी अधिकार दिला नाही आणि आम्ही समाजाचे आदर्श आहोत आज देखील डॉक्टर कडे समाज आदर्श म्हणून पाहतो आपण जर हा आदर्श टिकवला नाही तर बराच बदल होईल आणि मला अजूनही आठवतं की त्या बँकेमध्ये काय गोंधळ झाला होता नंबर ऑफ डॉक्टर्स वेर ड्रंक अँड एका एका महिलेचा त्या एका डॉक्टरनी चक्क कपडे ओढले आणि ती जवळजवळ विवस्त्र झाली होती 
ती धावत आली आहे मी तिला सपोर्ट केला कारण मी पण गेलो होतो तिथे कारण बँकवेटला आपण जातो ते केवळ इतरांशी चर्चा करण्यासाठी मी तर संध्या संध्याकाळी सूर्यास्तांत पाणी पण घेत नाही पण सगळ्यांशी बोलण्याचा वेळ आहे आणि आम्ही तिथे केलं आम्ही रूम मध्ये गेलो गेलं घेऊन त्यांना सांगितलं की आता तू कंप्लेंट कर की ज्यांनी तुझ्यावर हे केलं नवरा तिथे लगेच आला आणि तो म्हणाला की डॉक्टर यु गेट आउट फर्स्ट इट इज अवर बिझनेस वॉट टू डू अँड वॉट नॉट टू डू आणि अक्षरशः मी जाऊन त्यावेळी सगळ्यांना रिक्वेस्ट केली की तुम्ही कंप्लेंट करा की निदान की बँकवेट मध्ये अल्कोहॉल वापर नको अल्कोहॉल तुम्ही रूम मध्ये त्यांना सप्लाय करा काही अडचण नाही कुणाच्या वैयक्तिक वैयक्तिक स्वातंत्र्यावर हल्ला नाही पण व्यसन विरोधी लढाई करायची असेल तर या सगळ्या छोट्या छोट्या गोष्टीकडे लक्ष दिलं पाहिजे असं मला वाटतं आणि म्हणूनच या अँटी टोबॅको डे हा व्यसन विरोधी दिवस आहे तंबाखूच्या विरोधात आपण मोठं जागरण करूया आपली सगळ्यांची साथ आपण घेऊया आणि मला तरी असं वाटतं की दोन व्यसनी माणसांना जरी आपण निर्व्यसनी करू शकलो तर आपण फार मोठं काम केलं असं आपण समजायला पाहिजे कारण त्याचं आयुष्य उद्ध्वस्त होताना आपण त्याचं वाचवलेलं आहे आणि म्हणूनच आपण हे करावं अशी मला कळकळीची विनंती आहे पुनश्च एकदा वेळेचं बंधन मला आहे मला माहिती आहे कारण मी बोलत राहिलो तर मी तासन तास बोलत राहतो <laughs> मला देखील स्वतःला वेळेचं भान राहत नाही पण आज आपण मला प्रेमाने बोलावलं अभ्यंकर आय एम एच्या सगळ्या मेंबर्स जेव्हा जेव्हा असे काही कार्यक्रम होतील आपण जरूर बोलवा जरूर बोलवा व्यसन विरोधी आंदोलन आपण सगळे एकत्र मिळून करूया तंबाखू विरोधी आंदोलन असो दारूच्या विरोधात आंदोलन असो आणि पर्टिक्युलरली मला तर असं वाटतं की आपण आय एम ए मध्ये एक ठराव करा की जे सरकारनी नीतीने शाळेमध्ये आपल्या किराणा दुकानात आणि सुपर मार्केटमध्ये वाईन विकवण्याचा जो प्रस्ताव मांडलेला आहे त्याला जर आपण इथून विरोध करून पाठवला तर नक्की त्याचा इफेक्ट होऊ शकेल आणि हे दारुडे राजकारणींना निदान या राजकारणी लोकांना दिशा मिळेल असं मला वाटतं कारण ह्या राजकारणी लोकांचा नेहमी व्यसन वाढवणं हाच उद्योग असतो कारण समाज जर व्यसनी राहिला नशेत राहिला तरच हे निवडून देतील हे जर समाज शुद्धीवर आला ते आपल्याला निवडून देणार नाहीत अशीच त्यांची भावना असते म्हणून तुम्हाला समाजाला व्यसनात ठेवणं त्यांना नशेत ठेवणं हेच कार्य ते करत आहेत आणि त्याच्या विरोधात आपण सुबुद्ध समाजाने डॉक्टरांसारख्या आपल्या सुशिक्षित लोकांनी आपण त्याला विरोध करावा आय एम ए मध्ये देखील आपण ठराव करा की आम्ही याला विरोध करतोय आहोत की दारू ही किराणा वाईन ही किराणा शॉप मध्ये आणि सुपर मार्केटमध्ये विरोध करायला आम्ही मेडिकली विरोध करत आहोत कारण हा व्यसन विरोधी आंदोलनचा एक पार्ट आहे पुनश्च एकदा आपल्या सर्वांचे आभार मानतो आणि आपण इथे मला बोलावलं त्याबद्दल पुनश्च पुनश्च एकदा आभार आणि उपस्थित सर्व मित्रांनो आणि माझ्या ज्युनियर कलिग्जनो मी आपलं देखील सहकार्य अपेक्षित करतो आणि शब्दांना विराम देतो खूप खूप छान केलं खूप प्रतीक्षेनंतर तुला प्रतिसाद दिला आणि त्याच खूप चीज केलंस आणि सगळं आव्हान पोटात पण आलत त्यामुळे ते खूप जास्ती भावलं खूप सखोल छान माहिती आणि पुढं मला सांगायचंय खूप उशिरा का होईना मी आय एम एच्या आणि ऑफिस बेअरच्या प्रतिसादाला मान्य देऊ कालपासून तंबाखू बंद केली सर कॉन्ग्रॅच्युलेशन सर आणि थँक्यू व्हेरी मच सर सर म्हणूनच त्यांना मी मला चेअर म्हणून केलं थँक्यू सर सर मी आपली अत्यंत आभारी आपण मनापासून जे काही कळकळ व्यक्त केली आणि आपल्या नावातच कल्याण आहे तर राष्ट्र कल्याण हो अशी माझी इच्छा आहे आणि खरंच म्हणजे फक्त गुटखाच नाही तर बाकीच्या सुद्धा जे तुम्ही सांगता व्यसनांच्या खरंच आपला भारत देश जो आहे तो व्यसनाधीन झालेला आहे आता आणि जी नवीन आपली ज्युनियर पिढी आहे यंग पिढी तर त्यांचं तर आपल्याला भवितव्य खूप धोक्याचं वाटतंय त्यासाठी तुमच्यासारखे हजारो कल्याण गगवाल भारत देशात निर्माण व्हावे अशी माझी इच्छा आहे मी डॉक्टर मीनाक्षी देशपांडे मॅडमना विनंती करते की त्यांनी स्टेजवर यावं आणि सरांचा सत्कार करावा आणि डॉक्टर गीतांजली आहे आणि डॉक्टर अरुण हळबे सर अत्यंत धन्यवाद आय एम एच्या बॅनर वर ना तुम्ही फारच मस्त स्पीच दिलाय आज आणि आमची इच्छा अशीच राहील की तुमची पण इच्छा फल फलश्रुत होऊ दे की चॅप्टर्स मध्ये शाळा मुलांच्या शाळांच्या पुस्तकांमध्ये हे येऊ दे दॅट इज आर अटमोस्ट रिक्वेस्ट ऑल ऑफ पॉलिसी बेरर्स ऑफ गव्हर्नमेंट ऑफ महाराष्ट्र सर <laughs>
परखड शब्द आणि झणझणीत अंजन झणझणीत प्रश्नच नाही आणि सगळ्या लेडी डॉक्टर्सच्या मनातलं तुम्ही बोललात की बँकवेला दारू ठेवू नये आणि कॉन्ग्रॅच्युलेशन टू घाळबे सर फॉर कमिंग ओव्हर हिअर अँड म्हणजे स्वतः अनाउन्सिंग दुअर सर आणि गंगवाल सर आता म्हणजे मॅडम डॉक्टर मीनाक्षी देशपांडे मॅडम प्रेसिडेंट आणि डॉक्टर गीतांजली आणि मायसेल बोथ आर सेक्रेटरी सो ऑल तीन देवी आर देअर सो आम्ही नक्की तुमचं हे पुढे घेऊ थँक्यू सर येस सर आणि आपण जर केलं तर आपल्याला जास्ती बळ येईल लोकांना सांगायचं ते तुकडोबान सारखं की आधी त्यांनी साखर सोडली आणि मग डायबेटीसच्या पेशंटला सांगितलं की तुम्ही साखर सोडा त्यासाठी त्यांनी पंधरा दिवस घेतले आणि त्यानंतरच त्यांनी सांगितलं त्या पेशंटला आता थँक्यू आता पुढच्या आपल्या मॅडम आहेत डॉक्टर आशा प्रतिनिधी मॅडम शी इज व्हेरी सिनियर वन शी हॅज वर्क ऍज अ प्रोफेसर डीन अँड डायरेक्टर ऑफ रिसर्च ऍट डिफरंट मेडिकल कॉलेजेस इन पुणे मुंबई मिरज कोल्हापूर अँड कराड and she is uh, very much interested in public health child health and maternity health and she uh, her uh, 122 publications are there so over to uh, dr pratinidhi madam i will request you to co- come on the dais uh, and welcome you on the dais and her topic is oral tobacco use in pregnant women asha khup khup swagat hai मला <laughs> i thank the indian medical association pune for giving me this opportunity to share my research experiences related to smokeless tobacco there are some successes some failures and some missed opportunities which i will be discussing with you all my dear friends from medical fraternity mr chairman now i will experience my own smokeless tobacco encounter which i will be sharing with you it was during 1970 that after completion of internship we were in kolkata after dinner party pan was offered and the person who offered the pan gave us option of mishti pan and sada pan <laughs> and i chose sada pan the person asked me are you sure you want sada pan i said of course i want sada pan little did i know that sada pan meant pan with tobacco <laughs> at that time i was in the third trimester of pregnancy <laughs> and i consumed the pan and it had queer consequences <laughs> i felt giddy and then i wanted to throw it out but i was afraid that i may fell down and so i swallowed the pan and that was an experience which was unforgettable but i forgot smokeless tobacco for two decades and after completion of diploma in child health and md in preventive medicine i was appointed as reader in social pediatrics and i had opportunity to work for two 
World Health Organization projects. These projects were for Southeast Asia region and four countries, India, Thailand, Myanmar, and Indonesia, simultaneously the projects were started. It is a tobacco belt. And in spite of that, and having the research topic of low birth weight, it was, we did not identify tobacco as a risk factor. And that was a great opportunity missed by us because we collected information about, in the first project, 2000 pregnant mothers. And in second project, over 5000 pregnant mothers, we collected the information and we missed to collect the information related to tobacco. And it was mainly because there was no awareness among healthcare professionals about the ill effects of tobacco during pregnancy. The publication started appearing in 1980s and the research of smoking during pregnancy were not extrapolated to smokeless tobacco. We decided to work on smokeless tobacco and effects on pregnancy. And before we embarked on such project, we wanted to know what is the prevalence of smokeless tobacco in and around Pune. And at that time, we started giving community research projects to interns in groups. And three groups chose to work on prevalence of tobacco. And you can see the prevalence around Pune was between 33 to 44%. Then my first MD student chose to work on low birth weight. And I suggested to her that please include Mishri use in the one of the risk factors. The project was done in Sasun General Hospital on pregnant mothers, 281 pregnant mothers, and 22.5% were Mishri users. And Mishri users had lesser education. They were mostly housewives coming from lower socioeconomic status and lower caloric and protein intake. And all these variables were statistically significant among Mishri users as compared to non-users. The effect on baby was preterm birth, 11% in users as compared to 5.9% in non-users, but it was not significant. Proportion of low birth weight, 26.6% in users and 18.3% in non-users. That was also not significant, but the mean birth weight was significantly lower in the babies of Mishri users. These are the smokeless tobacco products available in the market, Betelquid, Jarda, then Khaini, Mawa, different brands of Gutka, tobacco containing toothpaste and tooth powders. The Mishri is either brand made Mishri or homemade Mishri, which is roasted. And if it is roasted, well, the tobacco content goes down. If it is used raw, the tobacco content is higher. It is applied to the gums by the pregnant women. The, it is applied, uh, used by anybody, but when used in pregnancy, that was what we studied. It was observed that the birth weight of the babies of Mishri users was 136.9 grams lesser than among the Mishri users. The common reasons for starting use of Mishri, we observed that influence of mother was the most important factor, followed by influence of neighbors and friends, then influence of mother-in-law after marriage and other members of the family. So that was the reason why they started using Mishri. Then no, having known the effects of Mishri on the birth weight and preterm births of the babies, we wanted to know what are the effects of quitting the Mishri use, whether there is gain in weight or not. 
There were articles related to cessation of smoking during pregnancy, but there were no articles on smokeless tobacco. So Dr. Shrikar Pardeshi, another MD student, he is now IAS officer, but at that time he was doing PSM. And so he did his dissertation on 150 pregnant mothers, where 77 were Mishri users and 73 were non-users. Health education followed by counseling for quitting the Mishri use was undertaken. Then they were followed from 20 weeks onwards. It was observed that those who never used Mishri were 73. Their birth weight, the babies born to them, their birth weight was 2,727.4. Those who stopped, the 28 women stopped and the birth weight of the babies was comparable, 2,726.8. Those who quit at 20, 32 weeks had lesser birth weight and who never stopped, their babies were weighing least. The, so the stopping of Mishri at 28 weeks was equal to the birth weight of babies of non-users. Stopping at 32 weeks was higher than never used Mishri group. Birth weight difference between users and non-users was 403 gram and gestational age difference was five to six days. Then encouraged by the results, we applied to government of India and we got a project of community-based study on two PSCs, Kunjirwadi and Yavat. The healthcare workers meetings were, were organized. The health education and skill was imparted to them of counseling. The enrollment was started from 20th week of uh, pregnancy. They were followed till delivery. And the purpose of the study was explained to them. Then three group meetings of pregnant women were organized in each village of these two PhCs. It was a marathon effort. The, they were explained the purpose of study, obtained consent. They were given health education and group counseling for motivation to quit Mishri. Impact of Mishri quitting was measured. They were given ANC care and the record was maintained. The comparison of profiles of Mishri users and non-users, it showed that all maternal variables were comparable, except higher proportion of teenage pregnancies, primary parity, maternal weight less than 40, 45 kil kilo, and they were more in non-users than in users. And illiteracy wo was more among users. The previous obstetrical history indicated that spontaneous abortion, low birth weight and prematurity were much higher in users than non-users, but the spontaneous abortion did not reach the statistical significance. Low birth weight and prematurity were significant. The current pregnancy outcome indicated that complaints during pregnancy, complications during pregnancy, operative deliveries, low birth weight, preterm birth, stillbirths, early neonatal deaths, all were more among mystery users as compared to non-users, except preterm births and early neonatal deaths, which did not reach the significance. All other parameters showed significantly higher values for Mishri users as compared to non-users. Then complications during delivery, it was observed that fetal distress and the pregnancy induced hypertension were significantly higher in Mishri users as compared to non-users. The effect of counseling on Mishri co consumption was seen. It was observed that 69% never used Mishri. 
29, that is 13.3% of the Mishri users stopped using Mishri at 28 weeks and their birth weight was comparable to non-use Mishri users. 36 more, they stopped using Mishri at 32 weeks or reduced the consumption of Mishri. Again, their weight was not bad, means comparable to this non-user group, but slightly less. And those who, they were stopped, had much lesser birth weight as compared to the non-users of Mishri. And this weight difference was 169.9 gram as compared to never used group. The limitations of the study where quantitation of Mishri use individually was not possible for each pregnant woman. The health education counseling was done in groups and substitute for Mishri could not be provided. So another study was done by Purnima Srivatsa, ICMR scholarship, she short term ICMR scholarship was obtained by her. And in 100 class four female employees where Mishri use rate was 45%, we gave health education, motivated them to quit Mishri and alternate Ayurvedic teeth cleaning powder was given. All these components, Jestamat, Khadir, Tripala, Trikatu, Pudina, and Tankan, Lahi, all these are Ayurvedic preparations. 55% were using Mishri before marriage, 53% for over 15 years, 60% discontinued. It is a very high proportion that we got who quit the use of Mishri. And that I attribute to alternate teeth cleaning powder that was provided to them. It was observed that those who used it for less than 15 years, lesser than four times a day, or kept it in mouth for less than 10 minutes, were the ones who stopped using Mishri. Ayurvedic alternative appeared to be effective, acceptable, affordable, and safe alternative for Mishri. Encouraged by these results, when we got UNICEF project for primary prevention of low birth weight, one of the components we added was quitting the Mishri. The 13 PHC studies where six talukas uh, were involved and we allotted randomly to study and control area and 553 from study area and 361 pregnant women for control area were enrolled. Five low cost, no cost interventions were identified, which were one more meal a day, rest in the afternoon for two hours in left lateral position, reducing activity level, consumption of iron folic acid tablets, and refraining from teeth cleaning, tobacco containing tooth powder. It was observed that the most accepted intervention was 96% and that was of iron folic acid and least accepted intervention was stopping of Mishri of, uh, in 5.3%. Out of 553 women, 169 were Mishri users and only nine stopped completely. R rest of them reduced it, but did not stop. So, what, what could be the possible reasons for low compliance? The group health education was given and not done individually. And it was one of the components and not only component, that could be one of the reasons. And alternate for Mishri was not given. Then Dr. Paravin Gadgali, my one more MD student, did his dissertation on correlation of cotinin levels with use of smokeless tobacco among pregnant women and anthropometry of newborn. 105 pregnant women, we estimated cotinin levels in them 
and there were controlled 105 non-users of tobacco in whom also we uh, computed cotinin levels. The correlation between Mishri users and non-users as far as the anthropometry was concerned, it was seen that birth weight was lesser than 480 gram. It was a huge difference. And birth length was lesser by 6.5 centimeter. And the proportion of low birth weight was very high among Mishri users as compared to non-users. And the birth length was also less than 50 centimeter was very high among Mishri users as compared to non-users. And this, the differences were statistically highly significant. As compared to one year user, the longer users of Mishri had higher cotinin levels and which correlated with mean birth weight and mean birth length, which were proportionately lesser. One time user, two time user, three time user, it was observed with increasing frequency of daily application of Mishri cotinin levels exponentially increased, mean birth weight and mean birth length decreased proportionately. As the weight of Mishri used each time increased, the cotinin levels increased, mean birth weight and mean birth length decreased proportionately. The duration of quid kept in the mouth as the time increased, the cotinin level increased and the mean birth weight, mean birth length decreased proportionately. The cotinin levels showed a strong negative correlation with mean birth weight and mean birth length. You can see among control subjects, the cotinin levels are less than two nanograms per mm. And as the cotinin levels increased, the mean birth weight decreased and the mean birth length also decreased. So there was a strong negative correlation. Now I'm restricting this nicotine action to during pregnancy thing. It acts on uterus, placenta, hemoglobin, food intake, BMI, and blood pressure. On placenta, there is contraction of blood vessels. Flow of to placenta is decreased. Oxygen and nutrients to placenta go down and it adversely affects amino acid transport to fetus. The uterus, you, we see vasoconstriction. Flow to uterus is diminished. Decreased uterine receptiveness and increased risk of multiple pregnancy. Ovaries we see damage to eggs and egg quality and therefore congenital malformations among Mishri users, they are known to be higher. Blood pressure, maternal blood pressure goes up, narrowing of blood vessels is there, heart rate goes up, loss of weight of 10% due to increased metabolic rate, expenditure of energy for maintaining this higher metabolic rate is 200 calories per 24 hours, which causes weight loss. And in turn, there is less BMI. The food intake is lower, appetite decreases, food absorption decreases. There is anemia due to decreased intake of iron, decreased iron absorption, and levels of hepticidin which regulator of iron metabolism goes down, hepcidin. Why women use Mishri? Over two decades, what we observed was Mishri is accepted while smoking is tabooed. It's easy availability and affordability. Just now Dr. Gangwal told us how it is easily available. So that easy availability and affordability then it is considered good for health. They say that teeth are stronger if you use Mishri. Then bowel movement, it helps bowel movement. Then 
it is possible to work longer without getting hungry. The kick is there, pleasant feeling is there, addiction is there. And the misconception is that Mishri is not solid. So it is not absorbed. Therefore, there are no effects, which is total misconception. To summarize, Mishri use during pregnancy is widely prevalent in India, Maharashtra. More use in less literate, urban poor, rural populations. Mishri use causes ill effects on mother and baby. On mother, there is anemia, complications in pregnancy and delivery. In baby, abortion, stillbirth, preterm births, low birth weight, low birth length, congenital defects. Cotinin levels correlate with quantity, frequency, duration of Mishri kept in mouth. If Mishri is timely stopped, adverse effects on anthropometry at birth can be prevented. De addiction, difficult but possible. More effective strategy of de addiction by individualized health education, customized counseling and use of substitute for teeth cleaning, tobacco containing powder. Now, before I conclude, in a lighter note, I would like to take you back to my accidental consumption of tobacco. My son was born in 1970. Heaven hearty in spite of my consumption of that sadhapan. <laughs> He was, when he was an adolescent, he told me one day that I am not going to be like Baba, a teetotaler and non-smoker. I'm going to try everything. So I was wondering whether his behavior, was it related to my pan consumption? <laughs> during, what it, was it was Abhimanyu effect? What was it? I did not know. But to my pleasant surprise, he tried everything, did not like it, and he is now a teetotaler and a non-smoker. Yeah. <laughs> the important feedback or takeaway is don't use Mishri, never during pregnancy. And if you quit in time, there are no long-term effects and no effects on adverse anthropometry of the baby. Thank you. Thank you. Chan Sakol, Vistruk Mati Dili, Tilchik Table Soap, Al Chanuti. But the Bala eggs are Hagati Gidi. Saga Table Made, thirty two weeks per mystery eight me. Very kind of far away for a person. But I get it, Alex Sangler, the table or Hagatis. Babies will be less. Say it is for anthropometric counseling, and we did not count the yes. stillbirths and adverse. Sarvangi and Dushparadam, far chan, we should get this. And if a pony had the video, I forward a please. Huh. Online YouTubers all Ani upon Lokan a link on Patolia and Shiva YouTubers with a live link. I have a YouTuber, it will be there. Thank you, thank you, madam. Thank you very much, madam. Don't be there, then I saw a dude killer. He just a kill. He chala appreciate. Sir, the and it's other than a tea swarsha put me join me Punata lay in Mumbai Malavada Janavis and eight. But Punata and Mother Mulgamala, Ayagata, Lila Bai Mune, Kali lipstick Kashaka and Autatia. The Tajar woman like Haka and Dominic Bogita and Jagger about Malaha, the tea Punavari Malaha never noticed the lucky Jasta, Selokta, but Puskanami, Ata, Amcha, Ariatla Sagana, Sangita, Tamar, Ata, Tenchi, Mulla Suda, Mulija, Hekia Mulla. त्यांच्यामध्ये खूप हे प्रमाण कमी झालेले आहे नाही तर तेव्हा 30 वर्षापूर्वी तर मला वाटतं की ट्रिमेंडसली हाय एक्सिडेंट्स इन्सिडेंट्स होता हो 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 थँक यू मॅडम आय रिक्वेस्ट आवर प्रेसिडेंट डॉ मीनाक्षी देशपांडे टू कम ऑन द डायस टू फेलिसिटेट आवर मॅडम डॉ आशा प्रतिनिधी आणि 
request Dr. Arun uh, Harabe, sir, to join uh, this felicitation. मैत्रिणी सगळ्या सख्याच असतात कोणीही सावत्र नसत मित्रांच मला माहित नाही थँक्यू आता आपल्या जस्ट द नेक्स्ट स्पीकर इज डॉक्टर विदिशा तुळजापूरकर शी हॅज कम फ्रॉम मुंबई She is working as an associate professor, uh, head and uh, neck surgery unit uh, at Tata Memorial Hospital. Uh, and she, uh, she has trained at KM Hospital, Mumbai, which is my uh, uh, elementary college. So, uh, and uh, she was here in Ruby Hall Clinic for two years at Vanavdi. And now she has joined associate professor at uh, Tata Memorial Hospital. So, her topic is today is oral cancer overview and management so right person to talk about this uh, so over to dr vidisha tulsapurkar yes uh, so good morning everybody at the outset i'd like to thank the respectful chairpersons the faculty dr abhyankar and the team ima for giving me this opportunity it means really a lot to be here in ima pune as although i'm currently working in mumbai i am born and brought up in pune and a pune ka rat heart Okay, so uh, for today's morning, my topic is oral cancer overview and management. I'll be briefly uh, taking you through the workup and the management and the evil that it causes to our young people who are consuming tobacco in many forms. So to put the problem in perspective, oral cancers, uh, approximately yearly 19 million cancer cases are diagnosed worldwide. However, oral cancer contributes to under 4 lakh of them. In the Western world, oral cancers do not come in the top 10 chart of the incidence and mortality. However, this problem is specific to our part of the world and the highest incidence is uh, concentrated in the areas of Southeast Asia, Oceania, Southern Europe, and especially countries such as India, Bangladesh, and Pakistan, which is absolutely attributable to the habit of tobacco chewing in various forms such as smokeless, smoked tobacco, sutta, nasheri, and aminous other forms. So coming to the Indian scenario, Amongst the head neck cancers, oral cancers is without any doubt the commonest cancer. When you come to the entire May Indian population, it is the second commonest cancer. It accounts for 30% of the entire cancer burden occurring in the country and also it is the second commonest cause of cancer death in our country. Consequently, oral cancers and the lip cancers, this is the most common cancer that is occurring in Indian males at present. Coming to the etiology of oral cancers, as we know, tobacco in its various forms and with added chemicals, acetaldehydes and uh, nitrosamines, without any doubt contributes to the formation of oral cancers. Tobacco in various forms, such as smokeless tobacco, smoking, supari, that is areca nut, spirits, as we have talked about it in the previous talks, alcohol, are the main culprits for forming oral cancers. Whereas other minor factors such as sharp tooth leading to poor dental hygiene, various viruses such as human papilloma virus, various vitamin and nutrient deficiencies also have been implicated in formation of oral cancers. However, tobacco and its products without any doubt is a main problem. Consequently, a Ministry of Health and Family Welfare has declared tobacco as a most common cause of uh, cancers and tobacco in all forms is considered as harmful for formation of oral cancers. People who are consuming heavy alcohol simultaneously with tobacco, they have a synergistic effect. So at the carcinogenic effect of the tobacco is precipitated more by consuming alcohol in simultaneously. As told by Gangwal sir, areca nut chewing is also one of the important factors that contributes to oral cancers. And it is also considered very uh, non-harmful because people take the areca nut in pan very frequently. They are not aware that it also is a carcinogen and it has harmful effects. So we all must be aware that areca nut also is a carcinogen and it can lead to various cancers and some other conditions as well. So uh, without going into detail of tobacco carcinogenesis and the molecular mechanisms, 
what i'd like to tell is how tobacco forms oral cancer uh, from formation of cancers is caused by progressive accumulation of various genetic effects which lead to further changes such as initially cells with mutation which leads to hyperplasia which can further get converted into dysplasia of various degrees that is mild moderate severe progressing to carcinoma in c2 and finally cancers in its various form uh, let me remind you all tobacco is not only responsible for oral cancers but also it leads to many other cancers such as lung esophagus uh, urothelial cavity kidney and many other prostates so tobacco in any form any consumption is strongly linked to formation of cancers various parts in the body before moving on to the oral cancers i'd like to say a few words about potentially malignant disorders because they are also linked to formation of oral cancers and they can be easily detected by all of us and they are readily accessible so most common of them is leukoplakia what we call it as a white patch in mouth it can be in various formats such as a very innocuous homogeneous thin leukoplakia which is superficial but more sinister forms such as a speckled leukoplakia varicose leukoplakia and nodular leukoplakia another uh, lesion that is erythroleukoplakia that is defined as a fiery red patch or bright patch in the mouth that can occur in the tongue buccal mucosa palate of patients who are consuming tobacco this erythroleukoplakia is more sinister than the simple leukoplakia also we need to be aware of oral submucous fibrosis this condition is very rampant in our indian population it is commonly caused due to areca nut chewing due to the uh, agents such as arecolin it leads to presentation such as spicy food rigidity of lip tongue palate and restriction in mouth opening also there is complaint of a constant burning sensation in the mouth by patients so how uh, problematic are these pre malignant lesions the chances of malignancy in these various lesions are different and they are directly responsible to the degree of dysplasia that is present in any given lesion so a leukoplakia which is not very uh, problematic may have a malignant transformation rate of up to 1% whereas varicose leukoplakia and erythroleukoplakia are very very dangerous with the malignancy transformation rates of more than 70 and 50 to 80% so we have uh, the very much incidence of uh, having all these pre malignant lesions is very common in a presentation and in a tata memorial hospital we see all these lesions very commonly but when you are faced with these the problems are which ones of the pre malignant lesions do you need to treat is there any role of not doing anything and how long you can wait without treating these patients and if at all we are deciding to treat these patients how do we want to treat them so we have to when we are looking at all these pre malignant lesions there are certain high risk indicators which we all need to be aware of any leukoplakia or erythroleukoplakia that is of prolonged duration it is present in a specially non addict it is on tongue floor of mouth or hard palate and it is more in size of 200 mm square these are all the high risk factors which these lesions have a higher chance of turning into malignancy so these lesions should not be ignored and a threshold for treating these lesions should be very low when you have the role of wait and watch there are certain innocuous lesions such as this linea alba on buccal mucosa which is caused by the repetitive trauma of chewing or there is this alveolar rich keratosis which is caused by constant irritation due to a denture in these cases what our approach should be is the elimination of the offending factor that could be trimming of a sharp tooth of course stoppage of all habits containing tobacco that is including machinery areca nut and uh, tobacco in any other form correction of any ill fitting dentures these lesions can then be watched for around a window period of maybe 2 to 8 weeks keeping them in supervision and then if they are not responding we may decide whether we want to deal with them so to give you a brief algorithm your algorithm can be first a visual inspection we decide with the visual inspection whether the lesion is high risk with the categories which i told you if the lesion is non suspicious then we may need to observe them in the window period and of course with the correction of the precipitating factors and abstinence from all sort of irritants if the lesion responds that is well and good but if it does not please go ahead with the biopsy of the suspicious area for histopathological confirmation in the biopsy we want to know if there is dysplasia present in this lesion and if there is dysplasia to what degree there is so that also will guide your management so if we are deciding to treat a oral pre malignant lesion we the treatment will be surgical there is no proven role of any chemo preventive agents or any medical management there have been various descriptions of antioxidants and many other agents but in trials i won't go in the details of those it has been shown that these 
agents do not work in the long term and the recurrence rates are there once you stop the use of all these vitamins and chemo uh, preventive agents so the surgical excision with a clear margin should be the goal of your treatment and if you are having lesion which is at multiple sites or if it's a large lesion in the oral cavity it should be considered for stage excision if laser fulguration is uh, considered we should take a representative biopsy from the lesion to rule out a dysplasia and only then a fulguration should be done then again excision biopsy is a preferred modality because of course we get material for histological evaluation and we can come to know whether there is carcinoma in situ or severe dysplasia in the lesion that we have excised so to summarize uh, the orally pot uh, potentially malignant lesions these have a higher incidence of cancer development not only in the index lesion however all, everywhere else in the oral cavity as well because the tobacco leads to changes of field cancerization which may not be visible to a naked eye and all these patients are at a higher risk of developing a second primary at any other site in the oral cavity or upper aero digestive tract down the line so the high risk clinical features which i listed before and if you have dysplastic epithelium in the biopsy these lesions will have a higher chance of malignant transformation rate so these need to be tackled aggressively to summarize elimination of irritants cessation of habits and close monitorings are the hallmarks of treatment which would lead to early detection of development of any oral cancer and their treatment so why it is important to detect the oral cancer early so oral cavity is readily accessible for examination and it can be seen by the patients as well as any primary care physician or a dental surgeon that the patient is presenting to if we are successful in detecting a oral cancer lesion in early stage at that your survival rates are better survival rates for the early cancers are more than 80% as opposed to advanced stages the patient will undergo a less mutilating surgery resulting in a better quality of life the single modality treatment will be required you may not need to add radiation or chemotherapy to the treatment of the patient and more importantly many oral squamous cancers develop from the premalignant lesions so if we are catching them early we are possibly successful in reducing the chances of uh, developing of oral cancers in the future so to reduce mortality morbidity and the cost of treatment it is more important that as primary care physicians ent surgeons or dental surgeons we detect all these lesions early and treat them very aggressively of course with the emphasis on stoppage of tobacco irritants and any addictions by the patients so now just coming to shortly in oral cancers oral cancers presentation as i said they are readily accessible for visual examination the patients usually will come for the con complaint of ulcer in the mouth anywhere in the cheek buccal mucosa tongue there might be a complaint of a loose teeth pain from the ulcer be bleeding in the sputum or bleeding from the tooth in the advanced stages when there is involvement of oropharynx or in fixation of the tongue there might be complaints of dysphagia or difficulty in tongue movement or change in voice presence of neck swellings and various levels indicates lymph nodal involvement and that indicates that the patient is in an advanced stage it's not a early cancer anymore so how do you go on with working up these patients the first stage after we have examined a oral cancer patient is to establish a histopathological diagnosis for that effect we can do a punch or knife biopsy it can be done as an office procedure under local anesthesia so i would like to give a word of caution against performing a lymph node biopsy which is a very common practice so if we are seeing a growth in the mouth and a patient has a lymph node uh, it is advisable not to go ahead and do a lymph node biopsy which is a more morbid procedure also for the patient also oncologically it is harmful as in because it will lead to seeding of your biopsy tract with the cancer cells and more importantly the scar that you have caused by causing this biopsy will hamper the further surgical management because more of these scars will be inappropriately placed and they will affect the further treatment adversely so in these cases you may just consider doing a fnac which will give us the same information with much less cost and problem to the patient if we are considering sampling the lymph node whether we want to know if the lymph node is malignant or not so next part of your workup of oral cancers is imaging of course imaging is required for accurately detect all the structures that are involved presence of lymph nodes involvement of various nerves in the oral cavity such as mandibular nerve maxillary nerve approximation of these lesions to the skull base to plan your surgery whether these lesions are operable or not presence of distant metastasis and finally to give a proper tnm staging to the patient so as we can divide this uh, lesion into a early or advanced stage which will impact your further plan of management in the imaging we use various modalities 
Uh, first, commonest is the CT scan. The CT scan, when we ask for an oral cancer, it should be contrast enhanced CT scan. It should include the imaging from the skull base to the mediastinum. And in advanced cases, also a non-contrast CT scan of the thorax should be performed. The CT scans are good to detect a bone invasion and the contrast enhance gives us the information about the lymph nodes. However, when we want to look at the soft tissue involvement, such as cases when we have a tongue cancer, then it is better to ask for an MRI. The CT scan won't help us in this situation because the soft tissue contrast given by the MRI much more helps us in de uh, delineating a tumor. Also, MRIs are very, very important in giving us information about the perineural spread. A perineural spread of a tumor reaching to the skull base will not be possibly detected by a CT scan in early stages. But if you have an MRI, these cases may turn out to be inoperable and your entire treatment plan changes. To, for in a nutshell, for any oral cavity case, if it is not a tongue, initially you should ask for a CT scan. And if it is a tongue or going to any soft tissues, such as base tongue, soft palate, better to ask for an MRI. So when do we do a PET scan? Do we do a PET scan in all cases? No, we don't need PET scan in all oral cavity cancer cases. The PET scan is limited to certain scenarios in case that you have a significant lymph node burden, your advanced primary stage, such as it is a T3, T4 primary, when you think that it is not going to be receptible, you want to know whether the patient is having distant metastasis. In those selective cases, you may ask for a PET scan. Also, specifically in cases that are recurrent, we tend to ask for a PET scan as a primary modality. And thirdly, when the patient has received any treatment prior, such as neoadjuvant chemotherapy or any chemotherapy, we want to have a PET scan for response assessment as well. So PET scan has a very selected role. A role of PET scan as a routine imaging modality for any garden variety early oral cancer should not be encouraged. Ultrasound neck, it's also a cost-effective uh, investigation. For example, when you have a simple T1, T2 primary in the oral cavity, you're not worried about its third dimension. You're not worried about its skull base approximation. You may just do a ultrasound neck to see the lymph node status of the neck. That might change your management. Any advanced imaging may not be required in these cases. So my advice would be just be careful in advising imaging to your patient because it will help in their further management and also save the cost and time of doing repeated imaging by multiple uh, specialists involved. So coming to the treatment strategies of the oral cancer, the primarily oral cancers are considered as a surgical disease and role of chemotherapy and radiotherapy is limited in adjuvant and neoadjuvant settings in certain indications. So for the treatment purposes, we would divide oral cancers in two parts, that is early diseases and advanced diseases. Early diseases are the T1, T2 lesions that are less than four centimeter in size, such as this small lesion on the tongue or a small lesion on the buccal mucosa. They don't have any nodal metastasis. They don't have distant metastasis. In these cases, we would like to use only a single modality that is primarily surgery in most of the cases and radiotherapy in the form such as the bacchytherapy used in very select cases. But what should our be goal is in early oral cancer, we will try to do our treatment with single modality management. Whereas in advanced disease, these cases I'm sure many of you have seen in their clinics because in India, as opposed to Western countries, 60% of the oral cancer cases present in advanced stages. So we all are familiar with such pictures also on our Gutka packs in our country. And in, I'm sure in everybody's OPD, we have seen all these uh, advanced lesions. So the advanced lesions are those, those are involving bone, skin, they have lymph node metastasis. So they will be staged as stage three and above. So their treatment is a multimodality treatment. The primary treatment will be surgery if the lesion is resectable as assessed by your imaging and followed by appropriate adjuvant therapy. It will be either radiotherapy only or radiotherapy and chemotherapy in certain indications, such as when you have a positive margin at your surgery or you have lymph nodes that have spread beyond the lymph node capsules. So what are goals of surgery? So primary goal of surgery is to take out the tumor safely with the safety margins. That is survival. You need to add years to a patient's life. But let me tell you, the oral cancers are vastly devastating because they have impact on vital functions of the patients, such as the cosmesis, speech, and swallowing. Patients, significant, significant morbidity. They may not be able to return to their previous work after being treated for oral cancers. And that has far-reaching impact on patients' family, patients' earning capacity. So it is equally important that we look at restitution of the surgery patient and try to give him as much as good quality of life when the patient returns from his treatment. So the restitution will have two components. First will be the structural restoration. 
and second will be functional rehabilitation. As I told you, these patients need intensive follow-up therapy. They need rehabilitation. They need speech and swallowing therapy for prolonged periods to make them uh, uh, get back to their normal uh, quality of life. So these are general principles of surgery. I won't go into too much of details. The main if of a surgery is resecting our primary tumor with a good surgical margin that is at least more than five millimeters. These surgeries can amount to simple wide excision of tongue or buccal mucosa, or they might be very extensive such as removal of the entire mandible maxilla and appropriate reconstruction. At the same time, we need to pay attention to the management of neck if the neck nodes are involved with various types of neck dissection. And as I said, reconstruction. The patients require various forms of reconstruction depending on how uh, big their defects are in terms of local flaps. Or at times, we engage plastic surgeons to give us a good cosmesis and plastic surgery reconstruction. To that effect, with these advances, we have recently come up with very many advances such as virtual surgical plannings. These techniques help plastic surgeon to uh, tailor a good bone implants or a free fibula flaps, which are very good in cosmesis. The patient has good quality of life and all these cases, we can do a dental implant. We can have prefabricated reconstruction and tissue engineered bone. These are all advanced technologies which are being developed to give good cosmesis and functional outcomes to a patient after the cancer surgery. So uh, to summarize my talk, I would say oral cancer screening and early detection is very, very important because it improves outcomes on all levels. Surgery is the mainstay of treatment for all these oral cancers. The pr primary principle of surgery is achievement of adequate margins and management of neck node. And of course, the reconstruction is the equally important part because of giving better speech swallowing cosmesis. And finally, I would like to emphasize that treatment of oral cancers is a group exercise. It is a multidisciplinary treatment, which starts from the primary care physician, dental surgeon, oncosurgeon, reconstruction, radiation, medical oncologist, and as well as rehabilitation specialist. So it's a team effort. And of course, I'd like to emphasize that detecting these lesions early and stoppage of tobacco is very important because if we catch these things early, we can give more quality of life to these patients and reduce the mortality occurring from these cancers. Oh, thank you very much for your kind attention. And I'd like to have any questions I'd be happy with it. So nice, very nice discussion. Thank you, sir. What's the role of FNSC in diagnosis? So as I said, sir, the node, if it is a clinically pos positive node that we can palpate a three centimeter node, we obviously know that it is a positive node. And actually it's not going to change any management that you know that it's a positive node because you're clinically seeing it. But the role comes in where you have a suspicious node on your imaging, such as your ultrasound or a CT scan has told you that it's an indeterminate node. There and then you might need to do a FNAC so that you know that you have a positive neck. So if you know per primum that you have a positive neck, your neck dissection will change. You would do a comprehensive neck dissection as opposed to the selective neck dissection that you had planned previously. So as I said, if you have obvious primary in the oral cavity, you may not need to do a lymph node biopsy because it's not adding to anything of it. But if you have an occult node, we can go ahead and do a FNAC just to be sure preoperatively whether that node is positive or not. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you and all for your kind attention. In digital radiotherapy, is it useful for ablation? So, sir, for the oral cavity as a per primum treatment, role of oral cavity is for only early oral cancers that to select, such as lip oral cancer, lip, lip, wherein the surgical morbidity will be very high. The patient will have a microstomia, they will have a problem in speaking. In this case, we tend to give brachytherapy. Or if the patient is not fit for surgery, the patient is having multiple comorbidities, patient is ASA3, the cardiac function is not suitable for undergoing a five-hour surgery, then there comes the role of uh, radical radiotherapy. But in this case, radical radiotherapy also will have a slightly, of course, lesser oncological outcome than surgery. But if the patient is not fit for surgery, that definitely that would be your second option. So nice. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Vidisha. So now I request our president, Dr. Minakshi Deshpande, madam, to come on the dais and felicitate Dr. Vidisha, madam. And uh, Dr. Halbe, Dr. Halbe, sir, to join. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you. Now I request uh, Dr. Gitanjali Sharma, Madam, to proceed further with the further introduction of speakers. Thank you, Dr. Alka, Madam. It's my pleasure to invite my dear friend, Dr. Neeta Ghate now. Please, Dr. Neeta. Neeta is my best friend right since our BJ days. She has done her MBBS and MSENT from BJ. Now she is practicing in Mumbai. She was lecturer at Telegao. You can come on the dais, please. Lecturer at uh, Mimer Medical College, Telegao, and associate professor at Terana Medical College. She has been honorary ENT surgeon at Bhabha Municipal Corporation Hospital, Kurla, Mumbai. She has many awards for her papers and a lot of publications. She has dedicated or devoted her life about awareness regarding tobacco hazards. We know her for many years. She is working with school children. She goes to various schools and gives talks. She has been giving talks on radio and uh, television. And we both had together done one program for Akashwani, where I had written a poem and she had written a small skit. So we had very good memories and she has dedicated her life for that. She has various presentations in ENT as well as in pediatric conferences because adolescent age group is very important as Kalyan Gangwal sir told us and also to Obsgaini conferences. And today she is going to give a talk especially for primary care physicians. She is a founder, trustee and president of Association for Tobacco Use Hazards Awareness and Preventive Majors, ATHAPM. Correct? Okay, so over to you, Dr. Neeta. We are very eager to listen to your talk. Welcome, madam. Uh, respected uh, chairperson, sir, my respected teachers, Pratiniti, madam, Gangwal, sir, about the convener, Dr. Nitin, all the office bearers of IMA. I'm deeply honored to be invited by IMA today on such an important topic. And I would love to be a part of uh, this uh, session. This is really a need of the hour. Uh, as we know, tobacco control, uh, uh, tobacco problems and tobacco control cuts across all disciplines. It's not only restricted to ENT or GANAC or uh, PEDS. It cut so this is uh, uh, where we all as healthcare professionals can play a very important role. And hence I'll be talking about tobacco use prevention strategies, importance and role of primary care physicians. I'm really standing here with a bit of trepidation because such stalwarts in tobacco control, Gangwal sir and Pratiniti madam and Vidisha have already spoken before me, but I'm just making a humble attempt to what we all can do together and uh, help to uh, tackle this tobacco epidemic. Uh, the, the importance of uh, prevention is uh, highlighted in the title by Madeleine Baxter's article, Cancer Miracle Isn't a Cure, It's Prevention. She quotes in 1929 that uh, James Ewing, director of cancer research at Memorial Hospital, New York City, who had written that cancer is a public health problem of the first importance. And if the public were thoroughly informed, a definite reduction in the incidence of cancer might follow. 90 years later, prevention is still not being given the attention and importance it deserves. Uh, the tobacco disease burden, uh, as we are grappling with the uh, COVID pandemic, uh, I'd just like to draw, we all know that tobacco use in all forms, smoking and smokeless, was proven to be very uh, harmful. The disease severity was more in all forms of tobacco users. Uh, the, the COVID infection was much more severe. Uh, the, the, the aftermath of this has been that there is a lot of awareness about hazards of uh, the health hazards of smoking and smokeless tobacco, and there is a lot of willingness on patients' part to quit tobacco. So, as healthcare workers, we must uh, 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 use this window of opportunity and accelerate our tobacco control initiatives and efforts. 
वृशाली एंड विदिशा हैव ऑलरेडी टॉक्ड एंड गंगवाल सर हैव ऑलरेडी स्पोकन अबाउट स्मोकलेस टोबैको यूज एंड ऑल फॉर्म्स ऑफ टोबैको वृशाली इज हाईलाइटेड गेट्स टू रिजल्ट्स आई जस्ट लाइक टू जस्ट पॉइंट वन वन थिंग इज दैट वी नीड टू नो दैट स्मोकलेस टोबैको यूज इज ऑलमोस्ट डबल द स्मोकिंग हजार्स स्मोकिंग हजार्स अवेयरनेस इज देयर बट मिश्री इज हार्मफुल यूजिंग टोबैको कंटेनिंग टू टूथपेस्ट इज ऑल्सो हार्मफुल वी नीड टू आस्क हिस्ट्री about smokeless tobacco use we need to create awareness in society about smokeless tobacco hazards if there's a cardiac patients we usually tend to ask whether this history of smoking we don't uh, uh, go out and seek history of smokeless tobacco in all cases so we need to create awareness more about smoking uh, smokeless tobacco hazards in the society uh, madam has already spoken about tobacco use in women in pregnant women just to highlight the magnitude of the tobacco use burden among women the report of smokeless tobacco use uh, uh, released in 2016 mentions that there are nearly 70 million women in india who are using smokeless tobacco and there are 9 to 10 million women who are working in tobacco related occupations who are also bearing the brunt of tobacco hazards so whenever we have women patients especially from lower socio economic strata coming to us we need to ask history about smokeless tobacco use and help about stress cessation tobacco also exacts a high cost in society vrishali uh, has already mentioned the economic burden in the first lecture sir has also said that regarding tobacco taxes uh, the political will is not there but in the report of economic burden of tobacco diseases which was released for the year 2011 2000 it was released in 2012 to compare uh, to to put it in perspective of macroeconomic indicators this burden of 22.4 us dollars was about 1.1.6% of the total country's of our country's gdp and it was more than the health expenditure of all the states and the center together and most importantly all the tobacco taxes uh, at time it was a central uh, excise tax i think that was only 70% 1717% of this 22.4 billion dollars so it the point for convincing politicians is that it's a very small amount is contributing the disaster and the side effects are much more i'd like to draw to another your attention to another important uh, the group age group which is usually neglected or a bit not over it's a bit uh, not paid attention to one can see a bit overlooked in tobacco uh, quit advice this is the older population both men and women according to the census data of 2011 uh, we had a 100 103 million population of above 60 years people the united nations uh, population projections for 2019 mention that this figure could rise to 319 uh, uh, million by uh, 2050 it means it would be almost one fifth population would be about 60 years and if we also consider those above 45 years it could be 655 million so these are alarming numbers and we need to pay attention to this uh, age group also because to be uh, quitting tobacco at any age is beneficial and these are the patients who are most vulnerable to uh, uh, ncds and early detection and uh, uh, tobacco cessation is very important for this age group there is a longitudinal aging survey uh, of india wave one report was released in last december and it shows that above 45 years any type of tobacco use is noted in 30% of the population so this again highlights why we need to pay attention and give tobacco cessation advice to the elderly population also again the smokeless tobacco use was predominant by 20 20% as compared to smoking by 12% so we need to give awareness uh, smoking cessation advice to uh, uh, smoking and smokeless tobacco cessation advice to people who are above 45 years also Uh, i'd like to talk about smokeless tobacco products uh, these are alkaline agents and uh, uh, these increased tobacco brushal uh, is already mentioned about free nicotine and uh, the availability uh, the slake lime that is suna which is added to pan and many other tobacco products and katechu kat which uh, sir has elaborated uh, gangwal sir has elaborated these increase the amount of free nicotine which is available to the user so this means that the harm is much more our uh, smokeless tobacco also uh, brushal is already mentioned that the nicotine peak levels are similar after uh, uh, smokeless tobacco products and uh, uh, smoking also but we need to understand that uh, 
these chemical agents are increasing the availability of uh, nicotine and increase compounding the harm caused by uh, tobacco. IARC, the International Agency for Research on Cancer, has also classified areca nut as a group one carcinogen. And this again is um, the smokeless tobacco users are facing a, a double harm because many of the products are containing areca nut in addition to uh, smokeless tobacco. Or uh, there are, uh, uh, since uh, as uh, primary physicians, you are seeing all types of diseases, I'd like to just highlight two, two important groups of diseases where tobacco use plays a very significant, uh, has a significant impact. One is diabetes. We have the second largest number of diabetes patients in the world, and this number is expected to increase in the coming decades. So we need to know that uh, tobacco use in any form is uh, very harmful for diabetes patient. It increases the risk of complications. It has been observed in one of the studies that of the diabetic patients requiring amputation, more than 90% of them were smokers. So tobacco use uh, increases the risk of both microvascular and macrovascular complications. It also leads to poorer glycemic control. Hence tobacco use has to stop as soon as diabetes is diagnosed. With tuberculosis, I think Nitin and uh, the chess physicians of the group are uh, uh, better experts than me, but I'm just uh, just like to point out that we have a very high burden of tuberculosis and uh, MDR-TB, that is multi-drug resistant tuberculosis. And tobacco use, smoking and smokeless is responsible for relapse rate, recurrence, worse outcomes, and also death into a TB patients. Uh, tobacco smoking and smokeless products suggestion advice is included in uh, is uh, uh, suggested in dots but it should be made mandatory so that all patients at all levels receive the advice of tobacco cessation uh, what are the benefits of quitting uh, smoking and uh, gain in uh, life expectancy most of the studies have been conducted in western uh, countries and there is more of the these uh, uh, benefits have reported being reported for smoking we don't have many indian studies or southeast asian studies which have given benefit for smokeless tobacco uh, benefit but it is uh, it is uh, uh, beneficial so the benefits reported for uh, quitting smoking have been at 30 years, there is a life uh, again in life expectancy of 10 years. At 50 years, it becomes six years. And at 60 years also, there's an uh, advantage and that is of three years. So earlier a patient quits, the more beneficial it is. It has been also reported that patients with heart attack or any life-threatening complications who have been uh, hospitalized and who have been tobacco users, if they quit tobacco, it is uh, beneficial. It's, uh, for heart attack, they have been. Uh, it has been observed that quitting smoking uh, reduces the risk of a second uh, episode by more than fifty percent. The government of India, World Health Organization, have taken numerous uh, initiatives to uh, take, uh, tackle the tobacco uh, epidemic. Some of these include 85% pictorial warnings on both sides of the uh, uh, tobacco packaging and raise taxes on tobacco products. Unfortunately, the smokeless tobacco products are uh, sold in uh, single use uh, pockets. The prices are very low and that, uh, how much ever the tax burden is uh, increased, it, doesn't, uh, the, it still remains affordable to many of the patients and the consumption continues. But the COTPA, that is the cigarette and other to uh, tobacco products uh, advertisement and uh, marketing prevention uh, uh, act. Uh, this, uh, 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 this act, the section six and the sub uh, subsection A and B ensure no sale of tobacco to minors that is less than 18 years and no sale of tobacco surrounding educational institutions. There's a recent amendment of the Juvenile Justice Act 77, which, uh, uh, which uh, uh, the punishment is a rigorous in, in imprisonment up to seven years and a fine of up to one lakh uh, for sale of tobacco to minors. This was implemented, uh, this was uh, in uh, 2015. However, in addition to all these existing uh, measures, there is strong evidence that supporting current tobacco users to quit synergistically with other population level tobacco control measures can bring about a significant changes in pre prevalence of uh, tobacco use and tobacco related death and disease outcomes. So what can we all do? What are the possible things that we all can do to contribute our bit towards the tobacco, reducing the tobacco uh, uh, burden? There's a spectrum of treatment available for tobacco cessation. There's a brief advice to stop tobacco use by healthcare professionals. More intensive behavioral support to quit 
individually in groups or telephonically pharmacological treatment i think nitin is the expert and he'll be speaking about it so the brief cessation advice there are advantages that it just takes 3 to 5 minutes it is very very feasible in outpatient care it is effective and efficient the who recommended uh, um, uh, 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 recommendations include five a's that is ask about tobacco use advise quitting tobacco assess the uh, intention to quit assist in quitting and arrange for follow up uh, to assess the motivation for quitting the relevance suppose it's a pregnant patient we can tell them that for the baby the health of the baby she should uh, quit tobacco using if it's a diabetic patient we can tell them that to prevent complications you should quit so context specific disease uh, we can motivate the patient the risks if they continue with that disease what complications can occur the rewards the benefits they can get the road blocks many times patients say that they may get constipation or they have some difficulty they are sure uh, they're not sure they may be able to do the manual work but the we we can convince them that the discomfort is very short lived the advantages are many more and we need to repeat this advice so as primary care physicians what can the minimum things which we can do we can ask advice and refer that is aar this has also been uh, one of the models which is recommended by the Uh, 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 United Na uh, U.S. Uh, task force preventive uh, diseases task force. So we can ask history of tobacco use. If it it is yes, then we can ask uh, advise them to quit tobacco, and we can refer them to the free tobacco cessation clinics on the National Tobacco Control Program website. Our National Tobacco Control Program is a three-tiered uh, uh, structure at the national level, at the state level, and the district level. so there are almost nearly all uh, district hospitals are having a tobacco cessation clinics the uh, the list of the free tobacco cessation clinics is there on the government website national tobacco control program website and it can be availed uh, we can also ask the patient to uh, for stopping to call on the toll free national quit line number that is 18001012356 there is a m initi uh, m cessation initiative by the government of india we can ask them to give a miss call on 0112290171 where a text message is received regarding the tobacco cessation advice and for uh, our pune patients there are free tobacco cessation clinics at sasun hospital if you want i can mail this slide to the ima office bearers and everyone can just take a print out and put it up in your waiting area so on a blank sheet of paper that could at least benefit some relative or some patient uh, we have done this in mumbai municipal corporation ncd department on the occasion of world cancer day i was invited speaker for all the health staff and the peripheral staff and again we repeated this advice on a uh, women's day and all these print outs have been put up in all the bmc dispensaries by the ncd department uh, no i i have not been able to go and check it personally but that's what i was told by the in charge official yeah offer free by anybody who wants to fantastic fantastic so uh, there are uh, other cessation clinics as uh, uh, nitin has said so for pune other uh, uh, options are also available but please display this information in your waiting areas at least someone somewhere may benefit even as a pediatrician if there's a, the uh, the little kid is exposed to second hand smoke exposure at home someone the parent may quit for the child's uh, to uh, help him prevent getting repeated urt uh i think uh, vidisha is a expert on this but just i'd like to mention being an ant surgeon i can't resist uh, talking about oral cavity examination uh, this was the uh, indian dental association uh, 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 proforma and it is still just when i tell you just oral uh, examination if i could give a, a bit bit detail that is why i'm sharing this slide because uh, with just a simple torch we can just all do it or uh, any of the pre malignant signs as vidisha as the expert has already told us a uh, leukoplakia anything abnormal in the mucosa please refer to your the surgeon end or dentist or uh, uh, oncos like vidisha so that immediately we can get a uh, uh, treatment the most important part about uh, these tobacco related cancers is they are easily detectable they are easily examinable and each primary person or primary care physician is in such an important position and it's very easily that this can be done so please uh, do consider it if a person gives history of smokeless tobacco use so the role of this uh, i uh, i made a humble suggestion about what we all can do in individual capacity
at the organization level our indian medical association pune branch maharashtra state bank or the national ima which has got more than 3 lakh 44000 members as i checked on the website about two days ago so all of us even if all of us just put up these numbers if all of us do oral examination we are going to contribute in a mighty big way to help to ease the tobacco burden this is manje sir bhanale tasa marathi te ek vakya hai ki apan aplya pratyekane khari cha vata utsalla tar khub madat hoil aplya desha sa एक एक जरी पेशंटनी आपण डायग्नोज करू शकलो किंवा सोडू शकलो तर खूप खूप फायदाच ठरू शकेल कारण कलेक्टिव्हली वी आर वी बिकम अ व्हेरी बिग टीम वी नीड रिसर्च ऑल्सो बिकॉज मोस्ट ऑफ द डॉक्युमेंटेशन इज फॉर स्मोकिंग प्रिव्हेन्शन दॅट इज अ एव्हिडन्स बेस्ड मेडिसिन फॉर मेकिंग ऑल दिस सो वी आर नाव डुईंग अ प्रोजेक्ट विथ महाराष्ट्र मेडिकल रिसर्च सोसायटी जोशी हॉस्पिटल विथ द डायबिटीज डॉक्टर आय एम अ कोलॅबरेटर विथ दॅम डॉक्टर जावडेकर डॉक्टर शेळगीकर सर डॉक्टर जोशी डॉक्टर पणसळकर द फुल टीम ऑफ जोशी हॉस्पिटल वी हॅव ऍडवाइज दिस ए ए आर मॉडेल वी आर डुईंग फॉर ऑल द डायबेटिक ओ पी डी पेशंट्स अ सिम्पल स्टडी फॉर आस्किंग हिस्ट्री ऑफ टोबॅको यूज स्पेसिफिकली एक्सप्लेनिंग टू द पेशंट दॅट टोबॅको कॉम्प्लिकेशन्स विच कॅन ऑकर इन डायबिटीज अँड आस्किंग दॅम टू क्विट अँड ॲट वन मंथ लेटर वी आर फॉलोइंग अप whether the anyone has quit because of this so this we plan to publish uh, i mean we plan to complete the study so that there would be a little bit of uh, uh, contribution to this and it will be if possibly we would like to do it in a long term follow up these patients longer also so my humble request is to to all of you is please 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 document whatever uh, uh, advice is given even a, a simple excel sheet or in a notebook if you write that this patient was using tobacco advice repeated and he has quit so even if all of us together i am can put it together and we can have a very solid evidence which can help to lay policy formulation for the future times to come and we can do some path breaking work in this aspect then we need to incorporate a tobacco control and training curricula i mean i talked with gitanjali lika regarding i am doing online courses for diabetes so i requested to give us an opportunity to talk about importance of tobacco use prevention in diabetics simple simple just a 20 minute lecture we can discuss all in details so each of these specific uh, diseases we need to incorporate tobacco control like tuberculosis diabetes then we need to tell our students our medical students about these national quit line numbers so that in in case unfortunately any one of them is using tobacco they will quit because many time the habit starts before they have joined medicine so in case they also want to quit they can help someone or they may want to take avail of these opportunities uh, i just like to share a bit of my humble experience about what work we've been doing i was earlier male of just 2 minutes uh, prevent addictions through children's education group sangeeta is here already Uh, uh and uh, they were uh, the base group has been doing a work on uh, tobacco and all addictions for school and college students i started their modified program specifically for uh, tobacco addictions giving information about all these quit line numbers also to the students so that children could be messengers of tobacco hazards awareness information so the maharashtra government textbook uh, science chapter has a uh, uh, chapter on addictions tobacco use so we started this program eighth standard onwards and we want Wanted to make it as a part of the school curriculum, uh, and we are trying for it. Uh, BMC, we are writing to the BMC for permission uh, in their uh, virtual classroom. This term, I mean, after I go back, I'll be pursuing that matter again. So, so far, we've covered this program for more than fifteen thousand uh, students. Uh, we need to supplement this by mass media campaigns and these campaigns need to highlight the regionally uh, regional uh, uh, smokeless tobacco products like in maharashtra mishri we need to make awareness that mishri is harmful and they have to uh, uh, stop it in addition to all the other uh, tobacco products and these need to be in local regional languages so that it uh, we are able to disseminate this information on a wider scale television since most of these uh, products are used by illiterate manual laborers slum neighborhood uh, 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 residents we need to use mass media like television and radio as they are illiterate they may not be able to read if we give a printed material so just to conclude uh, i just like to suggest that history of tobacco use smoking and smokeless tobacco products please ask it during each visit and with vital signs just as we record pulse blood pressure please mention about tobacco use smoking or smokeless tobacco products it is to be documented in each visit 
this to be incorporated at all levels at our opd levels at our charitable hospitals at our public hospitals and at our private corporate hospitals where electronic health records are there please ensure that this is noted in electronic health records also so that we can see the progress of the patients and we can repeat the advice if using any form of tobacco we need to advise quitting the quit line numbers m cessation refer to uh, tobacco cessation clinics please display above information in patient waiting areas if patient is using slt products oral examination to consider tobacco uh, hazards awareness and quitting information in teaching curricula i'd like to acknowledge the indian dental association who very very gladly gave us the permission to use the oral cancer screening poster and each one of us can make a difference and help to sway the public opinion towards power to be tobacco free right now uh, smokeless tobacco has acceptance anyone eats a tobacco uh, 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 pan no one feels bad about it but we need to say no no it is harmful so as doctors as role models as healthcare delivery people we can make a difference each one of us so let's all strive towards it and let's every day be a no tobacco day thank you so much any questions i'll be happy to answer thank you rita good information thank you sir your special uh, early detection is much appreciated thank you sir excellent ha huh, yes ma'am Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. When the question asks, use tobacco. Yes. The answer is no. Yeah. Specifically about smoking. Usually, what do you use for cleaning your teeth? Yes. And then really they say that only once we use it in the morning, but we never chew tobacco or uh, use tobacco. so you have to be very specific and what we have observed in one of our studies on school children that when the question was asked to school children they invariably said no and when the urine was examined for protein in levels there were protein in yeah yes so it is easy to hide i'll i'll go one more step and say सिगरेट उड़ता का नहीं उड़त सोडली कभी पास कल पास सो आई यू हैव टू फ्रेज युअर क्वेश्चन थ्री फोर डिफरेंट वेज एंड यू विल गेट द आंसर सर अनुभव की दारू पिता का नहीं मी विस्की पीतो उत्तर खर दारू मे देशी आता जे आपण सांगताय तसंच एक किस्सा आमच्याकडे पण होतो नेहमी जेव्हा बऱ्याच अगदी सोफेस्टिकेट क्लास मधल्या आपल्या टिंबर मार्केट वगैरे एरिया मधल्या रिच बायका येतात आणि त्यांना तपासतो तेव्हा त्यांचे तोंडात जरा डाग वगैरे दिसतात तेव्हा मी आम्ही त्यांना विचारतो की या तंबाखू खाती आहे क्या तर ती अभिमानाने सांगते तंबाखू तो मेरी कामवाली खाती है मै तो गुटखा खाती हूँ सांगायचं असं की गंदे लोक गंदी पसंत उचे लोक उची पसंत नाही क्वेश्चन इज व्हॉट इज द रोल ऑफ व्हेनेला फॅक्सिन इन व्हॉट वी हॅव आय एम गोन टेक अटायर लेक्चर बट इवन आय डोंट नो दिस पर्टिक्युलर more of an antidepressant and the other i'll i'll discuss she i didn't talk about the pharmacotherapy nitinil will be talking about it that's okay. the point the full topic of या आणि मला वाटतं अजून एक हा पॉइंट आहे की तंबाखू आणि गुटख्याचं प्रमाण कमी झालं तर रस्त्यावर थुंकणाऱ्यांचंही प्रमाण खूप कमी होईल रोज कुठूनही फिरत असताना कोविडच्या काळात थोडस ते कमी झालं होतं पण आता एव्हरी वन इज बॅक टू द सेम रिक्षावाले घ्या कोणीही घ्या बसवाले ड्रायव्हर्स असतील तर मला वाटतं याहीसाठी आपल्याला काहीतरी एक मोठी चळवळ करावी करायला लागेल नीता दॅट वॉज अन एक्सलंट लेक्चर अँड आय रिक्वेस्ट डॉक्टर मीनाक्षी देशपांडे प्रेसिडेंट आय एम एफ पुणे टू फेलिसिटेट डॉक्टर नीता घाटे आय हॅव टू थँक नीता स्पेशली फॉर गेटिंग द टू फेंटेस्टिक स्पीकर इन ऍडिशन टू हर सेल्फ and that was pratinidhi madam and vidisha were because of neeta so she deserves one more applause for that <laughs>
<laughs> okay. I request all faculty and delegates that there would be lunch at one o'clock. So Dr. Neeta, Dr. Vidisha, stay with us for lunch. And everyone, Pratiniti Madam, please don't go away. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, now our next faculty is Dr. Ajit Kulkarni. Uh, unfortunately, due to some emergency at home, he was here up till now and he had to rush for that emergency. So his talk will be given by Dr. Nitin Abhyankar. Let me just have uh, his introduction. He's an interventional pulmonologist and lung transplant physician at Sayadri Hospital. He has done his MBBS and DTCD that from DY Patil. That is Ajit. Ajit. I, I am in Pune. No, no, no. Yeah, I am uh, introducing Dr. Ajit Kulkarni because his talk will be given by Dr. Nitin Abhyankar. Because Dr. Ajit had to rush for some emergency at home just 10 minutes ago. So he has requested to give the talk by you. Okay. Yeah. We are thankful to you. Yeah, we are thankful. you. I have no idea what the slides are going to be because there was no time to really go through that. But anyway, yeah. May I request Dr. Shilpa Naik, madam, to come and chair the session, please. So please don't mind. Uh, if I go wrong somewhere related to the slides, but I we know enough about uh, I know enough about Ajit and what he's going to do, and he knows enough about what I am not capable of. So I think he must have created a simple slide set. Let's hope. Uh, it starts with a song uh, that is And that that starts as that carefree attitude in the young age and that's where the lung function starts going downhill and at that particular point in time you really are not aware that it is going downhill but over a period of years decades somewhere down the line when you realize that this has happened every minute the lung function is declined I'm sure we have already heard about the idea that uh, I, I, I don't bother about the slides because I'll, I'll go on my own zone at this point in time. So every year, um, uh, what happens? Apan sagani aikle laaye ki dar ek cigarette paas minute ani aayushya kamy karte ki vas saath minute ani aayushya kamy karte. These figures are thrown at you basically in order to make sure that you have understood that the lung fun I mean lung function gets dwindling. And how does it happen? I mean, there is something called as COPD or a chronic obstructive pulmonary disease where people progressively lose their lung function. Divsan divas, tasan tas, varshan varsha, cigarette odat railya nantar, lung function goes on dwindling and it reaches a all time low after about 20, 30 years. Let us take, for example, what is a typical lung function of an average five feet, five feet, six inch uh, adult male when he's 20 years old, maybe around three liters FVC or uh, something of that sort. So three liters is what is available to him to breathe. And his lung capacity may be full capacity, maybe five liters, but three liters is available as an FVC, what he can actually use force out uh, that is available. Now, when he starts dwindling on that particular, uh, uh, he grows older from say 20 or 25 onwards, it starts dwindling at the speed of maybe 15 to 20 to maybe 25 ml per year. So that is the speed of a normal decline of a lung capacity. And when you say normal decline, what will happen after 30 years? Let us calculate. So let's take middle figure of 20 ml per year into 30 years. So every year he is losing 20 ml and 30 years, so what it becomes is 600 cc lost. So after 60 years, that means another 30 years, when he becomes 60, he still has 2.4 liters to breathe. With that, he has a longevity of at least another, uh, no, no. so a normal person, if he is maintaining his lung healthy, can easily live 
for 130 to 140 years. That is what is the expected life expectancy of the normal healthy lung. Now you bring in smoking. Of course, I mean, so far we have gone, done a lot about tobacco, uh, smokeless tobacco or oral form of tobacco. You bring in smoking and it can get as accelerated as up to 100 ml per year. If you take that as a ballpark and now look at what is happening. So this version under will be what is left? Zero. This version under what is left? One, only one liter. So what is, that is the horror. That is what is happening to the smoking world. So that's why, uh, in fact, if you, if you really look at it, the Western world is talking only about smoking and the horrors of smoking because that is what is happening to a large majority of the patients. Of course, not everybody is susceptible. Wilson Churchill smoked till the age of 80 and got away with murder. He got away with many other murders also. Forget about only that was not the only murder committed by him. But at the same time, that doesn't mean everybody is lucky because there is something called as susceptible smokers and there is something called as non-susceptible smokers. Let me go a few slides and see what, okay. He has mentioned about COPD, ILD and lung cancer. I'm sure lung cancer is enough horror for everybody. So, all right. So I think he is talking about in simple methods, what is a normal lung on your left hand side and a COPD lung on your right hand side. Now what is happening is the airway walls eventually goes on becoming less and less viable and they become collapsible. Because of the changes which are happening, the alveoli the alveoli are your air sacs, which keep on getting increasingly either dilated or destroyed. And the emphysematous change takes over gradually. And because of all this and the normal ability to hold it patent goes away and more and more collapsibility comes in. And because there is a collapsibility, the COPD lung typically is having what is called as a huge amount of air trapping. So what is happening is, how does this lung get destroyed? On one end, your alveoli, which are your air sacs, have got too much air inside. There is too much of air trapping inside the alveoli. And that air trappings, uh, like, you know, we, I, I just had a recent figure of somebody who had been smoking for 40 years and we did a lung function and we found is this FEV1 was 0.5 liters. So FEV1 was uh, 0.5 liters, FEC is 0.7 liters. So 700 cc was available for him to forcefully exhale out. His tidal volume may be 100 ml or something like that. And imagine the horror, what was the residual volume? What was the trapped air inside? Seven liters. So the total lung capacity of this gentleman was 7.5 seven liters out of which seven liter was only trapped there. Do you understand the horror? So that means it's like saying, you know, and this is typically what is done by, I think it's not, yeah, by, by Bartolom Chelli. He does this exercise every time. So I want you to do this exercise and then make it do every time when you talk to a smoker. So we are going to breathe three sequential breaths, one after the other, inhale. So I'll start with the first one, take a breath and hold it then take another and then take another. So we are going to start now. Take one, take another, take another. Now hold it there and now try to be, breathe normal tidal volume. Try to do that. Are you able to do it comfortably? Surely not. And that is what is a COPD is breathing at all the time. So that is what is the impact of a badly inflated or hyperinflated lung to a normal human being. And that is where things are going wrong dramatically. And therefore, these people are continuously breathless. They will need bronchodilators. They will repeatedly, eventually, of course, some of them will have airway lining, which are badly destroyed. Some areas will become chronic bronchitic, and then they will get secondary infections and repeatedly get into hospital because of exacerbations, go on oxygen, go on non-invasive ventilation, and eventually die. And that is the sad pathway on which most of the smoking world is moving every day and every minute and still they are not willing to stop simply because this addiction is as bad as heroin. 
So once addicted, it becomes so difficult to come out of it. I have seen, I, I, I mean, I can go on with the stories. I will just see what he has put is something simple. Anyway, well, let me continue with my stories because they are more entertaining. So I was in general ward in Cyan Hospital in my residence days. And we used to have beds and then, you know, ward beds and side room beds. And we used to have admissions under the bed also. So there was an under the bed admission because we, well, the, the concept was no admission is to be refused. So on the emergency day, up now ward me jitne bhi patient aate, admit karo. So a patient tha bed ke niche se dhuwa a raha tha. So I said, ye patient to hoi smoke kar raha hai. So I went down. So there was a patient who had a CA larynx, who had a tracheostomy and he was smoking from the tracheostomy stoma. So that is the horror and that is the horror of tobacco addiction. I mean, simply, I mean, I, I, I could not have and I have never experienced as anything as shocking as that. I wish I had a, you know, the WhatsApp was there at that time, I would have shared it. And it would have been like, you know, an example of how badly addicted people are that somebody who undergoes a cancer surgery is under the bed smoking through a tracheostomy stoma. This is the most ridiculous example that I can ever come across. And that's, that's the, that's the sad story of it. Now, I think he, he, he I, uh, or I made him include the smoking related interstitial lung disease, which is again, you know, very frankly, that's to our cell, our speciality, because we know a little more than other for everybody. So, uh, RV, ILD, respiratory bronchiolitis, and then so on and so forth. So, uh, so I think, uh, all right, fine. When you come across such difficult cases, we are always there. And don't worry, my name or Rushali's name should be remembered. But don't bother about that. I I think I'll focus on COPD. I don't even have to sell lung cancer, very frankly, because Amit is there. So he'll, in any case, do that job very well. But more importantly, people with lung cancer, in fact, if you really see the main horror for the uh, smoking world is that the smoking world believes that that entire world is all, all around the pawn shop or the cigarette shop where they're buying it. They say, कोणाला काय होता ना दिसत नाही काहीच झालेलं नसतं आमच्या पैकी किती लोक कितीतरी वर्ष वरत आहेत काही प्रॉब्लेम नाहीये दॅट इज वेअर द अवेअरनेस लॅक ऑफ अवेअरनेस इज द बिग प्रॉब्लेम अँड अँड दॅट्स वॉट दॅट्स वेअर द रिअल आर्ग्युमेंट विच हॅज टू स्ट्रॉंगली गो फ्रॉम डॉक्टर्स इज दॅट इट्स 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 लाईक सेईंग that you know i i met a met a guy one day a very famous surgeon from latur and that was about 20 years back and we were saying that you know somebody requires a bronchoscopy for tuberculosis and uh, he came arguing with me because it was early days there was no bronchoscopy needed for most of the people and they said doctor kai sangta hai kashala bronchoscopy lagte tumhala kai he kalte ga mi ata paryant 40000 patient treat kele ani tetle jawal jawal 30 35000 patient bhare pan jale matlab sir my problem is not the 30 35000 my problem is the remaining 5 or 6000 people those who have not picked up by your conventional clinical wisdom i need a bronchoscopy for that so that is that is how we have to put that argument that it's not everybody with a smoking habit will be necessarily suffering but those who suffer are not there going to come back and tell you the story that is the worst part so unfortunately all premature heart attacks will be up, up there in the heaven mostly not they will not be allowed to enter there so i think they may be in the other other part whatever that hell or whatever it is but i think the uh, the idea is if i am harming myself continuously and i am into that belief system where i think mostly in, i will get away with this because i am not seeing enough people around who are harmed i think that's the problem because the strokes will not go out of the hospital the heart attacks will not come and tell you the story who have died prematurely uh, those who very few people who have quit will go out and become activists and they they probably become the best ambassadors and we use them very actively so all my smoking cessation activities we will come to that even in the next part of it but i think i'll i'll just try and see what else has he has included discomatous interstitial pneumonia pulmonary langer and cell cystocytosis i think yeah i think that's it that's it so i think he has finished it uh, i'll i'll just sort of summarize what i've said in simple words the take home is every cigarette 
is going to take you downhill on the lung function. There is no two thoughts about it. The life expectancy is dramatically reduced and you have already seen a slide which says how many years are lost because of smoking. So I don't think I have to convince you on that. The life expectancy is dramatically reduced for majority of the people. Some people will get away with murder, but please do not count on your luck on this issue. And that, that needs to be re, -re and re-emphasized. And the most important thing, which will eventually come to my second talk, is it is never too late. I, with that, I think I'll take your leave uh, on behalf of Ajit. So a big hands to Ajit for, I mean, his, his mother had a fall. So it was inevitable. So, it, so we had to, we'll, once he comes. Yeah. So very nice live talk. Thank you, Dr. Abhyamkar. May I now request, Madam Thamba? Huh? May I now request Dr. Alka, madam, to continue, please. Thank you. Uh, our next speaker is Dr. Amit Bhatt. So, uh, Dr. Amit Bhatt is a medical oncologist uh, practicing at Avinash Cancer Clinic, uh, Tilak Road, and Arogya Diagnostic Clinic at Banet. Uh, he is MBBS MD from Sevagram Varda, and he has got a fellowship in medical oncology. So, he will be talking about. Uh, uh, smoking and lung cancer, some interesting myths. So, what to do? Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Bharat was let did was the lunch at the Chamoe Avania Banker, sir, Faktani, upon Dogas Bolletzer Island. The Japan Rahul Dravid Kuru upon Aramat. And Halvesar Namaskar, Mazapaila lecture, Kitte Varshanburi, Halvesar Astanami Kalela, so Malatisha and the Dala Halvesar Alet. So, Naki Abam Zaki Trotter. Yes. So, uh, we have talked about tobacco cessation, uh, Gangwal sir, alcohol badal bolotte, and tobacco uh, cessation, smokeless tobacco, second hand tobacco. We have talked about all this. We have talked about We have talked about all this. And we have talked about all this. 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 We have talked about all so people are aware and still they do it. So that is what is the human mentality. We know what is going to go wrong. And still we are we don't care. The careless attitude. We have that careless attitude. Now, what is to be uh, done about this careless attitude? Where we can change this careless attitude? COVID taught us that this careless attitude can be stopped. Full lockdown, the Daruji Dukana Sagi Bandoti, did my Sagai Shantopana Rale. When the COVID lockdown sample and Dusra Dushi, Prabhatrocha wine shop, Chi line Bagal Bajam, the Dushi Changari Kitchen and Fiki Padelashi line Hoti, Udimoti line Hoti Dushi. So that is what how people are. So this is like one of the most corollary things that we have to do in our house, we have to go to our parking site, we have to go to our house. of the world. See, cancer means that we are all going to get rid of it. But cancer is not going to get rid of it. It's 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 not going to get rid of it. So, there are a lot of myths and complications. So, we are smoking awareness for the next food chest. We are going to get rid of cancer. We are going to get rid of cancer. So, awareness, yes. Newspaper, I mean, I mean, every, almost every month, we have some articles that we have to do with the new news, how we can do it, how we can stop it, how we can do it. But I mean, this goes above the head. Because it is a problem, that we have to do it in the problem, we have to do it in the house, and we have to do it in the house. So that is what is happening, and people are careless. So this has to change. So there are many new things. Blood test, we have to say about liquid biopsy, we have to say about liquid biopsy, we have to say about new methods. And it's not an immunotherapy. 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 
सो बेसिकली इन लंग कैंसर ट्रीटमेंट वॉट हेज चेंज तो द कन्सेप्ट इज एवरीथिंग हेज चेंज मे अपन जे शिकलो कर सब नवीन गोषी आ सो मेथड्स ऑफ डायग्नोसिज आर न्यू अपन बदल बोलू मेथड्स ऑफ ट्रीटमेंट आर कम्प्लीटली न्यू वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट दैट एंड देन लॉट ऑफ देर आर लॉट ऑफ न्यू ड्रग्स विथ बेटर एफिकसी एंड मिनिमल साइड इफेक्ट्स किमोथेरपी त्रास हो जगमान्य गोष है मैं मैं किमोथेरपी च साइन्स कस पुढ़ जा रहा साइन्स ने अभी औषध आ जे तुम किमोथेरपीज मनता तुम्हें साइड इफेक्ट्स कमी तुम्हें एफिकसी जास्त पार्टिकल साइज छोटे टेकल नैनो टेक्नोलॉजी के औषध आए जैसे तुम्हें किमोथेरपी अजु कभी चांगली सहन करू शता हे सो टॉपिक टुडे वॉज गिवन टू मी विथ मिथ्स एंड लंग कैंसर सो मी लंग कैंसर ट्रीटमेंट बदल टेक्निकल गोषी बोलना नहीं मैं आई टॉक टू यू अबाउट सम मिथ्स सो एवरीथिंग इज अ कॉस्टली अफेयर कैंसर मटल कि अरे बाप रे आता खूब सारे लाखों रुपये जा रहा है फार खर्चिक गोष है ये yes, एक पांच वर्ष अगोदर सत्य होते आता नहीं सो इफ यू लुक एट इंडिया दिस इज अ ग्राफ एक लंग कैंसर ची ट्रीटमेंट यूएस वर्सेस इंडिया अपन कंपेरिजन नहीं अपन वन फिफ्थ कास्टला इंडिया मे अपन ट्रीटमेंट करू शो हेच बेनिफिट का कारण अपने कूब सारे जेनेरिक्स अवेलेबल है ट्रीटमेंट कॉस्ट इन इंडिया इज वेरी वेरी लेस फॉर एक्जाम्पल कम्पेर्ड टू कैंसर आता ड्रग्स आता एक सहा महीने अगोदर पेपर मध्य आग कॉस्ट कमी नंबर दोन से ड्रग पेमेट्रेक्सेड मन अजु एक बावीस हजार रुपये अगोत होता है आता तीन हजार रुपया ड्रग कॉस्ट मिलते अजु ही आता आज जे ओरिजिनल इनोवेटर जेनेरिक जे अपन खुदा मन तो जेनेरिक तो जेनेरिक मे लोग डुप्लिकेट है अपन खुदा जेनेरिक कर तो, तो कन्सेप्ट है अपना तो जेनेरिक ओरिजिनल आता पेमेट्रेक्साइड एलआलि ओरिजिनल मॉलिक्यूल अजु मार्केट मे दीड लाख रुपया मिलत अपना इंडिया मे पेमेट्रेक्साइड उत्तम कंपनीज सीप्ला रेड्डीज मन तो तीन हजार रुपया मिलत उत्तम कंपनी चो so दैट इज द रीजन वी कैन कट डाउन द कॉस्ट हॉस्पिटल कॉस्ट जरी धरली तरी एक साइकल की मैक्सिम कि रुपये साइकिल सहा साइकल जर तो साठ हजार रुपये ट्रीटमेंट लंग कैंसर जी संपली विच इज मच लेसर देन एनी अदर डायग्नोसि और एनी अदर ट्रीटमेंट सो कैंसर ट्रीटमेंट इज नाउ अफोर्डेबल पैसे कसे तुम्हें उभ्या करा स्मोकिंग पासन जो तुम्हें टोबैक होता है दिस इज एक सीम्पल है कि इफ यू आर एवरेज स्मोकर गोज थ्रू वन पैक पर डे सो दैट इज सेवन ट्वेंटी रुपीज इली जर के ट्वेंटी वन थाउजेंड सो तुम्ही आज स्मोकिंग बंद कर बैंक टाकल एफ डी लुम्मी बाय द टाइम यू रिटायर यूल गेट एटी फोर लैख रुपीज सो दैट इज मोर देन सफिशियंट फॉर यू फॉर एनीथिंग सो इफ यू इफ यू स्टॉप स्मोकिंग सो इफ यू से नहीं मैं आता जो हलवेसा ने मटल कि मैं आज तंबाकू सोडला तो पुढ़ जे सगे हैं जर तुम्हें एफ डी मे रोज चार रोज खर्च कराए ना तो एफ डी मे टाकला तो बाय द टाइम यू रिटायर यू गोन टू गेट एटी फाइव लैक रुपीज सो पैसा प्रश्न नहीं इट इज कैंसर ट्रीटमेंट और टोबैको इज नॉट द क्वेश्चन ऑफ मनी इकोनॉमिक्स हत संबंध नहीं है तुम्हें इकड़ा खर्च करता तो वाचला तो तुम्हें आराम तुम्हारा आजार हो रही तुम्हें को यूज करू शता सो मिथ नंबर वन एवरीथिंग इज वेरी कॉस्टली इज अ फॉल्स मिथ सो हे परसेप्शन है डॉक्टर मे के दिस इज नॉट अबाउट ले पब्लिक दिस इज अ दिस इज अ सर्वे डन इन डॉक्टर्स कैंसर कैन बी ट्रीटेड फोर्टी फोर पर्सेंट पीपल फील कैंसर कैन नॉट बी ट्रीटेड दिस इज सैड मे अपने दिस इज वॉट डॉक्टर्स पीपल विथ कैंसर कैन सर्वाइव थर्टी फाइव पर्सेंट डॉक्टर्स फील पीपल विथ कैंसर कैन नॉट सर्वाइव पेशंट पीपल कैन टॉक अबाउट कैंसर फ्रीली एंड ओपनली इन मै कंट्री पहले चल खूब कि आम पेशंटला कैंसर है संगू ना तो ट्यूमर संगा गाठ संगा संगा पे कैंसर हा शब्द वपरू शो ओपीडी फार कॉमन गोष्ट है आई एम मोर कन्सर्न अबाउट अदर सीरियस डिजीज इन कैंसर हो हार्ट अटैक आता कोविड है हार्ट अटैक है खूब सारे मोटे मोटे आजार है मैं कैंसर सा एवडे इम्पॉर्टंट नहीं है वॉट डू आई डू टू प्रिवेट कैंसर वैक्सीन आए महत्ति है कुछ खूब लोग वैक्सीन आता खूब सारे गोषी है ब्रेस्ट कैंसर मे पिल्स आए जैसे प्रिवेंट करू जेनेटिक टेस्टिंग है खूब सारे लोग नहीं कि आप प्रिवेंट कस करू शो एंड सर्विसेस तो ऑब्विस्ली अपन जरी मीडिया मे अपन दर वर्षी अपन दर वर्षी मे एंड लेक्चर्स घतो अपन सभी जो तरी मोस्ट ऑफ द पब्लिक इज अन अवेर अबाउट वॉट इज टू बी डन सो नेक्स्ट मिथ सो दैट इज वॉट द सीच्युएशन इज कि फ्रॉम कैंसर पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू डॉक्टर मे एवडे गैरसम कि कैंसर कि सग संपल दी दैट इज द एंड ऑफ द डे इट इज नॉट लाइक दैट नो मिथ नंबर वन एवरी लंग कैंसर नीड्स किमोथेरपी आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट स्टेज फोर हाँ स्टेज वन टू थ्री चाहू दे अपन स्टेज फोर लाभरतो स्टेज वन टू थ्री लोन घाबरत नहीं फिर स्टेज फोर हाँ स्टेज फोर लगन बोलू तो हा कन्सेप्ट है आता कि हाँ स्टेज फोर लंग कैंसर सगैंक किमोथेरपी लगे सो दिस इज अ वंडरफुल थिंग कि सगैंक किमोथे मैं जो मटल कि स्टेज फोर लंग कैंसर जरी तरी सग किमोथेरपी लगत नहीं तो ये वाटल कि अरे पैलदाज ऐसो मैं कस कि कैंसर स्टेज फोर तो किमो लगत नहीं सो दिस इज वेर साइन्स हेल्प्स 
Now we have to understand that lung cancer or for that matter any cancer is not simple black and white. Simple vanilla flavor नहीं है तो चाहे खूब सारे shades हैं खूब सारे हैं तला अपन genetics मंडो. Genetic में जो है mutations तो तो तसे lung cancer तो lung cancer में जो जो अपन pathology में दे सिखाए जो फक्त इसको आमसर नहीं आड़ी नो lung cancer या तो हजारों types हैं हजारों molecular types हैं. हेचा फायदा क्या मॉलिक्यूलर टाइप्स में जगह जी आप लोग लेते चल दिसते हैं कि ईजेफर आए हर्टियो आए आल का है ही मन जगह मॉलिक्यूलर टाइप्स आर आर लाइक डोर्स ऑन द कैंसर सेल्स बेसिकली अपन क्या करते हो कि आप लोग कैंसर पेशी और कुटला दरवाजा आए ही अपन शोधते हैं तो जो दरवाजा आप लोग स्पेसिफि� मजे अपन तो स्पेसिफिकली तसे ट्रीट करू शको हे फायदा का है कि हे हे जे दरवाजे हैं नॉर्मल पेशेंट वर नसना फक्त कैंसर सेल्स वरना मी जी ट्रीटमेंट देना नॉर्मल सेल्स वर काम नहीं करना फक्त कैंसर पेशेंट वर एक्ट करना मेरा इफेक्ट मिलना और साइड इफेक्ट कमी सो दैट इज वॉट वी आर डुकिंग एट एंड नाउ दिस मॉलिक्युलर डायग्नोसि रूटीन है हे का अपन थिरोटिकल बोलत नहीं है अभ्यंग से महत्व मगर आम आता आठ नौ वर्ष जाए रेग्युलरली अपन सग कर सो Every lung cancer patient does not require chemotherapy. This is Indian data. So, uh, uh, I'll mark that. See, that is the proportion of patients which will never need chemotherapy in their life. They can be managed by tablets, by targeted therapy. These are called targeted therapies. So, the amount of patients who are going to require chemotherapy is shrinking day by day for all the cancers. So, if cancer is not going to be able to do the doctor's doctor, then the concept is going to change, the thinking is going to change. The cancer is going to be able to do the chemo, there are many options, targeted therapies, immunotherapies, which we can do. Targeted therapies means tablets, which are going to be able to do the same thing, and we are going to be able to do the same thing. Stage 4 is not curable, but I am talking about good cancer control. I am talking about cancer control. I will come to that also. मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टंट बायोपसी इज अ वेरी कॉम्प्लिकेटेड अफेयर लंग कैंसर की बायोपसी कश कर लंग कैंसर नीडल कश कर फुगत सुई घी तो फुगा फुटेल ना सो दीज आर लॉट मेरी क्वेश्चन विच आर देर एंड एज सर अभ्यंग सर आता बोल कि लतूर से सर्जन होते मैं आता चाईस हजार लोकान बगित मैं कन्वेन्शनल कर सो मैं ब्रॉन्कोस्कोपी की गरज का सो द कन्सेप्ट इज दट यू हैव टू टैकल न्यूअर वेज यू हैव टू फाइंड न्यूअर वेज And uh, there is something called upon biases sonography karto. Vidisha madam bol lakhi neck node la sonography kara. So there is something called as E-blast. Endo sonography. Ki tumhi bronchoscopy karta na tumhi sonography cha probe aad gala. Sonography madhe bagha. Aani mag tumhi tachi biopsy kara. Hai cha fayda ka ki tumhi je complications lung cancer se biopsies madhe aapan bagot ho to. Ki are bleeding zala hai zala. Ye under blind biopsies nahi. Aapan under sonography aapan bagto hai. Gaat kute hai, node kute hai. Hai sagal bagto hai. Very well stationed. Aani mag tachi nantar aapan biopsies karto hai. So this is a very safe scientific method of doing biopsies very safely in lung cancer. This is available. Pune Hospital is there. Vrushali Madam and Abhyanka Sir in Pune, they have the largest case series in Pune or in Maharashtra. So this is all available with us. We don't have to worry about it. We don't have to worry about it. We don't have to worry about biopsies. There are some cases where there are biopsies. Like liquid biopsies. What do we do in biopsies? Specifically, what do we do in a biopsy? We put a needle into the tumor. Pick up some cancer cells. We aspirate some cancer cells and send it to the lab to understand the details of the cancer cells. What is a stage four cancer? Stage four cancer is a cancer which is spread all through the body. How does the cancer spread through the blood vessels? Which means that there are cancer cells inside the blood vessels. Which means that if we have a technology by which we can take a good blood sample, just like we do a hemogram or a blood sugar or a creatinine, and uh, test it in the lab, we can isolate the cancer cells from them. So that is a liquid biopsy. Blood is the liquid. Liquid man na apanti biopsy kele. And these are available. These are all available with us. A good diagnostic liquid biopsy is costing somewhere around seventy to eighteen thousand. Upon CT guided biopsy, ki upon regular biopsy, matlab andaz and theoda is cost. So cost effective theoda is ahe. And so that is what. One point. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Yes. Okay. Sorry, there's something on the screen over. So this is called liquid biopsy. So upon conventional, just solid biopsy and liquid biopsy, traditional biopsy is called solid biopsy. So what is the difference between these two? Solid biopsy, upon kai sar, we can do it once. Liquid biopsy can be done. Upon hemogram, rose karu shakko. ICU patients madhe upon karu shakko. The liquid biopsy, every time we can do it. What is the advantage of this? Cancer has, upon cancer, this la apalala, upon tachi treatment suru keli, kami sala na nantar kutta tari ek gaat vaidli. Something has changed into the cancer. Then, that, then how do we know what has changed in the cancer? Then if you do a liquid biopsy, we'll understand what is going on, what is the DNA abnormality. So every time the aim of this is to, to be one step ahead of the cancer. So that is how a liquid biopsy helps in real-time detection of comprehensive uh, tissue profile. 
एंड दिस इज एफ डी अप्रूव दिस एक्सपेरिमेंटल थेरपीज नहीं है सग यूएस एफ डी ने अप्रूव के अपने कहीं अवेलेबल टेस्टिंग है दिस इज ऑल विच इज रूटीनली देर विथ अस सो लिक्विड बायोपसी अगेन इज देर अवेलेबल विद अस फॉर डूइंग ऑल दीज थिंग्स so how does like this help us liquid biopsy this genetics me jaisa matlab ki it's not just black and white there are so many colors to it so this is what used to happen ki all patients see so suppose all lung cancer se patients are there so this is what we are doing for so long aplyala benefit pay hoyta tras hoyta chemotherapy cha jo parant fayda hoto to parant apan chemotherapy ghet raycho what do we don't want no benefit and fakt tras jala ki fayda kai jala nahi fakt side effects jali that is the we that is what we don't want नो बेनिफिट नो टॉक्सिसिटी का ही संबंध नहीं पीठा की होली खाला सारा जो दिस इज वॉट वी आर एमिंग एट वी वॉन्ट ओनली बेनिफिट एंड नो टॉक्सिटी देर इज वेर दिस जेनेटिक्स और लिक्विड बायोपसी और सॉलिड बायोपसी इज वेर डूइंग मॉलिक्युलर स्टडीज मॉलिक्युलर स्टडीज मन कि डीएनए बगा कैंसर का जला डीएनए खराब जा डीएनए का खराब जला है बगा मेरा कैंसर का जला हे उत्तर पाजे तो सर तो कैंसर का तो डीएनए का खराब जला बगित डीएनए च उत्तर अल तो अपन स्पेसिफिकली जो अपन एम कर दो ग्रुप कि मेरा ओनली बेनिफिट नो टॉक्सिटी दट इज नाउ बिकमिंग अ रियालिटी सो दिस वॉज द ओल्ड पैराडाइम ओल्ड पैराडाइम वॉट यूज टू डू वॉट यूज टू डू कंड डायग्नोसिस यू जे जगमान्य एक औषध है यू गिव दैट ट्रीटमेंट फायदा उत्तम नहीं जाला यू गिव अनदर ट्रीटमेंट एंड गोसो वन एंड सो फोर्थ सो यू कैन जस्ट कंटिन्यू ऑन गिविंग वन और दी अदर ड्रग टिल आइदर द डिज गोज अवे और द पेशंट इज सो सीक और सो वीक दट ही कैन टॉलरेट थिंग्स एनी मोर एंड खूब कि अगर किमोथेरपी होती सहन नहीं मन सग बंद करा लगे कि आयोर दिस मेनी डेज इन एंड डे ऑफ एन वी इर दिस सो दैट इज द रीजन द न्यू पैराडाइम कि वॉट वी आर गोन टू वॉट डू वी डू नाउ so this is what we how does this biopsies and molecular study so at diagnosis you do a molecular study you understand which is the right drug for my patient ha mutation hai hacha uttar hai he he kulup hai chi chavi hai you understand that and you give that you will be able to treat your patient better for a longer time and uh, without major side effects so what this is called as personalized medicine atta aplyala mall tech mall apan mhanto ki this is this is mall uh, mentality ki apan shirt madhe get apan mall madhe gelo char panch shirt baghitle ek aavadla ne ghetla जुना टेलर अपना जो होता कि वर्षा वर्षा जो टेलर कि आप तसे माप घायचे तो टेलर मेंटालिटी आता को नहीं एंड वी हैव टू गो बैक टू द टेलर मेंटालिटी कैंसर इन एवरी पर्सन इज डिफरंट इट इज लंग कैंसर मटल कि सगैंस सेम नहीं प्रत्येका कैंसर मे का वेग है सो यू गो टू द टेलर मेंटालिटी यू पर्सनलाइज द ट्रीटमेंट यू इंडिव्यूलाइज द अप्रोच सो दैट यू कैन डू अ बेटर टार्गेटिंग फॉर मिथ नंबर फोर स्टेज फॉर लंग कैंसर सर्वाइव फॉर अ मैक्सिम फोर टू सिक्स मंथ्स कि पटत है खूब कमी सो नाइस आई डोंट हैव टू टॉक सो फोर टू सिक्स नॉर्मल कन्सेप्ट है कि स्टेज फोर कि अरे चार पांच महीन मैं का नहीं किमोथेरपी घया थोड़ा दिवस किमोथेरपी घया मग सग संपल सो दैट इज नॉट सो द रीजन आई एम शोइंग दिस इज टैगरिसो मटल कि असिमिटी में एक गोई है सो जस मैं कि इन दैट लंग कैंसर मोस्ट ऑफ देम आर इन द रेड जोन वेल दे विल नॉट नीड किमोथेरपी सो दिस इज अ ड्रग अ टैबलेट विच हेज टू बी टेकन वन टैबलेट डेली जस्ट लाइक युअर बीपी और शुगर पील एंड वन टैबलेट डेली गिव्स यू Uh, the survival of at least 38 months that is an average survival maje apan lung cancer stage 4 la tablet deun apan 4 te 5 varsha paryanta aramat comfortably jagavto tablet var ajun mi chemotherapy dils nahi patient la ani ase bharpur sare option i am just talking about one tablet so you need to understand that there are the technology is gone so hard that you can keep a lung cancer it's not going to go away स्टेज फोर इज नॉट अ क्यूरेबल डिजीज बट वी कैन मेक इट लाइक अ क्रॉनिक जैसे डायबिटीज क्या किडनी का इश्यूज क्या इट इज अ क्रॉनिक डिजीज विच इफ टैकल्ड वेल कैन गो फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम पेशेंट कैन बी कैन लीड अ कम्फर्टेबल हेल्थी नॉर्मल लाइफ फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम अ गुड क्वालिटी लाइफ द क्वालिटी बिकॉज आई एम जस्ट गिविंग वन टैबलेट अ डे द क्वालिटी इज अश्योर्ड पेशेंट्स दैट डेंट हैव टू कम टू द हॉस्पिटल नो मोर एडमिशन नो मोर आईवी इंजेक्शन comes to the opd takes the pill comes for monitoring regular checkup karaycha and you go that but this is what an average life is If you look at the survivals, may uh, this is the five-year survival data WHO data. Sir, may uh, survival has gone up till fifty percent with this all this molecular temp, uh, is within uh, in the young age group. But what I want to do is the last age group, eighty to ninety-nine. Still at five years, five percent people are surviving. This is the may these are the elderly age group. May eighty plus zala ke ani cancer zala ke ata first thing is ata mala kahi karay sa nahiye. Hey, apna concept hai. कि मज मी सग मजे पोर एकदम सगे सेटल जाए सगे आयुष्य मैं कहीं कराए नहीं हम्पी आई डोट वॉन्ट टू डू एनीथिंग बट दिस इज नॉट द कन्सेप्ट आउटसाइड एवरी वन वॉन्ट्स टू लिव 
एंड दिस इज वॉट द डेटा इज की एट्टी टू नाइनटी नाइन सुद्धा फाईव्ह इयर्स सर्वल आपल्याला मिळते की आफ्टर एटी इयर्स ऑफ एज ऑल्सो पीपल वॉन्ट टू टेक ट्रीटमेंट दे आर एन्थुजियास्टिक दे आर पॉझिटिव्ह दॅट दे आर गोन टू बी कम्फर्टेबल युअर टू क्युअर द कॅन्सर दे आर गोन टू कंट्रोल द कॅन्सर दे आर टेकिंग द ट्रीटमेंट अँड लिडिंग अ गुड लाईफ सो दॅट इज वॉट वी वॉन्ट टू अचीव्ह विथ अस कॅन्सर शुड नॉट बी अ डेथ स्टेटमेंट इट शुड बी लेट ओके इट्स जस्ट अ डायग्नोसिस त्याला जसा बाकीचे आजार आहेत तसंच आहे त्या जरुरतपेक्षा जास्त त्याला महत्व देण्याची गरज नाही आहे की कॅन्सर झाला नाही इट्स ओके कॅन्सर झाला ट्रीटमेंट आपण करतोय वी आर गोन टू लीड अ क्वाईट अ नॉर्मल लाईफ नो सम इंटरेस्टिंग केसेस फरक पडतो का आता हे दिसत आहे की हे पेट स्कॅनचे इमेजेस आहेत आता आपण पेट स्कॅन विदिशी मॅडम पेट स्कॅन बद्दल बोलत होते सेप्पल कन्सेप्ट मध्ये आपण स्टेज फोर मध्ये पेट स्कॅन आपण का करतो आपण जेव्हा सिटी करतो तेव्हा सिटी ब्लॅक अँड व्हाईट असतो आपण बघतो सगळे की सिटी इज जनरली अ ब्लॅक अँड व्हाईट इमेज वेन यू डू अ पेट स्कॅन वी गिव एन इंजेक्शन कॉल एफ डी जी फ्लोरो डिऑक्सी ग्लुकोज द कॉन्सेप्ट इज विच इज द मोस्ट ऍक्टिव्ह टिश्यू इन द बॉडी विल लाईट अप so cancer is the fastest growing tissue in the body so on a black and white image you will start seeing yellow spots you try to pick up a cancer better and from treatment point of view i am giving a treatment to yellowness jo ahe to light fade vhal lagla kami vhal lagla so atta mi ek scan kela tyachat xyz yellow dislo tala suv mantat and that suv after say 3 months that suv comes down which says my cancer is coming down so i can use it for monitoring as well so that is what a pet scan and this is i mean these are real life results ki asa me uh, say 15 years back when we started oncology we if you see a scan like this you would say don't do anything this person wouldn't survive for even one month and we are seeing scans we are we are with immunotherapies and all we are seeing scans which are which are never ever seen before lung cancer this is stage 4 je tya side la black spots multiple this all over all over the body and at the end of six cycles these are real real good scans where diseases come down on the other side you can see the disease is there it's not gone away but the compared to the first picture the second picture the quality of life has improved he is back to his normal routine doing his normal activities the and he and on treatment but stable on treatment so that is what what we are trying to achieve this is again another lung cancer this is treatment so you can see ki uh, the cancer the yellowness the yellowness which i was talking about you can see the yellowness is much less as in compared after the treatment but along with that lung function is improving je apan tala lymphangitis mhanto ki the extensive je white dista hai tumhala khalti te suddha kami hota so quality of life respiratory efforts respiratory quality is also of the patient is improving so this is how the newer drugs are doing they giving you a lot of benefit without uh, major toxicities आता बोन्स आहे दीज आर बोनिमेट्स मेनी आर टाइम्स वी सी लंग कॅन्सर विथ द बोनिमेट्स सो इफ यू कॅन सी दर इज बिग येलो स्पॉट विच इज कम्प्लिटली गॉन अवे हाऊ इज दिस पॉसिबल दिस इज अगेन अवर टार्गेटेड थेरपी कारण क्वालिटी इफ देर इज डिसीज इन द बोन्स द पेन इज द बिगेस्ट फॅक्टर आपण कॅन्सरला का घाबरतो कारण फार दुखतं सो दीज आर टेनोसोमॅप म्हणून इज द ड्रग हे इन्सुलिन सारखं इंजेक्शन इट्स नॉट इव्हन आयव्ही इट्स जस्ट अ इंजेक्शन आपण इन्सुलिन घेतो तसं महिन्यातून एक इंजेक्शन घ्यायचं आहे दिस इज अ टार्गेट थेरपी स्पेसिफिक फॉर बोन रिफॉर्मेशन बोन कन्स्ट्रक्शन सो वेन द बोन इज गेटिंग कन्स्ट्रक्टेड जे कॅन्सर मुळे तो डिस्ट्रॉय झालेला बोन आहे जे येलोनेस आहे ते कमी झालं महिन्यातून एकदा इंजेक्शन घेतलं आणि द येलोनेस इज कम्प्लिटली गॉन ऑलमोस्ट कम्प्लिटली गॉन हाऊ डज दिस ट्रान्सलेट इन टू द ऍक्च्युअल पेशंट शुड बी इन सिव्हिअर पेन वेन यू हॅड द फर्स्ट स्कॅन बिकॉज ऑफ दॅट एक्सटेन्सिव्ह डिसीज अँड युअर पेशंट इज व्हर्च्युअली पेन फ्री ऑन अ मेडिसिन अँड गोईंग बॅक टू इज गुड क्वालिटी ऑफ लाईफ ऑन अ मेडिसिन विच हॅज टू टेक सबक्युटिनियसली जस्ट वन्स अ मंथ दॅट ऍज इझी एज दॅट सो कॅन्सर ट्रीटमेंट हॅज बिकम easy to take and cost effective again the this is the the uh, another picture where you show so my aim of showing you so many pictures is there are there are ways and methods of doing where you can actually see the difference in your cancer and patients become very positive patients see that image oh this is my cancer this is very good for the patient to explain as well when you have a pet scan you can show the patient oh this was your tumor and now this is there it creates a lot of positive in the patients अभ्यंकर सर म्हणत होते की तो सी ए लारिंग्स असतात आणि ट्रेकस्टॉमी मधनं स्मोकिंग करता बट टू मच पॉझिटिव्ह मी असे पण असतात तर टू मच पॉझिटिव्हिटी इज नॉट गुड आय टेल आय जस्ट शेअर माय ओन एक्सपिरियन्स ओव्हर इयर की ओरल कॅन्सरचा पेशंट आहे होता आणि सर्जरी झाली रेडिएशन झालं सगळं आणि नेहमी ओपीडीमध्ये आलेले नवरा आणि बायको नवरा पेशंट बायको म्हणतात की आणि परत तंबाखू सुरू केला म्हणजे परत सुरू करतात हे नेहमीच तर त्यांनी एकदम एकदम छाती काढून त्यांनी सांगितलं डॉक्टर साहेबांनी मला एकदा भटसर आहेत ना ते कुठे पळून चालले म्हणे एकदा बरं केलं परत झालं तर परत करतील म्हणे बरं सो दिस इज हाऊ दिस इज हाऊ थिंग्स आर सो दॅट केअरफ्री अटिट्यूड इज नेवर गोन टू गो वी हॅव टू फाइंड मी वेज अँड मीन्स अराउंड इट सो दॅट वी कॅन टॅकल दिस प्रॉब्लेम so as i said uh, again this concept has to go in everyone's mind that uh, the cancer is of varied types you can personalize the treatment you can give one size doesn't fit all there are specific personalized treatments which can be given every cancer is different and we can 
ट्रीट दैट दिस इज द पैराडाइम्स सो लंग कैंसर जो खूब वर्ष अगर किमोथेरपी का फार त्रास कारण किमोथेरपी से औषध मिला टोटल दह इंजेक्शन होते आता साढ़े तीन हजार इंजेक्शन होते किमो मटल इन्फेक्शन मटल कि एंटीबायोटिक जनरल टर्म एंटीबायोटिक हजारों एंटीबायोटिक है जैसे कैंसर मटल कि किमोथेरपी बट सो मेनी डिफरेंट काइंड्स ऑफ इंजेक्शन सो मेनी डिफरेंट मेथड्स जैसे मैं मटल कि किमोथेरपी से साइड इफेक्ट्स है मतलब न्यूअर ड्रग्स पेमेट्रेक्साइड जो आप तीन हजार रुपया औषध है सो पेमेट्रेक्साइड इज नाउ अप्रूव बाय यूएस एफ डी टेन मिनट इंजेक्शन वन एवरी थ्री वीक्स दर तीन आठ दह मिनटा एक इंजेक्शन दिया है फॉर अ स्टेज फॉर लंग कैंसर दिस कैन बी गिवन अप टिल थ्री इयर्स सो यूएस एफ डी एस अप्रूव इट फॉर थ्री इयर्स टू बी गिवन सेफली टू कीप द कैंसर अंडर गुड कंट्रोल सो दट इज वॉट वी आर एमिंग एट टार्गेटेड थेरपी मोटा मोटा मैगजीन्स मे आज आर ऑल मेरेकल्स पील्स एंड दोज हू आर प्रैक्टिसिंग फॉर द लास्ट टेन फिफ्टीन इयर्स हैव सीन दीज मेरेकल्स वे वन वॉट वी आर सींग से टेन इयर्स और फिफ्टीन इयर्स बैक वेर द कैंसर पेशेंट इज टू जस्ट फोर और सिक्स मंथ्स जे मटल मैं सो यू हैव सीन दिस मेरेकल्स स्कैन्स बिकमिंग नेगेटिव स्कैन्स बिकमिंग नॉर्मल आई टेल यू अ सिंगल एक्जाम्पल नॉट रिलेटेड टू लंग कैंसर क्रॉनिक मैलर्ड लिख ल सी एम एल मत अपना खूब दा तो वॉट्सएप पर एक मेसेज होता अपने इमेटिव नाव गोई का तो सी एम एल हा दो हजार एक लमेटेनिम ना गोई आई आज का इमेटेनिप महीनिया खर्च चार हजार रुपये तो इमेटेनिप दो हजार एक या अगोदर सी एम एल पेशंट से ट्रीटमेंट फिर कि ब्लड कैंसर जा ट्रीटमेंट फिर किमोथेरपी होती कि उत्तम किमोथेरपी कि खर्च के सर्वाइवल आठ से दह महीनपेक्षा जास्त न होता दोन हजार एक साल ही टार्गेटेड थेरपी पहली गोई आई इमेटेनिप की एंड दिस वॉज स्टार्टेड एंड दोज पेशंट्स हू स्टार्टेड इमेटेनिप इन टू थाउजेंड वन आर अलाइव स्टील सो दिस इज जस्ट लाइक अ क्रॉनिक डिजीज सो पीपल सी एम एल डेथ्स है दिस इज एन एंशंट हिस्ट्री आता को ही सी एम एल डेथ्स होते नहीं ऑन टैबलेट्स पीपल आर वेरी वेल कंट्रोल सो दैट इज वॉट दे कॉल इट अ टार्गेटेड फिर ऑन मेरेकल पीप एज आई सेट वी आर लुकिंग एट दीज टार्गेट्स कैंसर सेल है कैंसर पेशीर वर्ष दरवाजे कुछ ले यू आइडेंटिफाई द करेक्ट डोर एंड देन यू गो हेड एंड दैट इज हाउ यू आर गोन टू ट्रीट द कैंसर बेटर आता अपन यू अपन दिस इज अनदर रिपोर्ट विच आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू अगेन हाउ टू मेक अश्योर दैट यू आर गोइंग गिविंग ओनली बेनिफिट टू द पेशेंट एंड नॉट टॉक्सिटी अपन खूब जो अपन इन्फेक्शन अपना डॉक्टर वॉट वॉट डज डॉक्टर डू ही गिव्स यू सम एंटीबायोटिक सेंड सर कल्चर रिपोर्ट वाई डज यू सेंड अ कल्चर रिपोर्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड विच आर द सेंसिटिव एंटीबायोटिक्स विच आर द रेजिस्टेंट एंटीबायोटिक्स एंड देन टेपर्स दर ट्रीटमेंट आर गिव्स यू द करेक्ट ट्रीटमेंट एंड देन यू इमिजिएटली रिस्पॉन्ड we are doing the same thing in cancer the green and the red zone tells us this can be done on the cancer cells this can tell you which chemotherapy so if you are in that group where you want to definitely need chemotherapy sage targets negative wale kutle tablet nahi hai aplyala chemo ch lagnar he clear zale that the targets made then also we can assure that yes you want to get benefit and minimal or zero toxicity because we can before giving the first drug to your first injection to we have an idea ki these are the drugs which are beneficial to you these are the drugs which are in the red zone and you are not going to get any response so that is how things have changed so even if the chemotherapy ghechi garas padli tari things can be given in such a way that things go uh, the life becomes very easy and smooth and this is the report with summary of results therapy with potential benefits ek list ali therapy with lack of potential benefits list ali ani market ani this a he kundali kadli apan cancer chi so with this we can exactly understand what we are going to do for the patient and this is different for every patient this is like a fingerprint no two cancers are the same this is your fingerprint so every patient has a different fingerprint every cancer has a different fingerprint if you understand that you can definitely treat the cancer much better these are all uh, just what like uh, i am lung cancer cell karaycha we are pulmonologists so this is what we are doing we are doing active research in cancer about this target these are multiple publications brain metastasis so apan as khub da asa jala ki concept ki lung cancer has gone into the brain and ma ata sample brain madhe gela ki ek don mahines fakt so my my uh, personally i am very proud to say that my uh, the most surviving patient is 9 years 9 years with the brain no no it was she my she had come to me when her kid was 5 years old जस्ट फर्स्ट स्टैंडर्ड लाइन होता कि आता कस हो मुलगा एवडा लहान है आता तो धावी गेला ती आई कि मैं फार टेन्शन है मतलब क्या पोर का धावी गेला मतलब अगर आप जो सुरू के होता मटल सो दैट इज हाउ थिंग्स पीपल बिकम पॉजिटिव पीपल फर्गेट अबाउट द कैंसर एंड दैट इज वॉट वी वॉन्ट गो बैक टू युअर टेक युअर ट्रीटमेंट गो बैक टू युअर नॉर्मल लाइफ सो देर आर लॉट ऑफ वेज एंड मीन्स विच वी कैन डू this is a new thing i'm just trying to this has nothing to do with our seminar today but i'm just trying to introduce the concept this is for cancer prevention we are working on a test a blood test we can which we can tell you your cancer risk which you want to have in the next one year prevent me apan ek varsha the annual checkup sir blood test kara ajun we have to go still to the go to the update this is we are trying to do it in 15000 patients 
त्याचे फिफ्टीन मधले सेव्हन अँड हाफ थाउजंड आर कॅन्सर पेशंट सेव्हन अँड हाफ थाउजंड आर नॉर्मल पेशंट पाहिजे दिस इज अँड दिस इज द हॉलमार्क सीटॅक म्हणतात त्याला सर्क्युलेटिंग टुमर असोडेट सेल्फ क्लस्टर्स सो वी हॅव पेटंटेड दिस मॉलिक्युल दिस इज द फर्स्ट टाइम विच अवर मॉलिक्युलर लॅब एड नन दिस वी हॅव पेटंटेड दिस दिस नेम दिस सेल्स बिकॉज नो वन इन द वर्ल्ड हॅज नन दिस अँड वी आर इन द प्रोसेस ऑफ Uh, of doing this so if if he become successful say 2 3 years this atta era next in 3 to 4 years down the line our target is 2025 will be first persons in the world to get a preventive test for cancer which you can tell uh, what is your risk for in the next one year so that is what we are doing right now so a lot of things are doing so my last slide uh, so utility so what we are going to do now as of today we are determining appropriate dosing you do the genetics you understand what is the correct dose you ensure maximal efficacy सो बेस्ट पॉसिबल आहे हे बघा यू अवॉइड अननेसेसरी टॉक्सिक ट्रीटमेंट यू डू द मॉलिक्युलर टेस्टिंग यू डू द किमोथेरपी सेन्सिटिटी अँड देन अंडरस्टँड की दिस ड्रग्स आर गोन टू वर्क दिस आर नॉट गोन टू वर्क सो यू अवॉइड अननेसेसरी टॉक्सिक ट्रीटमेंट यू रेड्यूस साइड इफेक्ट्स कोणालाही साईड इफेक्ट्स नको आहेत जेवढे अँड सायन्स एक्सेप्ट दॅट की प्रिव्हियस ट्रीटमेंट्स वर कॉजिंग लॉट ऑफ साईड इफेक्ट्स यू ऑल द न्यू ड्रग्स आर फोकस्ड ओनली ऑन हाऊ टू डिक्रीज द साईड इफेक्ट्स अँड डेव्हलप नॉवेल थेरपीज इम्युनोथेरपीज टार्गेट थेरपीज ऑल दिस come under the umbrella of targeted therapies where things are really moving forward thank you so much for your attention oh cool cha ane ek topic itka thoda velat cover kele sar sagle over gela khup ko avgale chan kele sar dr bhat uh how sensitive is liquid biopsy is in detecting early lung cancers sensitive in early lung cancer the sensitivity is around 80% in stage 4 lung cancer it is almost 99% us fda has approved for egfr testing early lung cancers made the the cancer cells are not there apan je circulating tumor cells manto earlier people used to look at circulating tumor cells and the efficacy of detecting those circulating tumor cells was around 40% त्याच्यामुळे इन सिक्स्टी पर्सेंट ऑफ द पेशंट इन अर्ली लंग कॅन्सर युज टू मिस द डायग्नोसिस बिकॉज फक्त पीपल वर फोकसिंग ऑन सर्क्युलेटिंग टुमरनेस नाव पीपल आर फोकसिंग ऑन सम सी एफ डी एन ए सेल्फ फ्री डी एन ए सो इफ यू आर देर आर टेक्नॉलॉजीज बाय कॅन आयडेंटिफाय द कॅन्सर डी एन एन नाव दॅट इज गॉन अप टू एट द सेन्सिटी हॅज गॉन टू एटी टू नाईन्टी पर्सेंट बिकॉज वॉट वी आर लुकिंग वी आर लुकिंग ऍट अ कम्प्लिटली डिफरंट थिंग अँड विथ दिस दिस न्यू टर्म सर्क्युलेटिंग ट्युमर असोसिएट सेल्फ क्लस्टर्स इन द इन अर बेसिक पायलट स्टडी वी हॅव ऑलमोस्ट नाईन्टी नाईन पर्सेंट कॉर्डन्स So this is the next one. My cells, a CT circulating tumor cells, cell-free DNA, and now CTEX. So this is the next one. And uh, you are using immunotherapy in early cancers as well as late cancers, or only early, in early late, cancers? No, immunotherapy is is the treatment of choice on almost all stage four diseases now. US FDA has given approval for lung, for kidney, for stomach, for brain, for breast. Almost all the cancers now for stage four. So we can get any kind of therapy for lymphomas comes in. now with immunotherapy the the caveat is there is something called as pdl1 target apan manto if that pdl1 is more than 1% tarst the immunotherapy kaam karte now uh, people are trying to do it in adjunct early cancers if immunotherapy uh, works so well then try their new adjunct jala mantat ki before actually treatment and we are finding responses in that way कुठलाही ड्रग केला की तो स्टार्ट विथ स्टेज फॉर कॅन्सर ट्रायल्स अँड देन कम ऑन टू द न्यू ऍट जुअंट स्टेज तो वी आर फाइंडिंग फॅन्टास्टिक रिस्पॉन्सिस इन दॅट वेल म्हणजे आताच ऍमी तिचं अण्णा फिशर आय एम नॉट डुईंग अ फर्स्ट स्टेप सो शी इज द फर्स्ट पेशंट ऑफ ब्रेस्ट कॅन्सर स्टेज फोर विथ ब्रेन मेटास्टेसिस टू बी स्कॅन नेगेटिव्ह फॉर द थर्ड इयर इन जानेवारी ऑन इव्हन तर सो असं कोणीच नाही सो दिस अ फर्स्ट पेशंट ऑफ मे स्टेज फोर विथ ब्रेन मेट स्कॅन नेगेटिव्ह मी स्कॅन मध्ये ऑन इव्हन तर सो दिस इज हाऊ थिंग्स आर चेंजिंग थँक यू थँक यू थँक यू सर आणि तुमचा मला अप्रोच खूप आवडला यू हॅव टू बी लाईक दिस डॅशिंग टू ट्रीट कॅन्सर पेशंट इट्स व्हेरी हार्ड बट इट हॅज टू बी देअर Uh, I now I request our president, Dr. Minakshi Deshpande, to come on the dais to felicitate Dr. Amit Bhat sir, and uh, I request both the chairpersons to join the felicitation. Optimistic, you who powered. Ani Kangwal sir, ani Sangit lele, ani tanto tanto paile ki Marathi sudha bolta bolta Marathi bolta bolta English.
थँक यू आपल्या आता प्री लंच एक लास्ट लेक्चर आहे आणि ते व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट लेक्चर आहे ऑन स्मोकिंग टोबॅको सिजेशन द मेडिकल वे इट इज बाय डॉक्टर नितीन अभ्यंकर सर बिफोर दॅट आय जस्ट वॉन्ट टू अनाऊन्स दॅट आवर फोर ऑल द फोर सिनियर मेंबर्स हु आर टू बी फेलिसिटेटेड हॅव ऑलरेडी रिच हिअर सो वेलकम देम ऑल अँड जस्ट बेअर विथ अस फॉर अनदर ट्वेंटी मिनिट्स अँड इट्स अ रिअल प्लेजर टू हॅव डॉक्टर नितीन अभ्यंकर हिअर ही इज अ पल्मोनॉलॉजिस्ट ॲट पुना हॉस्पिटल जहांगीर हॉस्पिटल दीनानाथ हॉस्पिटल अँड प्रयाग हॉस्पिटल इज अ फाउंडर डायरेक्टर ऑफ स्कूल ऑफ इंटरनॅशनल पल्मोनॉलॉजी पुना हॉस्पिटल इज अ कोर्स डायरेक्टर रेस्पिरेटरी थेरपी पुना हॉस्पिटल अँड एच ओ डी पल्मोनरी मेडिसिन पुना हॉस्पिटल ही इज रिसिव्ह ट्रॅव्हल अवॉर्ड कॉलेशन अगेन्स्ट टी बी ए टी एस टू थाउजंड फाईव्ह अँड गोल्ड स्पॉन्सरशिप इयर एस टू थाउजंड नाईन सो टू डॉक्टर नितीन अभ्यंकर ही इज अ कन्व्हेनर ऑफ अवर सी एम ई अँड रिअली आय कॉन्ग्रॅच्युलेट हिम टू हॅव सच अ एक्सलंट स्पीकर्स वन आफ्टर द अदर दे आर रिअली मेकिंग अ हाईट ऑफ अवर सी एम ई थँक यू very very kind of you thank you for uh, this invite and this opportunity to create a very uh, engaging symposium but let me warn you that whatever you heard in the last 20 minutes from amit do not disclose to your patients because if you want them to quit smoking this is useless information <laughs> there is too much hope there <laughs> anyway so i think the whole idea is i think people still should remain scared of that diagnosis i i don't want them to feel so comfortable when we are thinking about smoking cessation because otherwise they will never quit that's the whole idea and i think we have seen how many uh, quit numbers they are there these are the numbers of people who are 100% quitting smoking every day why because they die so, <laughs> so we had in fact let me tell you what is the latest update on we we had a radio program which announced free counseling to all smokers who want to come to pune hospital get a lung function done free of cost and totally how many people turned up six let in the first hour six so we had six people so i am still still very happy because there is a six people who may change their life completely today so i i don't mind doing that thousand times again that's not a problem but see the number which is so small we were we were prepared for 100 lung function tests we have the wherewithal to do that we had got those many technicians and the willingness to quit is so very low and that is that is what i'm going to discuss to you in the next uh 20 minutes or so so how do we go about it i know it's so bad you no know, tobacco is a filthy weed that from the devil does proceed the it drains your purse it burns your clothes and makes a chimney out of your nose this is benjamin waterhouse <laughs> so i think very poetic and it's true absolutely true so i am not going to go through the smoking related disease and this and that so i think this has been touched adequately so the horrors are already there this is where this is an interesting data and i'll stop one moment on this particular slide these are physicians who were non smokers versus physicians who were smokers and this used to happen a few years back now that number is very very small number of physician smoker is almost negligible i don't i have one one neurophysician who smokes that's the only person whom in my hospital whom i remember there is nobody else isn't it amit i am not able to convince him that's the only person left yeah <laughs> but, but, but well but well still i think physicians uh, it used to be that it was around 50 50 when i was in medical colleges that 50% of the physicians were smokers now that is down to less than 2% or 1% or whatever that is so the advantage is at least 10 years and the difference between these two is at least 10 years in the terms of survival so that is the simple simple message that even physicians have to take this seriously and i think why we are dying essentially because of too many chemicals we are talking of something like 6000 chemicals which the range starts from polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons 
carbons, azoins, nitrosamines, aromatic amines, aldehydes, other organic compounds, all kind of dirt which is loaded into this poisonous weed. And, and you know, you don't need Sarani Sangilatas, tobacco alone is so bad. So I think in the, in the smoke form. So you don't really need that. And of course, I mean, we, we, have, we already have seen the lung cancer part. So I'll just skip these slides and move ahead and actually come on to the topic of today's interest. Uh, okay. So the, the biggest biggest message which has to go to people is that it starts acting within a very, very short time. And within the first, say, the lung function will start improving, a uh, decrease in the cough will occur, the sinus congestion will go down, the fatigue will reduce, and the shortness of breath will go down within the first three months or so. In fact, the, within the first few days, the taste comes back. The, the, you know, because people are anorectic and therefore fit. Shah Rukh Khan is fit because he's anorectic. And essentially, he doesn't eat at all. And that, that's why you see those six packs or whatever that is. But that's that's all kokla. So I think the whole idea is that that's, you know, as early as few days, it starts giving you benefits. The Congestive, I mean, the, uh, the coronary heart disease risk is reduced by around 50% in ex-smokers by the end of one year. The stroke risk reduces in people who have never smoked at 5 to 15 years post-cessation. Uh, by, by five years, it comes. Uh, the lung cancer risk is 30 to 50% of in comparison to that of the continuing smoker by 10 years. And cardiovascular heart disease risk is similar to never smokers by the time of 15 years, somebody has given up smoking. So if you give up smoking, it's going to create a huge advantage in the terms of survival in a direct way. And this is one of the most appealing things. Rather than that, we use, in fact, let me just transgress and we, we look at you know the lung function every day. And we have a what is called as lung age and we use it very constructively. So if I showed a 30 year smoker, 30 year old smoke, uh, his age is 30, he's smoking for 10 years and I measure his lung age, often it is 45, 50. And then I just tell him that, look, your lung is now like a 45 year old person or a 50 year old person. Nobody wants to age in this world. Let me tell you that ladies to surely don't want to age. They stop aging after whatever that 20, 25 years years is after that they don't celebrate birth dates but that's a different story altogether but nobody wants to be called older so i think the whole idea is you can sell anti-smoking active ideas by using lung age as a very good tool so think of that when you are talking about that and Early quitting, of course, the lung cancer reduces dramatically and there is no question about it. I think we have already seen that. So why, why smoke wins over humans? Because of its willpower, wills power and not the willpower. And I mean, the willpower is, as we said, only 1% success rate. Why is it so low? Because it's as bad as heroin. Do you know the addiction potential is as bad as heroin. And by taking it for a number of days, what has happened is the receptors, as Vrishali told us, the receptors in the brain have been enhanced 20,000 times and they are ready to take and they are craving more and more and more. So the moment somebody goes off smoking for a certain number of hours, they start, the person goes into depression and he wants more and he has to get it. So now how do I go, how am I going to tackle this issue? And that tackling in simple words, I know even to cut the long story short, I have three things to tell you. One is veronically, second is also veronically actually, very frankly, and third is veronically. So I may stop only at veronically, but if you really ask me, there are two other options. So that, that completely, to e-cigarettes, all kinds of options are available. Now, if you really ask me, I personally don't practice e-cigarettes or nicotine replacement therapy as a choice 
because you are keeping him addicted to nicotine the primary addiction is of nicotine and i am giving him nicotine replacement therapy that means i am keeping him as a potential candidate to relapse in future to smoking because he is addicted to nicotine so i am not right jala mhanto na baila la shingda dharun ladat nahi apan we are just taking a diversion there and that is that is why i would say if i have to take the challenge and if my patient is willing then the best pharmacotherapy should be offered to him as a first choice in addition to excellent behavioral therapy now what is this behavioral therapy business is it very complicated you need a psychiatrist you need a counselor you need a dietitian you need you know people to hold his hand and rub his feet nothing of that sort it is not that complicated the behavioral therapy is that person has to decide on a quit date that's as simple as that number 1 decide on the quit date aaj mi sodnar hai majha mula cha vaad divasala sodnar hai take a very emotional day lagna cha vaad divasa cha divas titka emotional rahilela nasto tyamule kadachit pan mula cha vaad divasala nakki sodte forget the joke she is sitting there sorry <laughs> i am in danger after going back so you all right <laughs> so i think the the fun part is if you take a emotionally relevant date people do it and that that could be anything you could, you have to identify whatever that date for it is quit on that particular day 7 days in advance you have to start therapy whether it is varenicline or bupropion both the drugs are started 7 days in advance for varenicline and I'm, i'll i'll try and go go there straight away because okay so set the quit date the second part is tell the family this is very important and coworkers and declare to the world that you want to quit and that is that is called as commitment maal ghalun lagna karna ani live in relationship matla farak hai ha maal ghalun lagna karna sahi karna yacha artha you are committed so you need to commit and you need to commit to the world unless until you commit to the world you are not very not likely to follow that particular relationship for a wrong time so that commitment is very very important so tell the family friends and coworkers you want to so that they don't tempt you into that particular thing then anticipate the and plan the challenges when you are quitting and those simple challenges are very very predictable mala toilet la lagatach nahi unless until i am my first cigarette yenaras nahi pressure ch yet nahi काही गरज नाहीये काय स्फोट होणार आहे का आतमध्ये काय काळजी करू नको इतकं सिंपल उत्तर आहे पण देन यु नो यू हॅव टू ऍड्रेस दॅट इन अ ओव्हर अ पिरियड ऑफ टाइम बाय रिपीटेडली टॉकिंग टू द पेशंट सो यू हॅव टू अँटिसिपेट एव्हरी चॅलेंज दॅट द पर्सन विल गेट इट समटाइम्स पीपल विल टॉक ऑफ इन्सॉमिया यू हॅव टू गिव अ स्विपिंग स्विपिंग क्लिप दॅट इज रिक्वायर्ड सो ऑल दॅट देन आर इज रिमूव्हिंग सिगरेट्स अँड ऑल अदर टोबॅको प्रॉडक्ट फ्रॉम एव्हरीवेअर यू कॅन्ट हॅव ऍक्सेस टू ठीक आहे एकदम इमर्जन्सी मी एक बॅकअप मी स्टॅश रग देते नो दॅट इज नॉट गोइंग टू वर्क दॅट दॅट विल नेव्हर वर्क अँड टॉक टू द डॉक्टर अबाउट गेटिंग हेल्प टू क्विट सो आय थिंक दॅट इज द लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ दॅट सो आय थिंक दॅट 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 इज द होल आयडिया बट सॉरी आय आय थिंक आय हॅव स्किप द वॅरेनिकलिन स्लाइड्स ऑल्सो सो आय आय ट्राय अँड एलॅबोरेट अ लिटल अबाउट दॅट इन द नेक्स्ट फाईव्ह मिनिट्स ऑर सो बोथ द ड्रग्स वॅरेनिकलिन एज वेल एज बिप्रोपियन अँड निकोटेन रिप्लेसमेंट थेरपी दोज हू बॅडली रिक्वायर निकोटेन रिप्लेसमेंट थेरपी the best idea is not nicotine chewing gums the best idea is maybe e cigarettes up to an extent but e cigarettes is again a nicotine replacement therapy and there is an issue of ethylene glycol which you are inhaling all the time that's not a very nice product so i am not really very strongly in favor of e cigarettes it's very fashionable in the west it's not a great idea for india very frankly i would rather put the person on varenicline as the first choice and bupropion in select patients so let us choose what are those patients varenicline is very easy to give 0.5 mg for the first 3 days bid for the next 4 days that is 0.5 mg od for the first 3 days 0.5 mg bid for the next 4 days 1 mg bid for the next 1 week and then continue for 10 more weeks now this is little difficult to remember you don't have to remember like this all you have to remember is varenicline one starter pack and five maintenance packs one starter packs will will be preloaded with 0.5 od 
in the first three days, 0.5 BID into next four days and one MG OD, uh, one MG BID into the next seven days already preloaded. So all you have to remember for a general practitioner or a family physician, all he has to remember is one starter pack for the first two weeks and five maintenance packs for the next 10 weeks. The preferable minimum duration is three months. But in a given patient who is finding it difficult, he's getting tempted, you can continue up to six months in certain situations, even up to one year. But usually people don't require more than six months. Usually seven weeks quitting is considered to be a successful quitting. Seven weeks is good enough time. So that is as simple as that. What are the problems that you will anticipate with varenicline? It is It causes nausea. There is nothing else, very frankly. There are, on the ADR reports, there are suicidal uh, tendencies which have been reported in 45 patients when something like 10 billion prescriptions have been used. So it's like saying that I get thrombotic episodes because of the um, COVID vaccine. It's good to be documenting that, but at the same time, it's not realistic to keep that as a primary advice. And I'm, I, I, I'm dead against that kind of advising because one of my tuberculosis patients, I'm, I'm with my one more story. Um, she came from UK, leaving her job here uh, because of a suspected pleural effusion being tuberculosis and the UK guys were not able to sort it out. And why she, did she come here? Because they said, we are going to give you empirical ATT and the counseling involved all side effects of the drugs and say, we will also be giving you ethambutol and you may become blind because of it. And she just ran. So I think this is bad doctor or clinician's approach towards anything in the world. So bad news needs to be given, but not in this fashion. So you discuss side effects in an intelligent patient who's able to understand side effects in a sensible manner and not overplaying the side effects. So you, the moment you say COVID vaccine thrombotic episodes, that is not the way you discuss it. COVID vaccine have saved some, I mean, literally a few crore lives. So be realistic. Similarly, millions of people have quit smoking with billions of dosage and 45 episodes of so-called suicidal tendencies that have been reported. So if you have a frank mad fellow who's you know, with a psychiatrist for the last 25 years and you are giving him varenicline, be a little cautious about it. Fine. Agreed. But that doesn't mean that you have to overplay this particular thing in his mind. Nausea is the main side effect. You may require to give him domperidone or whatever that additional thing which is there. We may have to counsel him about it and that is, that is the only thing. Nothing else is that required. Bupropion is primarily a drug which is not as effective and we really don't understand it fully well. Paranicline is understood as a partial agonist and it blocks, competitively blocks nicotine receptors. So it sits in every receptor. So even if you smoke, it, they say literally, the people report that saying, I don't get that kick at all. So that is the beauty of varenicline. We don't understand bupropion as well. Bupropion is a Velbertin, that was the original. It is a good drug. It has got antidepressant properties also. So it elates the mood. But varenicline, the way it elevates your brain receptors and keeps it elevated up to a, say 60-70% up as compared to what nicotine is, and it keeps it elevated for those 12 weeks. And generally, there is no withdrawal beyond it. So even if you take it out, it doesn't put the person into a depression. So that is that is the beauty of varenicline. So I think in, in simple words, I would keep recommending that varenicline will be the first choice. Bupropion, only subset of patients who are very morbidly obese and likely to become more obese after quitting. So somebody is already badly obese and a badly controlled diabetic, and would not want to gain weight, bupropion may be a better choice there. So that is the only, hey, what is the dosing? It's again very simple, 150 milligrams daily for the first seven days, start into 150 milligrams twice daily for uh, uh, next 11 weeks. So I think again, the same three months th formula, very similar, but here the dosage is different, or, but you, may, you don't have to even remember the dosage for varenicline. Once again, I'll repeat finally, one starter pack, and five maintenance packs. All that the person has to buy is that. And 
if he finds it difficult to get convinced, then of course, I mean, you, you may involve any one of us. A psychiatrist can be involved. Pulmonologists are available. Our services for smoking cessation are available free of cost. If somebody genuinely approaches us, sir, sir, we will not give you consultation charge. We will never ask for consultation charges. 10 of my colleagues have given it in press in 2016. Uh, the iconic conference at that time we had given this commitment and it still holds true but in the last eight years handful of people have approached like what these six heroes which have approached us today for quitting i hope all six quit so let's let's hope that and that happens what are the success rates in fact you know the best success i think if you really look at the holistic success rate they are very poor but in motivated patients the success rates are much much better there the the quit rate at the end of three months is around 70 percent with varenicline it is around 70 percent with propion maybe 55 60 percent with nicotine replacement therapy maybe around 40 percent something like that so the success rates are little, they go on dwindling. And that's so therefore, if you really ask me, if I get a committed patient and I have one single choice, I'll make varenicline as my first and the last choice. I wouldn't really think of doing anything else. They got a replacement therapy for appropriate patient who is not able to somehow tolerate it or has some other reasons where he will qualify for it can be given or can be given as an adjuvant therapy. It's not, it's not a completely bad idea. And if you are giving it, please remember a match is a must so that there is a baseline action 24 hours and then chewing gums on top of it so that the nicotine craving is reduced to the minimum because he has a continuous level. So you have to create a continuous sense of elation in the brain in order to fight tobacco or inhale tobacco or oral tobacco and it works for oral tobacco also. But that needs to be uh, understood that if I am not able to maintain that level, he will go into withdrawal and relapse into actual smoking or whatever that addiction that is. So one has to make sure that you are giving a good enough answer. And that good enough answer, varenicline is my first choice, bupropion second choice in select patients and nicotine replacement therapy more as an adjuvant. I think with that, I have enlightened you enough on this issue. The part which you must not forget is adequate behavioral therapy. So you have to go on in a systematic way and remember that entire start algorithm again, you can take a picture of it and keep it in your clinic, whatever, whichever way, because if you don't do all these things and give a varenicline to a patient, in fact, I refuse to give prescribed varenicline on the first visit. When I say I have a drug, it's it doesn't work because the patient is not that motivated. He has to, it is not called as informed consent. You know, it's like saying offering a surgery to somebody who has a you know boil there. Because the informed consent is missing there. Something can go wrong. Something may be going wrong. Needs to be discussed. So all the pitfalls have to be discussed. The entire start program has to be kept in mind and then prescribed. So don't be in a hurry to prescribe varenicline tomorrow. In any case, it is difficult. It's not easily available. It takes a little bit of time for the chemist to arrange it also because the sales are not very good. That is because not many people are trying to quit smoking at this point in time. Yeah. It hardly available. You have to really search and you will get it. You will get it, but it is tough to get it at the same time. So with that, thank you very much for your patient listening and uh, do not miss out on the post-lunch session also because that's going to be the social outreach program, which is which is aiming at more at preventions. So, thank you. Felicitations. Thank you, sir, for your uh, very informative lecture. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Extensive and exhaustive uh, deliberation on smoking solution. My, I'll share my experience with him. I used varenicline about uh, when it was introduced in 2002. And that time, the first patient was a secretary of health ministry, health secretary. Fortunately, it worked because I, I was persuaded that he should do. Stop it. After the secretary was transferred to other departments, he started smoking. So that was a very absolutely disappointing thing for me. Then I had only very anecdotal cases of paranicline use, three or four. Then I stopped using it. Because they they did not turn up after they stopped. 
if they again uh, went back to school. Other one, the other the he told about Metroplan. Uh, it was available as smoke weight, tablet smoke weight. That was also it. I had used it for uh, health secretary only. <laughs> See, remember, health secretaries were smoking a lot that time. And since I was in the hierarchy of the uh, advisor, so I used to prescribe this. But, but my experience overall in smoking physician is very, very disappointing. Nowadays, I don't practice more. I just say that you don't come to me. <laughs> so, <laughs> you don't come to me because you you have to spend a lot of time for their uh, work. So I'll, I'll counter you with one 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 story. <laughs> no, you can counter me because I have come. So this is this is wonderful to hear because I was booked for one of this is what fifteen years back an industrialist booked my entire evening. My clinic had to be stopped. He was to come from some airport. Uh, Pune airport to me and then had to go back to Bombay airport and then again he was flying abroad and he was all you know he had researched me he knew I wasn't active in this my name was there uh, you know in Jahangir we had published it adequately and all that publicized it and so he was all set to it doing it so he came he took the advice I prescribed Varenicline to him he struggled with the nausea for a long time. He kept on messaging me. He, at that time, there were no uh, WhatsApp and yeah. other messages so easily. So I, all you would get is an SMS. And he kept on doing that and he struggled with it and he quit and it was successful. But the beauty of it is 10 years later, I had a person waiting in my clinic and that person had not booked any appointment or anything of that sort. And he walked in and looked at a person who's like, you know, put on a lot of weight. And I said, Do, have I seen you? I said, I'm the person who made, you know, you made me quit this 15 years ago. This time he had come for obstructive sleep apnea and a CPAP machine. So I, after 15 years, I sold him a CPAP machine also. So you see that the indirect benefits of quitting smoking. <laughs> The same industrialist this time had no had not bothered to book my entire day or whatever it is. He may not be as successful anymore, possibly. But whatever, <laughs> but it's it's still a heartening story that you know somebody comes back with the same much much better fate to you, and it is rewarding. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I request our president, Dr. Kish, uh, Minakshi Deshpande, madam, to come on the dais to felicitate Dr. Nitin Abankar. I request Dr. Shilpa Naik, madam and Dr. Arun Harbe, sir, to join. And I request also request Dr. Raju Varyani also to be here. Uh, now I, I request uh, Dr. Varaju also to wait. I request uh, both the chairperson to come here to accept our felicitation. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir and uh, madam. Uh, now we'll be starting here, uh, senior members felicitation. So here, uh, I will uh, just, uh, he's arranging the chairs. I will request Dr. Savita Latkar, madam, to come on the dais. I will request Dr. Josna Purohit, madam, to come on the dais. Hmm? I will request Dr. Minachi, madam, to 
chair the session and Dr. Raju Vajani, sir, president elect also to chair the session. I request Dr. Satish Puntambekar, sir, to come on the dais. And I also request Dr. Niranjan Sontake, sir, he's my sir, to come on the dais. Yes, sir. Yes. 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 Having felicitations of four senior most practitioners in and around Pune city who are IMA Pune members and who have given their contribution to the society in the form of continuous practice for over 40 years approximately. So this is the reason why we are felicitating them and I would like to continue. Yes. So our first uh, Utsav Murthy Ahit, Dr. Savita Latkar, Madam. Uh, just um, a brief madam, introduction. Karte. She is uh, MBBS from BJMC Pune, 1990, uh, 1966. MD Pune uh, in 1970. And she has started her uh, private post, uh, hospital uh, in uh, May 1971. So almost 50, 50 years. Nice. Isn't it? Yeah. Uh, and she has worked at, uh, as a honorary gynecologist in P Pune. Uh, for a condensed LCPS course in BJMC and Sasun Hospital for five years. She was visiting gyne gynecologist in PHC at Poud Road, Poud and Yavad for three years under government scheme and also worked in Sane Guruji Rugnale, Hadapsar as honorary gynecologist for almost 40 years. So I will request our president, Dr. Meenakshi Deshpande and Dr. Raju Varyani to felicitate Madam. So, Madam, it's a token of gratitude. Now I request Dr. Gitanjali Sharma, Madam, to uh, introduce uh, Dr. Jo Josna Purait, Madam. So, it kya senior lokan se introduction ha shabd mala nahi aur na. Tenchi orak sagra na astet guru sthani aha ta apn sagre. Madam is alumni of Bija Medical College and Ferguson College. She has stood first. In DGO in Pune University, she's MD from Pune University. She owns her own hospital in Navasai Yatri, consulting rooms on Karve Road. She has worked again in Sane Guruji Hospital, which is a charitable hospital institute. She was president of Rotary Club of Parvati and active chairman for polio eradication program and eradication of anemia in 8th to 10th grade school girls under safe motherhood program. This is very interesting. The first laparoscopic hysterectomy in Pune was done in her hospital. This was with help of Dr. Deshmukh and Dr. Kirpekar sir. And another thing very interesting, car driving is her passion. <laughs> 
so uh madam you are in practice for last 50 years so she is a role model for all young doctors here and we are very happy to have you here today i request dr minakshi deshpande madam to felicitate dr purohit madam थैंक यू मैडम आता मी डॉक्टर निरंजन सोनटक्के सरांचं इंट्रोडक्शन म्हणजे तुम्हाला सर्वांना माहित नसेल त्यांच्यासाठी हे इंट्रोडक्शन आहे आमच्यासाठी तर ते सर आहेत आणि आय हॅव वर्क विथ हिम इन ई एस एस हॉस्पिटल तर ते ही इज एम बी बी एस फ्रॉम बी जे एम सी नाईन्टीन सेवन्टी वन अँड स्टार्टेड इज ॲज अ मेडिकल ऑफिसर ॲट ई एस एस हॉस्पिटल ऑन अँड ड्युरिंग दिस एमोशिप ही डिड इज डी सी डी डिप्लोमा इन चेस्ट मेडिसिन and from bjmc and md chest medicine from fmc pune so both this with first attempt with flying colors i worked he worked as a chest physician with additional charge of, from uh, 84 to 92 and he, he then he was promoted as a senior chest physician by mpsc so till his retirement that is in from on 30 uh, 31st of october 2006 to so during his pretty long service of 33 years of at ess hospital he treated thousands of uh, complex pulmonary and non pulmonary diseases in opd as well as he has started uh, diabetes opd and hypertension opd because uh, that was a peak you know that time so many uh, म्हणजे medicine opd machine evdi full asaychi na ki tyacha sathi tani category kadli ki hypertension ani diabetes opd tani vegla kadle amcha ess madhe teva खूप पेशंट असायचे आणि म्हणजे इट वॉज व्हेरी डिफिकल्ट टू हँडल म्हणजे अशी अख्खा करिडॉरच्या करिडॉर भरून जायचा आणि सांगण्यात म्हणजे ही वॉज ऑल्सो इन्स्ट्रुमेंटल इन कंपनी कंपनिंग सी एम ई पिरॉडिकली फॉर हिज अवर लाईक अवर ज्युनियर कलिग्स ॲट ई एस एस हॉस्पिटल अँड ही वॉज प्रॅक्टिसिंग ॲट स्वारगेट क्लिनिक फ्रॉम एटी फोर टू टू थाउजंड सिक्स्टीन अँड नाव ॲट प्रेझेंट हिज प्रॅक्टिसिंग ॲट हिज रेसिडन्स ॲट पद्मावती and so to tell that sir uh, next generation dr nikhil is a international cardiologist and he is practicing at present at uh, karanjolam uh, goa and he is a pg guide for dnb so i request our president madam to felicitate uh, dr niranjan sontakke sir yeah his father was also practicing and uh, he was in uh, i think um, cut yeah actually i was selected i was selected as a um, short term institution for l5 air force fire way back in 1997 so now we have taken out this concept of felicitating the senior practitioners because we come to know about their yes now i request that dr gitanjali sharma madam to introduce dr puntam baker sir it's my pleasure and privilege to speak a few words about dr satish puntam baker sir a very well known surgeon from pune he is practicing in pune since 1977 he is again the alumni of 
our own BJ Medical College, MBBS and MS from BJ. He passed his MS uh, exam with credits and he has worked at St. Luke's Hospital, Sri Rampur. It's a German mission hospital. He has also worked at KM Hospital and Tata Memorial Hospital, Mumbai. Uh, and then he started his practice in Pune. I'm uh, so much overwhelmed when he had sent this introduction where he has mentioned some great surgeons who has influenced you. So this is very important. Dr. Anil Masurkar, sir, from Sri Rampur, Dr. MJ Joshi, sir, from Pune, and Dr. Arun Date, sir, from Pune. So they have a great influence on him. And I think, sir, this is an excellent quality because in his felicitation, he is remembering those great personalities. So very grateful to you, sir. He was an honorary surgeon at Sassoon Hospital and BJ Medical College and a postgraduate teacher for more than 10 years. And he's still attached to Sane Guruji Hospital. Again, there are three of them over here who are attached to Sane Guruji Hospital, a charitable institute. So doing a lot of surgical camps. And also at Pune Cantonment General Hospital as honorary surgeon. So we are very grateful to you because you are here and we are happy that we are felicitating you. IMA Pune takes this honor to felicitate you. May I request now Dr. Meenakshi Deshpande, the president, to felicitate Dr. Puntambeta, sir. I request all the faculty, Dr. Vidisha, Dr. Nitin Abhyamkar, Dr. Vrishali, Dr. Nita Pratinidhi, Madam, to come on the dais, to come on the stage for a group photo, Dr. Bhatt. Yes, Dr. Ha, all those who are present in the post-lunch session faculty, please come on the stage. एक दोन मिनिटं सगळ्यांनी थांबा आपल्या कार पार्किंग मध्ये सगळ्यांसाठी जेवण ठेवलंय
I, I request all the delegates to have their lunch in lunch is being served in the parking for all the delegates and stuff and for all the faculties the lunch is arranged in uh, third floor boardroom Post lunch session will start at two o'clock.
Hello, sir. I can see you. Just speak something. Hello. Ah, yeah, you are audible. So you want to share your presentation once? Just continue. yeah, I'll just check. I'll just yeah. check that. Yeah, it's visible. Just yeah, I'll just see. There is one video where I need to see if the sound comes there. Yeah, yeah. Just go there. Okay. Yeah. Are you getting the sound? No, no. We are not getting the sound. Okay. Then I stop sharing and uh, go back to your slides are visible the sound the video video is also visible the sound will not come no? yeah i know i i'll go back to it's all right so you can just describe what is there in the video that will be no 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 it's a, it's a good description so i want to no no i just give me a minute i have stopped sharing so i where is my Zoom link? I will minimize this, maximize Zoom, go to share screen, and ha, it's mena. Share sound, and then I share this, and then I go to share. Ab dekho. Yes, sir, visible. Ha, visible to hai. Yeah, it is visible, no problem. Yeah, uh, sound are right? Yes, 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 sound is there. So, so, aap apni, main apni taraf se volume max rakhunga. Yeah. Aap wahan par apna lo. We will reduce it. No problem. Volume. Fine, sir. Itna kar diyega ki auditory. Okay. So, yeah. rehearsal successful. Absolutely. Uh, doctor. So, another 20 minutes Bata. and we will join, sir, again. <laughs> yes, sir. ठीक है, I'll join again. आप डॉक्टर नितिन को बोलिएगा जब मेरे को बोलना हो मुझे एक कॉल कर दें व्हाट्सएप पे मैं yes, तुरंत ज्वाइन कर लूँ। सर, yes sir, I'll I'll just send you a message. I am Doctor Abhyankar only sir talking to you. अरे अरे अरे, okay, <laughs> sorry sorry sorry. No problem. Okay. Just just give me give me a, a missed call. मैं तुरंत ज्वाइन। I'll give you a missed call. No problem. Fine. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. A very good afternoon. We are going to start the session in five minutes from now. Uh, Thank 
अरे हे काय ह्याच्यावरला घेतलं होतं डायरेक्ट तेच लावलं माझ्याकडे डायरेक्ट डेस्कटॉप वर पण आहे कनेक्टर जाओ का डिस्प्ले आला तर तो लावतो मला तर तिकडे आला होता असं म्हणजे हे आवाजाने इथं लावायचं
की आणि काय दाखवताय तुम्ही आम्हाला काय काम करा बर का there are some technical issues so we are taking another 4 to 5 minutes to start the session A very good afternoon to all of you. I am Dr. Gitanjali Sharma, Honorary Secretary of IMA Pune. I welcome you all for the post-lunch session of today's CME. Uh, Hamar, I know, I know. Uh, yeah, today's post-lunch session we are doing in memory of renowned. ENT surgeon, Dr. Vishwanath B. Chitare. This session is mainly for the benefit of and developing health awareness among, among common people and society at large. Dr. B.B. Chitare, born on 14 Feb 1948 at Bilaudi, Sangli, was founder of Chitare ENT Hospital in Pune. He was alumni of BJ Medical College Pune and did his PG from Grand Medical College Mumbai. He was known for his intelligence, his strong principles and his ethical medical practice. 
the basic principles of humanity, hard work and sincerity were imbibed into him by his father, Mr. B.G. Chitare, famous businessman who founded Chitare Dairy and by his mother, Janki Bai Chitare. He was very keen on improving medical services in the rural part of India. He performed thousands of surgeries, including more than 35,000 ear surgeries for hearing loss and eye infection. He was the president of Maharashtra ENT Foundation, and he taught and trained many young ENT surgeons. And if I'm not wrong, he was also mentor to Dr. Vinaya Chitare, who is daughter of uh, Dr. Chitare. She is present here today. Among his hobbies, he enjoyed classical music, farming, and he played badminton. IMA Pune is really grateful to Mr. Mukundrao Chitare and the whole Chitare family and Dr. Vinaya Chitare for donating for this session to IMA. And every year we conduct this program. This session is for social awareness as well as for academics. May I now request Dr. Saxena to chair the session to come on the dais, please. Huh, I know, I know. I request our president, Dr. Minakshi Deshpande, our president elect, Dr. Vraju Variani, and the members of Chitare family to give floral tribute to late Dr. Vishwanath Chitare. Dr. Saxena, sir, please chair the session. Dr. Saxena, sir, is the postgraduate in public health from Calcutta University. He is life member of IMA for more than, from 1975. He was former additional director of health services and medical superintendent of medical college at Rohilkhan. Okay, so, so I request now our first faculty for today's session. Dr. Sangeeta Mahajan. Dr. Sangeeta is MD Radiology from BJ Medical College, Pune. She is working at Dr. Mahajan Sonography and Color Doppler Clinic, Pune. She is a founder, trustee, and secretary of PACE, P -A -C -E. Over to you, Dr. Sangeeta. So, good afternoon, everyone. I am a dignitary, esteemed speakers, and my friends. Actually, at the Yodo Javan Halever at the Henemichi Vaka, Yodo Javan Halever Bahar Chai Stigri Ahe, Ath Esi Ahe. The hair basically relaxations and a piece of the Punya. The hair relaxations are period Ahe Karamanje. The hair relaxation Kaisana Kasakarta. The Kaisana Ushi getil, Ahe getil and his hotel. Kaisana lecture attend Kurtil. And Andhara Seltar Vaktaka Father Chan Zopala. And it is not a hair cut smoking. So, tension is lunch is not friends are not a hair cut, then it is smoking. But smoking is basically what it helps to you to relax. But relaxation in what way? 
this is premature with a painful journey and permanent this is point number 1 that i would like to uh, tell you second point is by mark twain mark twain ha kadhi chukla nahi tacha bolna madhe chukla nahi baki cha kai ka aso giving up smoking is the easiest thing in the world i know because i have done it thousands of times so with due respect to all the de addiction programs aplala mahit hai quitting any kind of addiction is a very very difficult task so prevention remains the cornerstone of the whole in tackling the whole problem of uh, tobacco and other addictive substances so here i am from pace uh with our social outreach program so today's uh, talk will be on uh, four of these things an introduction to pace then how does it work the pace shows why do we work together is for maximum outreach and how do we uh, work together is by training finance and uh, data pace is prevent addiction through children's education why why did we start with the uh, drive because there is one tobacco related death occurring every 8 seconds in india in bharat gangwal saran sam yatta aikle itha change karin me 10000 deaths every day and around 5000 new uh, children in india they have start using tobacco this is only children tobacco each day so there's truly a tobacco epidemic which is going on though the figures statistics are showing a downward trend the sheer figures are huge so india has got around bharat has got around 10 lakh miserable deaths every year and in maharashtra people using tobacco is around 2.5 crore or 31.4% uh, out of which 40% will die an early painful death mai achanak heart attack aala tar it might not be that painful for a long time and that is why uh, tobacco is called as a weapon of mass destruction mai actually bush thi hcha virudh kaam karayla hota ubi cha so tikde gela over 14% of children are using tobacco in some form or the other and out of which 34% children are unaware of the risk at, of any risk whereas some children are aware of the risk but not in a very scientific manner or not in a very uh, you know uh, the full uh, spectrum of it age of initiation it's 8 to 14 years 8 years just imagine an 8 year old immature child who is going in for tobacco use त्या वयात टोबॅको ची सवय झाल्यावर डॉक्टर नितीन ने सांगितलं त्याप्रमाणे त्याच किती वर्षात किती लंग कपॅसिटी कमी होणार आहे हे माहिती आपल्याला आणि आपल्याकडे देशांमध्ये मिझोरम आणि झारखंड मध्ये मॅक्झिमम पर्सेंटेज आहे टोबॅकोच इंडिया इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज अ माउथ कॅन्सर कॅपिटल ऑफ द वर्ल्ड हे आता एवढे ग्राफिक एवढं जास्त असलेला कॅन्सर सध्या कमी दिसेल तरी रिमोट एरियाज मध्ये किंवा रुरल एरियाज मध्ये दिसेल एवढं नाहीये पण आहे आणि आपल्याकडे शेअर नंबर आकड्यानेच ते फार जास्त होत आणि मेन गोष्ट ही आहे की द एज ग्रुप इज बिकमिंग यंगर अँड यंगर अठरा वर्षाचे वीस वर्षाची मुलं आता विथ कॅन्सर यायला लागली मग त्यांनी सुरू कधी केलं असणार आहे त्यांच्या शरीरावर काय परिणाम झाला असेल त्यांनी सुरू केला तेव्हा तो म्हणाला असेल का असा की अरे माझे आजोबा ऐंशी वर्षापर्यंत जगले मला काही होणार नाही आणि विसाव्या वर्षात जेव्हा तो कॅन्सरच्या हॉस्पिटलमध्ये बेडवर जातो तेव्हा त्याच्या बाकीच्या फॅमिलीची त्याची काय अवस्था होत असेल सो इट्स यंगर अँड यंगर एज ग्रुप विच इज बिंग अफेक्टेड this was only about tobacco uh, whereas ministry of uh, social justice india ne a magnitude of substance use in india 2019 cha jo ek uh, statistics hai tachat alcohol cannabis ani baki che je substance use drug use ahe tache pan percentages dilele hai and smoking is one of the leading causes of all statistics in health out of the 10 major uh, diseases eight have got 
स्मोकिंग एज अ प्राइम फैक्टर फॉर देअर कॉज अँड आय डोंट लाईक स्टॅटिस्टिक्स तर त्यातले फिगर्स जेवढे कमी असेल तेवढे माझ्या डोक्या माझ्या आणि मला वाटतं सगळ्यांच्याच डोक्याला बरं वाटेल दॅट इज वाय वी स्टार्टेड दिस अँटी टोबॅको अँटी अडिक्शन ड्राईव्ह फॉर चिल्ड्रन पेरेंट्स अँड टीचर्स एव्हरी वन सो वी आर अ ग्रुप ऑफ डॉक्टर्स मेडिकल स्टुडंट्स सायकोलॉजिस्ट वॉलंटियर्स अँड सोशल वर्कर्स अँड द सोशल लिव्हल्स विच आर देअर इज टोबॅको अल्कोहोल अँड ड्रग्स मेनली दो नाव विथ इंटरनेट व्हॉट्सअप अँड गेमिंग दॅट ऑल्सो इज बिकमिंग अ पार्ट ऑफ अडिक्शन द वर्क हॅज टू बी डन ऑन मेनी लेवल्स लिगल ज्युडिशरी अँड एज्युकेशनल आणि आत्ताच्या स्पीकरने जसे सांगितलं सरांनी गंगवाल सरांनी सांगितलं वन पर्सन वन मेजर पर्सन ऑफ महाराष्ट्र इफ यू कॅन टेक अप ही इज वन पर्सन हू कॅन टेक अप ऑल दिस थ्री थिंग्स लिगल ज्युडिशरी अँड एज्युकेशनल विथ जस्ट इज वन सिग्नेचर बट अनफॉर्च्युनेटली इट्स नॉट हॅपनिंग वी आर थँकफुल टू टाटा मोटर्स पर्सिस्टंट ए आर आय अँड मेनी अदर्स फॉर देअर सपोर्ट so this is our pace team and we are very happy that nitin abhyankar and dr neeta ghate are associated with us and their valuable contribution uh, in making this program what does pace do so we have a drive in schools colleges any institution any training institution by uh, using effective audio visual medium that is we show uh, there's a dvd which is made and uh, this is a pen drive uh, also which has got the whole program this is for different age groups for 12 to 14 14 to 16 and 16 to 21 age group according to their level of understanding we also train volunteers for this drive and we all I mean, we want you all to join hands with us in taking this further so now this is a pen drive what does it include it in, there's a introduction uh, to the pace activities the powerpoint presentations for the different age groups powerpoint presentation for volunteers there's a separate uh, uh, ppt how they should go about it frequently asked questions this is specially for the people who are uh, taking the program ski what uh, questions they can expect from the uh, students there's a short film pratidnya a film varan pledge and an animation film which is there for the new job recruiters the powerpoint presentation explaining the ill effects of tobacco and relative addictive substances this is in three languages marathi english and hindi and um, it takes around 15 to 20 minutes for the presentation the story based film pratidnya this was made by sumitra bhave and sunil saptankar this runs for uh, around 16 minutes uh there's one more film varan uh, in which chinmay uh, patwardhan has acted that film is a larger uh, uh, longer one it's around 44 minutes there's a pledge for children and interaction with children is there uh, uh, we give time for uh, children for their question and answers so we started this drive initially on uh, 31st may 2010 ek tab jhala tala ta on world no tobacco day uh, various articles were uh, given in the paper, uh, leading newspapers we started our uh, drive uh, on uh, this thing the dvd itself was launched in 2011 and the film varan was added in 2014 initially we took rallies from shanivar wada and uh, kc wada uh small programs were taken in daycare centers and later on we started with programs in schools so these are the some of the photos which are there uh, taken from the schools itself uh with our uh, trustees uh, interacting with them children are very enthusiastic to ask the questions also we have taken volunteer uh, training program you can see nitin abhankar here taking one of the program different groups which are using our dvds uh, dvds are ahmednagar mitra mandal bharat forge they are doing it as their csr activity swadhar nan pramodani the maitri cell dinanath Adol- uh, in dinanath uh, adolescent issues center and different counseling centers in uh, different hospitals many a times the films which are there they uh, play it in their opds and it's a, just a loop uh, this thing they just go on playing it 
we have done this program even during the arandi uh, uh, during the wari so the film was shown to whoever me je koni varkari yet hote ta ta gathala ami te dakhvat hoto appreciation is there from government they have made around 1700 copies for their use at different district health centers for their use i don't know how much they have used both health and education departments are using the paste dvds anand one and gatroi dr abhabang have uh, all, are also using it and different groups and associations in different this thing in july 2016 in jalgaon so paste along with the jilla parishad of uh, jalgaon district and rotary club conducted a one day drive so around 1.8 lakh plus students were shown film pratidya and they took pledge at the time and this was entered in the asia book of records and india book of records and i request this ima to surpass this uh, record evaluation of pace was also done by uh, dr neeta ghate and vm vaid and this was uh, uh, there in indian journal of pediatrics and international journal this was about tobacco awareness program for school children in pune and mumbai now why uh, awareness about addiction is necessary i think i won't go for this because all the previous lectures have emphasized this point ki why prevention and uh, awareness is needed a short glimpse of our presentation uh, this is in three languages marathi english and hindi it's in a very easy to understand language it's not necessary that a doctor or a medico has to give this uh, lecture any social worker any ngo person who can read and write can uh, give this program with little bit of training and there are lots of visuals because this is mainly catered for children so this is a short film pratidya a short clip i'll show you this is a school going child who has skipped school for one day his father is an alcohol and tobacco addict so while just roaming on the streets he goes to a tv selling uh, sales center and he's just watching it from the display uh, this thing the beauty of this film is that it's got very less words it's mainly the emotions of that boy this film the film which is being shown was made by a real patient this patient is from gujarat and his family made this video they made it on their own we didn't tell them and then they gave it to us that you please use it for any of your uh, anti addiction programs so we are really thankful to this family and they said no putting black patti on all uh, on eyes and this thing you show it how is it, uh, how it is and just see the change in the emotions in the on the face of that boy now i'll just show you a glimpse of our presentation now this is this presentation is in three languages english marathi and hindi i have taken slides from all three so it, this will be a kind of a mixed uh, presentation uh, we have taken many slogans many of these slogans were given by children themselves so aishya ji mauj rakha tarun tambaku gutka tarun mule ani vyasne ami tanna he sangto ki vyasna ka ya vayat lokar lagtat ani he teachers sathi sudha शिक्षकांसाठी सुद्धा आहे हे विचार म्हणजे अविचार आणि कोणताही धोका पत्करण्याचं कोवळ निसरडं वय तंबाखू दारू यासारख्या पदार्थांमध्ये व्यसन लावण्याची ताकद जबरदस्त आहे आणि एखाद्याला जर का परिस्थितीने त्याकडे ओढलं तर त्याला व्यसन लागतं आणि हे व्यसन सोडणंही अवघड जातं आणि त्याच्याशिवाय जगणंही अवघड जातं 
uh, different kind of uh, addictions which are prevalent in our society. So just a glimpse of all of them. Vesnansa Dushta Chakra, Kiva Vicious Cycle. Madam ne sangatla sarkha reward reflex zoa hai. To hechat activate hoto. To he ami mulana sangto ki kasa tambaku mure tambaku ketla nata surati la chan watta man nanta nicotin chi patari jama kami hote, mak mendun mada rasainik badal hota, ma chemical locha, mak the munna by MBPS matla tanate at hoto ki kaitari hota ya supplied okat. Ani makti nicotin chi magni azun apli vadat zate. मग आधी सुरुवातीला सर्व प्रकारचे ऍडिक्शन्स मग फक्त तंबाकू मध्ये कुठल्या कुठल्या प्रकारचे ऍडिक्शन आहेत स्मोक वाले आहेत स्मोकलेस आहेत तर त्याची सगळी जी नाव आहेत ती वेगवेगळ्या रीजन्स मध्ये वेगवेगळ्या एरियाज मध्ये ते वेगवेगळ्या नावांनी ओळखले जाते गुटखा जरी आता त्या फॉर्म मध्ये जरी नसेल बाहेर अवेलेबल तरी वेगवेगळ्या पुड्यांमध्ये अवेलेबल असतं जे लोक मिक्स करून व्यवस्थित घेत असतात Then is tobacco chewing more dangerous? Loka na arta ki kai ami smoke karat nahi hai, ami fakta khata hai, tani kai parak padna rai, amcha kai kupu sakte zaat nahi hai. Ma amala kai hona nahi, amala kai khokla basna nahi, amala kai he hona nahi. Tar tehi ami tenna sangto ki kasan chhevti tachatla nicotine hai ahe hai, apla raktat zaatas te. Tambaku madhe saadharan 2000 chemicals ahe. सिगरेट मध्ये मग अजून जास्त येतात साधारण 7000 केमिकल्स येतात आणि त्यातले 2500 केमिकल्स हे धोकादायक आहे आणि त्यातले 79 हे कॅन्सर त्यांनी होऊ शकतो आणि दैट इज व्हाय सिगरेट इज कॉल्ड अ पॉइझन स्टिक तर हा हे चित्र आम्ही त्यांना मुलांना दाखवतो आम्ही त्यांना विचारतो की आता ह्याच्यात अमोनिया आहे जे टॉयलेट क्लीनर आहे तुम्ही टॉयलेट क्लीनर घ्याल का आर्सेनिक म्हणून एक विष आहे ते तुम्ही घ्याल का Obviously, I don't want to drink it. I mean, I don't want to drink it. I mean, I don't want to drink it. But smoking is not just a cancer of the skin. It's a cancer of the skin. It's a cancer of the skin. It's a cancer of the skin. So, you can see the skin of the skin. It's a cancer of the skin. Especially in these slides. I mean, 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 हे आहे किंवा हे आहे बरेच मुलं खाली बघतात इकडं तिकडं बघतात समोर स्क्रीन कडे बघत नाही कारण त्यांना ते बघवत नाही पण आम्ही त्यांना सांगतो की तुम्ही हे बघा का बघा कारण हे तुमच्या मेंदूत तुमच्या ब्रेन मध्ये हे इम्प्रिंट होऊ द्या की हे असं तंबाखू मुळे होत स्पेशली आता हे असं चित्र हे बघितलं कि मग मैं स्पेशली मूली मैं मुलान पेशा मूली तब मैं तो बगतस नेता चित्रण करे स्मोकिंग ने फक्त कैंसर होता ऐसा नहीं है क्या तंबाकू ने फक्त कैंसर होता ऐसा नहीं है तो है नहीं बाकी चेपन अपना लाजार होता टीबी या है बीपी चेत्रासा है थे मुलान ना समझना सरकार भाषेत अन्य तेवड़ा शब्दन मदद a good healthy lung, which is pink, spongy. And this is a blackened lungs due to smoking. So, I think you have to say, what is your name? If you have this name, you will not have tobacco. If you have this name, you will not have smoking. Smoking effect is there on the cardiovascular system also, resulting in heart diseases, resulting in gangrene, other changes in the body like early cataracts, snoring, hearing loss, fertility rate. Pratinidhi Madam ne sangeet la tapra jeka changes hota. Ani premature babies, low birth weight, still births, birth defects and early menopause hai. Mulana samajna sarkha bhaishat sangta ami mat. Fakta smoking an hai nai, even passive smoking. The non-inhale smoker inhales the smoke which is exhaled by the smoker. That means you are in your own mitra. Why do you do mitra? 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 And if you do mitra, you are safe. 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 
इट स्टिल प्रोवाइड्स निकोटीन हा निकोटीन हाथ सर्वे घातक पदार्थ है तुम्हाला सिगरेट कि तंबाकू के जे का दुष्परिणाम है ई सीगरेट की सोशल आस्पेक्ट सेवन आउट ऑफ टेन गर्ल्स डू नॉट लाइक डेटिंग स्मोकर्स हा सर्वे हम के तो दोन हजार दह मध्य होता नाइन आउट ऑफ टेन गर्ल्स डू नॉट फाइंड स्मोकर्स अट्रैक्टिव एट आउट ऑफ टेन गर्ल्स आर नॉट इंटरेस्टेड इन मैरिंग स्मोकर्स दोन हजार बावीस मध्य आता गर्ल्स का मत जस्ट सेवन आउट ऑफ टेन इंडिव्यूजल्स कराला हव आता कारण मुलीं मत स्मोकिंग प्रमाण वाटत हिंदी मध्य साइड सगे के उदाहरण हुक्क्या बदल सुधा संगते कारण हुक्क्या मधी खूब खूब क्रेज होती हुक्क्या बदल इवन पेरेंट्स की ही समझूत होती कि धोखादायक नहीं है दावी पास मूल हाँ आज आता पार्टी लुठ ग हुक्का बार है ना तिक ग अरे पी तंबाकू कुछ तंबाकू हे पेरेंट्स उत्तर है मुला उत्तर नहीं है पेरेंट्स उत्तर है कि कुछ तंबाकू मुला संगत शेवटी पेरेंट टीचर असोसिशन के जे मीटिंग्स ही संगत कि हुक्का एवडाच धोखादायक है साधारणपण संगत हुक्के के धक्के हुक्के में तंबाकू नहीं है या हुक्का पाइप से ली गई ली हुई तंबाकू पानी में उसके जहरीले पदार्थ छान कर ली जाती है ये सरासर झूठ है वन ऑफ द मेथ्स हुक्का द्वारा शरीर में जाने वाली निकोटिन तंबाकू की बुरी आदत लगाने के लिए काफी है समटाइम्स इट बिकम्स अ पाथवे फॉर फर्दर इट बिकम्स अ गेट फॉर फर्दर एडिक्शन This slogan was given by a college student itself. Jana tha college pahunch gayi hukka bar. That includes everything. Ki what happens? A uh, few slides are there about alcohol and drugs also. This is mainly for the older age group uh, PPTs, uh, which is from uh, 14 to 21 year age group. Alcohol is. Uh, we tell them that alcohol, though it is stimulating for a short period, it can cause depressive effects. And it's a root cause of many evils, and even beer and all are ultimately alcohol. Beer has various local alcohol, but it is not understood. I mean, last year I thought that whiskey is not understood. But is it a serious problem in India? So we asked students, "Can you tell us the problems which are caused due to alcohol?" But it starts. One, 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 स्पेशली आम एक मोटी मोहिम जी कॉर्पोरेशन शाणी मी मुल तो अजु जा सो लेट सी नो वॉट द प्रॉब्लम सर मैं दाखो कि अल्कोहल इट्स अ फैक्टर इन मोर दैन फोर्टी पर्सेंट ऑफ ऑल वॉयलंट क्राइम्स टूडे मग मग् दोन चार दिवस मध्य जे का घटना घड़े पेपर मध्य आता संगत कारण बरसद होता कि दह वर्षापूर्वी की घटना विसरले The family relations, domestic violence, rapes, different accidents, etc. Are happening. Effect of alcohol is again on whole body. Brain shrinks with alcohol. Uh, this thing. A few slides are about drugs that it causes decrease in brain functioning and how painkillers can give relief for some time, but the cause of pain does not go away. And similarly, drugs and substance abuse has no positive effects. but can cause lot, lot of harm why do teens use drugs he mulan madhe vicharla ta te kai kai jana mhantat ki peer pressure amcha mitra hai he ahe te mhanta are ek ghun bagna kay farak padtoy kahi tari he try karna to and he specially 9th 10th la bara surat specially 10th nantar kan tanna 10th jala nantar vatta ki ata apli sutka jali second is academic pressure here parents i would say there's no problem child there are problem parents it's at the saga problem shuru hota mag different kinds of health problems due to drugs he saga uh, uh, slides ya hai the ppt madle slides uh, hote and then a wake up call so wake up call is all the warning signs to look for in an adolescent using drugs he saga ami ppt madhe pan ghetle because uh, this is there for the teachers also and when we take programs in schools 
colleges we tell them to include their class for the peons and all others also for that uh, session so whether there's any changes and this is also there for students te tancha mulan apla tancha metran madhe metrin madhe baku shakta ki kutha prakar chare kay badal jhale ka hechat तो आता खेळायला येत होता तो आता खेळायला येत नाहीये आधी हा अभ्यास चांगला होता आता हा नाहीये ह्याचा अभ्यासात लक्ष नाही लागत आहे हा आधी पहिला बेंचवर बसायचा आता मागच्या बेंचवर जाऊन बसायला लागलाय सो चेंजेस इन स्कूल परफॉर्मन्स चेंज इन द पिअर ग्रुप ब्रेकिंग रूल्स विथड्रॉल फ्रॉम द फॅमिली डिफरंट काइंड ऑफ पर्सनॅलिटी चेंजेस इन द फिजिकल अपिअरन्सेस इन ग्लासी आईज चेंज इन द इटिंग ऑर द स्लिपिंग हॅबिट्स अँड सो ऑन सो हे सगळे पर्सनॅलिटी चेंजेस जे काय आहे हे आम्ही मुलांना सांगतो की तुम्ही बघा तुमच्या मित्रांमध्ये मैत्रिणींमध्ये घरातल्या लोकांमध्ये हे तुम्हाला काही जाणवता येतं आणि हे पेरेंट्स साठी सुद्धा आहे हे झालं सगळं इल इफेक्ट ऑफ टोबॅको अल्कोहोल अँड अदर सबस्टन्सेस बट वॉट कॅन यू डू टू प्रिव्हेंट ऍडिक्शन शेवटी हे का होत आहे कारण कुठेतरी आपल्याला रिवॉर्ड एक मिळतोय कुठेतरी चांगली भावना सुरुवातीला येतीये त्या ह्याच्यासाठी ते मग पुढे त्यांचं ऍडिक्शन सुरू होतं तर त्याला अल्टरनेटिव्ह काही आहेत का सो द अल्टरनेटिव्ह आर गुड हॅबिट्स विच आर सम ऑफ द गुड हॅबिट्स वन इज एक्झरसाइज सेकंड मेडिटेशन अँड योगा आता बऱ्याच शाळांमध्ये सुरू केलेलं आहे त्यांनी गिव्हिंग एनी काइंड ऑफ व्हॉलंटिअरिंग ऍक्टिव्हिटी गिव्ह युअर फील गुड फॅक्टर यू कॅन प्लॅन ट्रीज यू कॅन क्लीन द लोकॅली युअर लोकॅलिटीज हेल्प एल्डर्स teach people teach uh, whoever in whatever way you can teach you can teach them music and dance laughter me sadya hasna kami jhala hai lokancha me nako ta question var me khup seriousness abhyasa mule asel kai hecha mule asel pan to pressure ek khup mulan madhe asto and healthy food हेल्दी फूड इज व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट आता मॅडम त्यांचा आता अनिमियाचा प्रोग्राम चालू आहे तर तो अनिमियाचा प्रोग्राम कशासाठी आहे की फूड इज देअर बट व्हॉट देअर इटिंग इज नॉट हेल्दी सो यू हॅव टू गो फॉर हेल्दी फूड व्हॉलंटियर्सचं जे पीपीटी आहे त्याच्यात डिफरंट वेगवेगळे इन्स्ट्रक्शन्स आहे रिगार्डिंग यूज ऑफ मटेरियल काही आता सांगेल की पेस नीड्स टू बी इन्फॉर्म ऑफ द प्रोग्राम्स do not copy the pen drives and uh, if data is used for academic publications you can uh, do it on uh, plus uh, paste name uh, in case needed uh, if the school is not giving any kind of remuneration uh, paste will give you the remuneration for your travel expenses and everything me asa nako hala ke lokanna vatte ki rapan he karta hai ani mala kai smart nahi hai five minutes sir instructions are given to the schools also before conducting the program don't uh, think example that how means window should be covered with dark material thursdays are usually load shedding days me he sudha sangava lagta kan te volunteers ahe tana patkan kadhi kadhi lakshat yet nahi this kind of a certificate is given uh, to whoever is conducting the session if any group is associated with it says swadhar is there they can have their own uh, logo uh, stamped here and choose life not tobacco and be proud to be tobacco free i give emphasis on this word to be proud tumhi kami nahi ahat itran peksha tumhi ghet nahi at manun uh this is a short clip of varan film this is I think there's some audio problem but this is about a family yeah i'm sorry the audio is not there but the child is being scolded for not getting enough marks in the exams
father tells him to join one another co uh, coaching class in addition to whatever he is uh, doing both are working uh, mother and father both are working professionals and ultimately the fight is between them okay, how one person is not taking care of the child This is when the child, when he doesn't have support from his family, tends to go towards other people, other uh, this thing, who will give them a good, good feel, uh, feel good factor. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Sangeeta. It was an excellent talk. Very, very impressive, very convincing. May I now request Dr. Meenakshi Deshpande to come on to the dais to felicitate Dr. Sangeeta, please. I'm sorry for the audio problem. But that film, both the films are very good. So if I make an even, uh, uh, you can uh, do it online. I have no problem. <laughs> while you are at it i'll just tell you a small short story of how impactful the film was pratidnya and uh, i think first of all yeah. and the this film was seen by one of the lupin mr son and then he created because at the end of the movie the father the son goes home and says, I'm going to smoke in front of you. Uh, and then the father, of course, being a father, starts hitting him. They said, me me to kai farak to. So it's all right. So it's all right that I also smoke. And when that happened in front of a Emar's home, and that fellow came crying to me next day, I said, I have to quit. There is no other answer. Now give him, give him medicine. So, the, so a medical representative had to quit because his son Watch the film, and that was the impact of this film. So, so, so Sumitra Bhaveyani, Sunil Sukhtan Karanchi film, Odi Pratidnya Manu, beautiful film and very impactful. I think you know, we, we'll probably have a screening one day. Let's say, absolutely. Yes, It is now my pleasure and privilege to introduce our next faculty, Dr. Arvind Kumar. He is joining online, so he is abroad. No? Certainly very illustrative and very educative uh, presentation, I would say. And as uh, we have noticed, one of the biggest lesson and participation comes from the family, from the parents. Purani kahavati, muh mein do chandi ki chamach, lekin nigah rakho sheher ki. The moment's parents fail to keep an eye on their office springs, the disaster starts. We can't expect everybody outside the family to keep an eye on them. And adolescent health, as we are aware, one of the first points where we had to ensure that the parents are motivated 
and they ensure that they give their time. In the last clipping, parents fighting it out. So who is responsible for this disaster? Fair enough, sir. You can go for the next one. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, sir. So may I now introduce our next faculty, Dr. Arvind Kumar. He is chairman of Institute of Chest Surgery, Robotic Chest Surgery, and Lung Transplant at Sir Gangaram Hospital, New Delhi. Running first of its kind, DNB program for chest surgery. Dr. Arvind Kumar is alumni of prestigious All India Institute of Medical Sciences, New Delhi, MBBS and MS. He is pioneer of chest and robotic surgery in India. He is the former professor of surgery and head of chest and robotic surgery at AIMS. And he is the recipient of prestigious BC Roy Award for medical teachers, including many other awards as well. It's a very interesting thing that he is running Lung Care Foundation. This is dedicated to awareness, research, and care in lung health. This is specially addressing to the air pollution issue, which is happening near and inside Delhi. So Delhiites are facing a lot of air pollution and health issues. So sir is uh, doing a lot of work regarding that. And today he is going to speak about that. He is abroad and he is joining online. And now may I give the mic to Dr. Niti Nabhyankar. I think till he joins, I have to do some betting. <laughs> uh, this is one man who's like one of the giants in surgery. He is one of the first robotic surgeons. He's one of the most advanced thoracic surgeons in this country. And on top of it, he had been working in smoking session. That's how I met him. And he has been working on purer array. In fact, uh, Delhi is a problem city for this whole uh, nation, practically worst in that context. And a lot of work is needed in that particular area. And he has been very actively doing it. So this is one of the best social outreach programs that I have seen. And therefore, I have included this as a little bit of a diversion, but it is probably worth doing it. Uh, I said, just give me a call. I'm still not seeing him online. And I can't give the lecture that he, I, I did second for somebody else, but this is not my idea. So while we are, I think I'm not able to get through it. So it, we'll just wait for about two minutes window. Let's hope it happens in the meanwhile. Ah, he's online. Yes. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, am I um, seeing you? Yes. You are visible. Yeah. Good yeah. afternoon, Dr. Nitin. Can you hear me? Can you see yes. me? Absolutely clear, sir. You can share your screen and go ahead. Okay. You have already been introduced and uh, I have said a lot of good things about you. Oh, oh, there are hardly any good things. So a lot of expectations now, sir. My God, don't frighten me. <laughs> Over to you, sir, now. Yeah. Okay. Good afternoon. Uh, namaskar to everyone. And uh, my sincere thanks to my brother, <laughs> Nitin, and everyone in IMA at Pune for this lovely opportunity. I had been in a similar program many, many years ago, which Nitin, if you remember, you had organized, and I was there on tobacco cessation. That was a very interesting session I had attended long, many, many years ago. And today, again, it's a pleasure for me to join all of you. Right now, I'm in Vienna. I'm here on a lung transplant uh, project, uh, returning to Delhi on Friday. But it's a pleasure for me to be joining all of you on the Zoom platform, which is a gift which COVID has given to all of us. And we somehow have got addicted to it. 
So the task assigned to me by Dr. Nitin was to discuss with you about some of the uh, initiatives that we have taken in uh, our part of the country regarding air pollution and its health ill effects. And I would just share briefly the story of Lung Care Foundation, which uh, we founded about seven years ago. And the basis of that foundation was this picture. Uh, I'm a chest surgeon, and since uh, 1988, I have been doing chest surgery. That time I was a faculty at the All India Institute and I took voluntary retirement from there in 2012. So every time, uh, that time uh, we used to see black kind of lungs in smokers, but uh, something changed around 2007, 8, 9, 10, that I started seeing more and more so-called non-smokers and children also to be having black spots, black deposits on the lung. And this was hurting me that there is some kind of an internal uh, bad revolution happening in the lungs of people. We don't see it from outside. I, as a chest surgeon, am privy to it. It's not causing clinical problem, but the damage is starting very early. And I had a nine or 10 year old boy once I operated around 2014, and he also had black deposits and I wondered what is happening. So I discussed it with a couple of people and we started this Lung Care Foundation in 2015 with the aim that we will bring this to the knowledge of people. So education, sharing this data with people, giving them about the, we'll do some work on the health uh, ill effects of this pollution, share that with people and do some research and do everything that it takes to to you know, talk about air pollution. So overall care and cure of 2.6 billion lungs and particularly air pollution because that was the biggest threat to lungs, which I perceive. This was the motto with which we started. And once we uh, thought that, okay, we have to do something, we started wondering where do we start? So the activities that, I work, that work with us, Dr. Nitin has specifically said, whatever activities you have done, just share that. So I thought that, you know, especially when I used to travel across the country, I used to talk to people, especially doctors, about the health ill effects of air pollution. I realized that there is a lot of lack of knowledge amongst people. Even doctors, I realized that they are aware that sir, pollution se thoda nuksan to hota hai. But exactly kya hota hai, kitna hota hai, the, the depth was not known to them. And they were not knowing ki kitna, kitna, what is the gravity of the problem. So I thought it's important to make them aware of the problem. So we thought we'll have a triple A approach. Make them aware. Once they are aware, they will be awakened to this problem. Ki haan bhai, yes, ye bahut bada problem hai. And when they are aware and awakened, they will themselves act and make other people act. And actually, if the whole society starts acting, uh, the, the results will come. I have always believed that whether it is smoking, whether it is air pollution, any major issue which is present and prevalent across the country, if you people talking about it or government imposing some laws about it, it's not going to work. There has to be a bottom-up approach when people themselves become aware that it is not for their good, it's going to cause them damage, it's going to hurt them, hurt them, then only this will work. And the way Gutka ban or for that matter, warning about smoking has failed to deter people. And the way firecracker ban by Supreme Court was openly violated by people sitting next to Supreme Court they are prime examples that you make laws at the top and impose them on people. It doesn't work because you can't go and police each and every house. On the other hand, if you create awareness amongst the society in the people and they themselves commit to do so, I feel in the long run, this will work out better. And that's why we took this approach of awareness leading to awakening, leading to actions by people. And first thing we did was to release a video containing this picture uh, where I narrated that this is what we are seeing. And I released this uh, on the occasion just 
a week or 10 days before Diwali, a couple of years back and appealing to people that, you know, not it was not any anti-Diwali or anti-Hindu, I'm a devout Hindu, but it's just telling them as a doctor that the damage occurs throughout the year, but then in these two, three days, the concentrated damage leads to a lot of worsening. And this video went viral. It had millions of views and was circulated internationally. And that made me realize the power of a doctor's voice talking about a health issue from health lens. Everybody has looked at air pollution as an environmental issue or a chemical issue. Nobody has highlighted the health aspects of it. And I think it is for doctors, us all doctors only, to highlight the health aspect. And when people stop looking at it as an environment issue or a chemical issue, but start looking at it as a personal health issue. Why? Ye jo pollution hai, ye hamare ko maar raha hai. When it hurts them personally, then they start responding. So this video was our first activity, which was a super success. Then we thought children are the most powerful medium. You want to bring about revolution in the society, reach out to children. If they get convinced, the house will do so. You convince parents, the children will deconvince them. You convince children, they will go and convince the parents. So we thought the children are very powerful. So we reached out to the municipal cost population of Delhi and we started doing programs for children from sixth to ninth class. Before sixth, they are little kids. There's no point, you know, talking science to them. And after 11, they become very rigid. Then they develop unki apni thinking a jati hai. So sixth to ninth is the most tender age at which go touch them. And if you touch them right way, they listen to you. So we started doing these school programs and over two, three years period, we developed wonderful connect with a lot of schools, private, public, all kinds of schools across the across Delhi. And enthused with that, we thought, okay, now let's do some big time activity which brings a lot of attention to this issue and also our foundation kind of becomes well known. So we, uh, one of the trustees of our organization, Mr. Abhishek, he actually came up with the idea, let's make human image of lung, largest human image of lung and try to create a Guinness world record of largest human image of lung and we make the children change the clothes in one lung and make it black to show how the air pollution is affecting the lung. So this activity we did on 23rd of December 2017 in Delhi, where 5,000 children from over 35 schools across Delhi came together in a stadium and created this image. Now this image, uh, is the image clear on your screen? Hello? Dr. Nitin, is the image seen on the screen clearly? Hello? Hello? Yes, sir. Yeah, it is very clear. Okay, okay. So this picture that you are seeing on the screen is actually not a image from the book. These ground round dots that you are seeing, these are 5,000 children sitting in a 70 feet by 70 feet green sheet, which we specially created in the middle of a football field in Tyagraj Stadium in Delhi. They were made to wear overalls including covering their head. We chose red color for the children who were to sit in the lung and blue color for the children who were to sit in the trachea bronchus and the uh, lobar bronchi. And I'll play this video. Uh, the sound person, please increase your volume so that the video is, uh, the sound is audible in the hall.
23rd December 2017. More than 5,000 school children from 35 schools of Delhi NCR came together to bring to the notice of the world the growing menace of air pollution and seek action. The children gave the message of happy lungs by forming the human image of healthy pink lungs and in the process attempted a Guinness world record for India. The energy and enthusiasm of the children was electrifying as they showed the world that each one of us can make a difference to build a people's movement to clean the air we breathe. Presence of Shri Anil Bejal, Honorable Lieutenant Governor of Delhi, motivated everyone to strengthen their war against air pollution. Recognizing the efforts of the young children, Lung Care Foundation awarded them titles of Lung Ambassadors. These children took the lead and created history by making a world record of the largest human image of an organ. Amazing children, amazing. I'm very happy to say that you have broken the record. The President and the Prime Minister congratulated these Lung Ambassadors for their efforts. The children also highlighted the ill effects of air pollution on our health. And committed themselves for viable solutions and created awareness on the power of healthy, happy lungs. My solution to pollution. The children have ignited the spark. Join hands for cleaning the air we breathe. We owe it to our children. This was an activity which created, uh, which you know, got massive, massive attention from national and international media, and uh, you know whether it was Facebook, Twitter, uh, you know, it the echo reached WHO, United Nations, and in the subsequent year, in 2018, there was uh, you know request for lectures from WHO. So I went to Geneva. Then there were requests for lectures from United Nations. This was one activity which really created ripples. And I thought uh, this was very nice way of bringing people's attention to this problem. Now, while we were doing all this and we were in touch with schools, we also discovered that asthma attacks occurring in schools were a very major problem. And the schools were totally unprepared to face the challenge and all that the teachers used to do, if any child will develop an acute problem, they would call up the parents and request the parents to come over and take the child. And in the process, we learned sadly that there were a couple of deaths also in some of the leading schools in Delhi, as well as in Mumbai, we learned from the newspaper reports where the, you know, the, before the parents could arrive, the child died. So based and cues with that, we thought let's have uh, asthma policy for schools and make a manual for asthma manual for schools where we give very, very basic information in a simple, easy to understand language for the teachers and give them a total policy as to if an attack occurs, how should the task force in the school respond? Initially, we wrote it in English. We presented to the then environment minister, Dr. Harshwardhan was the environment minister at that time. And when I went to present the first copy to him and meet him, he says, Dr. Kumar, 90% of the people in country don't understand English. What is the point of just writing it in English? Write it in Hindi, in other languages. 
so we made a committee and we translated this into 11 different languages so hindi english uh, all the north indian west indian so there is a marathi version gujarati version bengali version tamil telugu uh, kannad uh, 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 the uh, um, tamil telugu kannad and fourth state all that urdu so today we have 11 different versions uh, in different languages of this manual, which is available on the website of Lung Care Foundation for free downloads. And we distributed e-copies and also some written copies, uh, hard copies of this to as many places. And if anyone in Pune IMA wishes to get the Marathi copy, I'm happy to share the PDF of the Marathi version or even hard copies with any one of you. It's a very useful uh, it was actually vetted by few school principals and based on their suggestion, we only wrote the material which the teachers can understand and aimed at preventing any further deaths in the schools. So with all this, we realized that actually doctors, if they get involved with this issue, there is a lot that we can do and infuse. And the reason was that first is that we see the effects of air pollution first and just the way I used to see it in the theater. And therefore, we are very motivated. Secondly, when we will talk to people about the health angle, a scientist called talking about PM 2.5 or an environmentalist causing or talking about PM 2.5 versus a doctor talking about the effect of PM 2.5 on the health of children. I think we are a better motivated. So I thought doctors are motivated motivators. And therefore, in order to exploit this power of doctors, we thought of a group called Doctors for Clean Air, which we launched in Delhi on the 4th of December 2018. Basically, any subject, any specialty, if you are a doctor and you are passionate about this issue of air pollution, you are welcome to be a part of this group. There is no joining fees. The only fees that we want is that you should have a commitment to work for this talk pause in your area, in your way. We are there to give the material, give the support, give whatever you want to have, but just spread this knowledge in your area. So we invited about 40 uh, pulmonologists and other people from different, different states. So uh, Dr. Sandeep Salvi was there from Pune. Dr. Amita Nene came from Mumbai. And uh, we had about 40 people. And this was launched uh, in Delhi. We also got support from 12 leading national associations, including Indian Chess Society, Association of Physicians of India, ASI, Cardiology, Neurology, Oncology, ICU, Critical Care, Anesthesia. About 12 associations sent their office bearers. And these are the different activities. This is Ms. Christiana Figres, who was the architect of Paris Agreement. She was physically there to inaugurate this conference. And the aim was, again, awareness, awakening, and commitment amongst people. And uh, we thought that we will have one or two champions in each state. They will onboard people from each district. They will onboard people from each city. So we will have doctors across the country. Uh, talk about this. And in order to inform correct knowledge to everybody, we made an onboarding guide in which we gave some basic information about what is air pollution, what are the effects on various organs, and what we should talk to people and press when we want to talk about it. So we had, before the COVID struck, we had different, different chapters being launched in capitals of various cities. And then those doctors were then to talk about this to their different different um, districts. And this was before the COVID struck and this activity uh, came to a halt for a short period. We also made a lot of videos in regional languages by different different people. So in Marathi, in Bengali, in, 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 in other languages. And this was released uh, locally. We also had studies carried out in the area of air pollution. So one of the studies which we did was to detect the incidence of asthma among school children in Delhi. About 1,100 children had 
a 42 question questionnaire answered and on site pulmonary function test done in the schools and this was released last year and we were horrified that 29% of the children in the city of delhi were detected to have asthma as per the gina guidelines and as per the on site pft test which was done not just questionnaire pft plus questionnaire combined 29% children and if the children were obese they had a much higher chance of having uh, asthma so there was a, a direct effect of air pollution and there was an also a direct effect of obesity on the incidence of asthma and this was uh, released uh, last year we also did a study of demography of lung cancer and couple of other studies which have uh, helped in this area we also uh, shared a, a, a cheaper versions of air quality monitors with lot of doctors across the country where they put up these these were cities where actually monitoring was not done so we asked them to put up these monitors in their clinics in their rest, uh, um, uh, nursing homes and share that data locally with news channels or schools to kind of create a local network for sharing of this area we also got a very uh, surprise invitation from government of india for helping out with their ujjwala yojana so what was happening in ujjwala yojana people were uh, accepting the first cylinder but when it came to going and buying the second cylinder the next cylinder buying it they were not buying it so they asked us to make videos in regional languages where we could highlight that if you cook on chula you are harming the 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 children and other people and if you spend money on the gas uh, uh, cylinder this money is well spent because you will save on the health of the children and we did and made this uh, video then as i said uh, we had invitations to go to deliver this talk in who headquarters and this was the talk at united nations headquarters at uh, uh, new york and these were very widely received and the more i traveled the more i talked the more i realized the power of the Sir, doctor uh, as a campaigner on the so wind up okay okay yes, so i will come to an end so summary summarize to say that doctors can be really powerful motivators in social areas whether it is smoking whether it is air pollution or other issues i think it's time that more and more of us we join together and share this information with people when people will be awakened i think we can expect better response from people and it is only with people's involvement that these social evils will get addressed properly namaskar and thank you to all of you for your precious time and thanks dr nitin once again for the opportunity thank you so that was a brilliant talk thank you thank you so much so thank you from i am a pune i i wish to thank you for joining from abroad so we give memento to dr abhyankar so oh yes 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 it's a pleasure to have the memento being received by dr nitin yeah yeah no problem dr nitin you give it from one hand and receive it from the other hand okay <laughs> <laughs> thank you okay okay so this momento is offered thank you for overseas thank you yes we have a international speaker sir that's what it's for <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Bye, sir. Thank you. Okay. So let's now move to our next faculty, Dr. Vinaya Chitale Chakradev. as i mentioned earlier she is the daughter of 
late Dr. V.B. Chitre. She is American board certified um, surgeon in otolaryngology and head and neck surgeon. She has done a residency from Louisiana State University Health Sciences Center. And she has done her research fellowship from Columbia University, New York. And then uh, she's alumni of BJ Medical College. She has a lot of publications to her credit and also a book chapter in robotics in otolaryngology and many awards to her credit. So before taking a lot of time, let's move to Dr. Vinaya Chitra. And she's going to speak about tobacco free Bharat. Yes. Yes. So that's the topic today. And guys, here is another international speaker for you. So we are very much proud to be associated with IMA and all the activities and such a wonderful day over here today. So uh, let's start uh, about what is the problem? Everybody has talked about it. So I'm going to skip that. And then let's talk about how we design a solution for it. So as we know, India ranks number one in oral cavity center in oral cavity cancer. And um, just to point out the financial burden of the issue, India spent about 2,400 crores just in managing oral cavity cancer. And Maharashtra also faces a heavy burden. The number of cases in India in Maharashtra are 15,000. So just to give you the numbers uh, that Early detection, of course, of oral cancer is going to save lives. The screening ratio is about if 100 people are using tobacco product products, one person is bound to have head and neck cancer. And we have to make the public aware of it. The average treatment cost for early detection of oral cavity cancer minimum that the government provides to yellow ration card holders is about 2 lakh rupees. So you can imagine the government of Maharashtra is spending 300 crores just to take care of early uh, tumors of the oral cavity. The ENT ailments, um, also there are other ENT ailments that also need specialized care. And as we know, the rural population where tobacco is more, uh, has large numbers where everybody uses tobacco has no access to specialist care and treatment. So um, as Dr. Mahajan said that uh, late stage has been a problem, to give you the numbers of it, 60 to 80% of tumors, head and neck cancers are diagnosed at a late stage. Um, in stark contrast with the Western countries in US and Europe, these tumors are detected at an earlier stage. What happens when the tumors are detected at the late stage? They require multimodality treatment. Patient spends lakhs of rupees and the survival rate is less than 20%. So why early detection is important? Because the survival increases to more than 90%. So Maharashtra can be a role model. So of course, I have started all these activities in the state of Maharashtra. I am proud to be um, a Maharashtrian. And uh, I, uh, when I returned back from United States, I'm also a faculty at Geisinger in Pennsylvania for the last 10 years. But I do manage to run our hospital right here on Turk Road. And surprisingly, I have to mention this, that the original idea of providing specialist care to rural India came from my father, who had a great vision and who had um, you know, always thought about how to provide specialist care to the weaker and underprivileged sections of our society. And from this, an organization was born, which was E not E for ear, N for N O for nose, and T H for throat. So to carry his legacy, I founded this organization in 2017. Um, I do have an organization in the United States, so we are paired between US and India. So let's talk about how we're going to make this care reach. I 100% agree with Dr. Arvind Kumar that doctors are uh, the motivating element here. So when we are talking about social issues, it's not just awareness is at multiple levels. It's about awareness in the community as well as awareness um, of the general practitioners, which are the first line soldiers in tier three villages. So ENT e Seva was born 
in 2019, where we started giving telemedicine service, where we have combined number one expert teams based on uh, global research and methodologies in treating ENT issues and head and neck cancer is a major part of it. Second is development of innovative training for general practitioners, uh, especially the tier three general practitioners. Or so even sometimes now we found that even in slum areas, such as even in Dharavi, patients are not approaching Sion Hospital because they cannot afford consultant fees and they cannot keep the follow-ups and they miss a day of work. So the cost goes up. So we are even targeting not just rural areas, but also the slum areas. Uh, this model is absolutely a scalable model to provide telemedicine care. And interestingly, it was not just designed, I'm a master of head and neck, but it was designed really to launch uh, other and all specialties like pulmonary uh, e-seva and cardio e-seva and pediatric e-seva. So that was the vision that came from uh, my father. So I'm the only, I'm just the executor, but it's amazing how he told me about this idea 15 years ago. So this is our model where um, under the ENOTH umbrella, we trained specialists using international guidelines. And these specialists, in turn, they are trained on the app and also the general practitioners from every village are trained on the app. And these general practitioners can then provide a first line care and second line care to the patients. Once they are they have the know-how and the knowledge to treat first-line care. They have been taught how to flag what are the early signs of head and neck cancer. So once they red flag the patient, basically the effort is um, uh, to track the patient and make sure the patient gets appropriate care. The second line care is in terms of generating a consult by the general practitioner and then sending it to the specialists sitting in the cities. As we know, in India, the care is all city-centric. Specialist care doesn't extend any far from even an hour from Pune. So once the consult is generated, the consult comes to the ENT specialist. And then the ENT specialist, depending on whether it's an urgent matter or a non-urgent matter, gets back and answers, makes, uh, studies the case history, and gives his advice through the app to the general practitioner, and then the general practitioner provides this care to the patients sitting in the periphery of rural part of India. So we have added another counselor leg, or we are calling Asha worker leg to this model just recently, where now we have, um, along with general practitioners, we have counselors that would belong to each and every taluka. And sometimes the patient doesn't necessarily go to a doctor, but he would go to a counselor in a village. And the counselors have the know-how, again, the knowledge to tell the patient about head and neck cancer and preventing head and neck cancer and providing uh, the information. And this is all done through um, the links so that uh, exact information could be transferred. So based on this model, the ENT eSAVA content has about 50 hours of, uh, of all the training imbibed. It's very flexible training. So doctors can listen to thyroid um, information today. They can listen to head and neck cancer. They can listen to vertigo. They can listen to ear issues. So it's about 50 hours training. It's the content is in a standardized template uh, based on American Board of uh, ENT and head and neck surgery and American Joint Cancer Committee, AJCC. So this expert team is also available for guidance 24 seven. So it's like a specialist backup to our uh, tier three general practitioners. So they are, uh, after the 50 hours of training, they do have a quiz. And after the quiz, once they have about 80% passing, the foundation does issue them a certificate of completion. So they could start giving first and second line of ENT and head and neck care right to the patient, right at their doorstep. Uh, let me just briefly play this video.
Let's start the training module by going over the chief complaints for ear, nose, throat and neck. It is very important to take um, this pinpoint history and also the associated duration for each symptom. पहिल्यांदा आपण कानाची रचना समजून घेऊया कान हा बाहेरचा कान मधला कान आणि आतला कान नाकाची तपासणी कशी करावी परत एकदा चांगला हेडलाइट neck examination neck examination of a patient is extremely important in a patient who is complaining of difficulty swallowing so the training is basically in marathi uh, we have started onboarding general practitioners these are the channels that we have used there's a marketing team that in small extent has been working with our organization uh we really have to register doctors through medical institutions and with alliance with government bodies i did make a, a full presentation of ente seva in front of entire health ministry just last week uh, to honorable uh, sharad pawar and uh, to honorable uh, tope sir and all his ministry uh, principal secretary and his commissioners so we have to join hands with the gram panchayats uh, to create uh, awareness we do encourage uh, private sponsorship and uh, this is our target to that year one at least to train 5000 doctors because these doctors generally speaking um, if you consider a uh, general opd then 15 to 20% of the patients have ent and head and neck issues and the key thing that united states has done for the country united states is uh, each and every family practitioner they call it a family practitioner the general practitioner is named as a family practitioner he does have to compulsory really rotate through ent head and neck pulmonology gynecology so these are compulsory rotations so they know the basic know how of how to attend what is the first step to ent and head and neck issues so this being a complex area and even if you consider government sub centers there is no mbbs doctors there i think they are all run by bms and bhms guys that's another subject topic to discover but these doctors unless we train them and utilize them as our early detectors to spread awareness then i i don't think we are going to get there so the benefits of ent e seva to general practitioners is availability availability of world class training expert training for handling complex ent cases thereby growing their practice expert support is uh, is uh, provided tracking of patient data is possible for future reference and they also have an access to an ent kit the benefits to patients is timely screening for oral cancer and other diseases expert guidance at doorsteps and avoid unnecessary investigations and cost of a patient for to come to cities like pune and so on and so forth medical associations i think the benefits the community awareness is a major part of it and to increase the outreach of quality medical care and can extend to other specialties so the roll out plan we already have registered about 60 general practitioners all over maharashtra especially during covid so you can Im imagine that patients couldn't travel during lockdown so what would have happened and how many um you know patients were benefited with this app but in order to scale this and in order to really go across maharashtra for the next 3 years we have to join hands and this is only possible to avoid such a horrific you know situation which is 
uh, not being able to drink, swallow, breathe, we have to join hands. And joining hands would be with uh, other organizations like PACE, um, Indian Medical Association. So I really, really urge to all you guys and all the authorities here that in order to make a significant difference in progression of head and neck cancer, HNC in India through prevention and early detection, the only way to go would be to join hands and extend information and to go, not, not go just stop, but go above and beyond. Because do understand that if we don't do anything to arrest the natural history of head and neck cancer, the numbers show that head and neck cancer is on the rise and is going to double in 2030. So it is going to be a miserable situation where 50 in one is now going to develop head and neck cancer. Thank you so much. And thanks for this invitation here. Thank you, Dr. Vinaya, for an excellent talk. And I promise you all the associations will definitely work together. Okay, may I now request Dr. Meenakshi Deshpande, President, Dr. Raju Variani, also come on stage. Dr. Saxena, please come. We all would like to felicitate Dr. Vinaya Chitare Chakrade. Office bearers in the audience, please come on to the dais. And we also wish to thank Dr. Vinaya Chitay for the special ice creams that she gave for the lunch to all the delegates. That was specially from her. Uh, now we are going to move to a very interesting session. All Since morning, we are listening to ill effects of tobacco and uh, tobacco hazards awareness. There has to be some solution to it. And I think Dr. Sangeeta mentioned about meditation. And now we are going to have a session on meditation by Brahma Kumaris. And may I now request Rohini Didi to come onto the stage. She is MSc in spirituality. And she is going to tell us about meditation and a demo. Uh, Dada. हाँ ते May I request Dr. Meenakshi Deshpande, President, IMA Pune, to felicitate Dr. Saxena, sir, for chairing the session.
I request uh, Heman Dada to say a few words about Rohini Didi. Om Shanti. Uh, as the name suggests, Prajapita Brahma Kumari Ishwari Vishwavidyale is an international organization having presence in 125 countries. We have about 8,500 centers. It has many, many specialties, and I'll be, uh, I'll just go for a few, uh, few of them. The girls standing in front of you, uh, she joined the organization at, at, at her age of 17, when she was uh, in Modern College of Pune. She's a gradu science graduate, and we have more than 10,000 such, uh, Samarpit, we call it, uh, devoted uh, students, teachers, for organizing these meditation courses. Similarly, we have male and brothers. There are also about 20,000 in our organization. It is situated, situated in Rajasthan, Mount Abu, the head office, with the branches all over India. Now, introduction uh, is she is the head of uh, Ravi uh, Ravarpet Center. She is uh, known as Brahma Kumari uh, Rohini. She's a teacher uh, since last, as I told you, uh, last 1995, she's uh, a total uh, Samarpit teacher of Brahma Kumari. Now she will tell you a few things about the organization. Thank you. Om Shanti. Om Shanti, all of you. I request all of you, please uh, come forward and sit here, please. आप सब आगे आकर बैठेंगे कोई कहां पाकिस्तान में बैठे कोई श्रीलंका में सब थोड़ा थोड़ा हां आइए नजदीक आकर बैठो थोड़ा प्लीज तो आज का ये हमें बहुत अच्छा मौका आप सभी ने दिया ये जो और खास करके Parampita Paramatma or Satme Hamare Adarniya Minakshi Madam Alka Madam Jinse Hamari Mulaka Thuiti to Bhoti Sundar Rajka Ye Ap Logoni Hame Seva Karnika Chance Diahi Pratas Maraniya Param Shraddeya Parampita Paramatma Evam Sabi Apo Sabhame Upasit Mishish Atiti Gan Ki Vartaman Samejo Chalrai Bharat Ka जो आजादी का अमृत महोत्सव साल और भारत देश जो इतना महान कंट्री कि जिसके अंदर हम देखते कि भारत को स्वतंत्रता मिल जाए इसके लिए बहुतों ने बहुत कुछ बलिदान किया अपना सेक्रिफाइस किया हुआ है और हम ऐसे स्वतंत्र भारत के नागरिक और हम सभी का भी विशेष इस कार्यक्रम के अंतर्गत हम आप सभी जो डॉक्टर से है मेडिकल से रिलेटेड है उनसे भी योगदान चाहते जो आजादी के अमृत महोत्सव से स्वर्णिम भारत की ओर कि हम भारत को आजाद है लेकिन स्वर्णिम भारत कैसे बनाए तो इसके अंतर्गत आप सभी भी कुछ न कुछ योगदान जरूर करेंगे यही आशा लेकर हम आपके आगे उपस्थित हैं और ये जो प्रोजेक्ट चल रहा है भारत सरकार के द्वारा और साथ में ब्रह्मा कुमारी कि कई प्रकार की योजनाएं भारत सरकार के द्वारा भी पूरे भारत के अंदर बनाई जा रही है और साथ में ब्रह्मा कुमार इसके द्वारा भी कई प्रोजेक्ट लॉन्च किए हुए हैं इसका लॉन्चिंग जो प्रोग्राम हुआ 20 जनवरी को और ऑनलाइन सभी विशेष अतिथिगण इसके अंतर्गत उपस्थित थे और हम देखते कि भारत जो एक आध्यात्मिक प्रधान देश है या संस्कृति प्रधान देश एक विरासत भारत को मिली हुई है जिसके अंतर्गत जो कहा जाता है सर्वे भवंतु सुखिन सर्वे संतु निरामे इस उद्घोषणा को लेकर हम सभी भारत को स्वर्णिम भारत बनाने के लिए सक्षम है भारत को विश्वगुरु के एक विशेष स्टेज पर लाने के लिए हम सभी सक्षम है और हम देखते कि भारत के अंदर जो विशेष मना जनशक्ति बहुत है खास करके उसमें युवा शक्ति और इस युवा शक्ति को कार्यान्वित करके आत्मनिर्भर भारत समृद्ध भारत स्वर्णिम भारत बनाना ये हम सभी के लिए एक बहुत बड़ा आह्वान है 
आज भारत के अंदर और पूरे विश्व में हम सभी को एक वैज्ञानिक दृष्टिकोण प्राप्त है वैज्ञानिक सोच हमारे पास से है जिसके द्वारा एक आर्थिक रूप से हम बहुत मूलभूत जो संरचना है वो निर्माण कर सकते हैं और कर रहे हैं लेकिन जो हम सभी के आगे विशेष चैलेंज जो जो आप सवेरे से चुन रहे सुन रहे हो यहाँ बैठ के कि कितने प्रकार के एडिक्शन और खास करके जो आप यहाँ टोबैको रिलेटेड और जो अल्कोहल रिलेटेड कुछ बातें जो शेयर की और हर एक को हमने देखा कि दिल से चिंता है कि हम भी कुछ करें इसमें और भारत को इन प्रकार के इस प्रकार की बातों से मुक्त करें तो हम देखते हैं कि एक भय मुक्त भारत बनाना या अपराध मुक्त भारत बनाना भ्रष्टाचार मुक्त भारत बनाना हम सभी के आगे एक बहुत बड़ा चैलेंज है और इसके अंतर्गत एक सकारात्मक चिंतन की ऊर्जा हम देखते हैं कि ये स्वर्णिम भारत का आधार स्तंभ बन सकता है और आधार स्तंभ है कहने में कोई दूजा भाव नहीं है तो और हम सभी का एक परम सौभाग्य हमें मिला है जैसे इस देश ने कहो या समय ने हम सभी को एक बहुत ही सुंदर ये परम भाग्य दिया है कि जो हम इस अमृत महोत्सव को साकार में लाने की जिम्मेवारी हम सभी को मिली तो ये अमृत महोत्सव भारत का भारत के एक जन जन का या भारत के हर मन का पर्व होना चाहिए ऐसे नहीं कि अमृत महोत्सव साल चल रहा है हो गया कंप्लीट तो ये बात उसमें नहीं होनी चाहिए तो इसी से रिलेटेड इसके आगे जो हम जो टॉपिक लेकर पहुंचे हैं वैसे समय तो बहुत कम है लेकिन फिर भी हम कोशिश करेंगे कुछ हमें जितना कुछ पता है जो आपसे शेयर करना हम चाहते कि आजादी का अमृत महोत्सव है और इसके अंतर्गत जो टॉपिक हम सभी ने चुना है कि मेंटल हेल्थ हमारी कैसे ठीक रहे क्योंकि हर एक जो भी मेडिकल से रिलेटेड है जो भी रिसर्चर है डॉक्टर है सभी इन तथ्यों को अच्छी तरह से मानते हैं कि जितनी भी बीमारियां है तो उसके अंदर मना एट्टी परसेंट जो बीमारियां है मन के कारण ही होती विश्व स्वास्थ्य संगठन के द्वारा भी ये कई बार जैसे उन्होंने सिद्ध करके बताया कि किस प्रकार से मेंटल हेल्थ खराब होने के बाद फिर और और जैसे फिजिकल हेल्थ हमारी भी कितनी खराब हो जाती है फिर सोशल हेल्थ स्पिरिचुअल ये सारी बातें कैसे उसके कारण इफेक्टेड हो जाती है और अब हमें इसमें करना क्या है तो हम यही योगदान चाहते कि अगर हम इतनी बातों के अवेयरनेस हम सभी के अंदर है तो हम हर एक पेशेंट को या जो भी हमारे कांटेक्ट में आते तो उन्हों के उन्हों को आपके द्वारा ऐसा सुझाव या राय जरूर मिले कि वो मेडिसिन के साथ साथ मेडिटेशन भी हर एक के लिए कितना जरूरी जिससे हमारा मेंटल हेल्थ बहुत अच्छी रीति से हो सकता है डेवलप जैसे हम फिजिकल हेल्थ के बारे में अगर देखेंगे तो कहेंगे टेम्परेचर कितना होना चाहिए नाइनटी एट पॉइंट वगैरह ऐसा या रेस्पिरेटरी रेट आपका कितना होना चाहिए तो फोर्टीन टू एटीन पर मिनट या जैसे होता है कि जो पल्स रेट है आपके तो सेवेंटी टू पर मिनट ये सारी बातें हम जानते हैं और कई प्रकार के लोग खुद की डायग्नोस भी करके लेते हैं चेकिंग करते हैं लेकिन फिर भी कई बार पता ही नहीं चलता क्या हो रहा है अंदर है ना रिपोर्ट भी बड़े नॉर्मल आते तो जरूर मन के अंदर ही कुछ ऐसी बातें आ जाती है जिस कारण उसका हेल्थ के ऊपर भी बड़ा इफेक्ट हो जाता है और हम देखते हैं कि अगर मेंटली हेल्थ हमारी डिफेक्टेड हो जाती है तो उसकी कई मतलब शरीर के इफेक्ट तो जरूर नजर आते ही है तो जैसी हमारी जैसे स्टेट ऑफ माइंड जिस प्रकार का होगा मन की जैसी स्थिति वैसे हमारा स्वास्थ्य बनता रहता है तो इसलिए स्टेट ऑफ माइंड उसको हमें सुधारना बहुत आवश्यक है तो इसी हिसाब से हम थोड़ा जल्दी कवर करेंगे इन बातों को तो हम देखते हैं कि एक आप छोटी कहानी में सुनाती हूँ कि एक लेडीज थे और उसको पूरे शरीर में एकदम मस्कुलर पेन उसको हो रहा था ठीक से वो बैठ नहीं पा रही थी कमर में दर्द घुटनों में दर्द वो करवट बदल रही है तो भी उसको कुछ ना कुछ दर्द फील कर रही है खाना भी ठीक से नहीं खा पा रहे डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम भी उसके एकदम जैसे डैमेज तो डॉक्टरों के पास वो गई माता जी वो और उन्होंने उनसे भी बात की लेकिन उनके जो रिलेटिव्स थे तो उन्होंने उनको कहा कि आपको ना 
किसी साइकोलॉजिस्ट के पास जरूर जानना चाहिए तो वो सोचने लगे कि क्या जरूरत है मुझे तो शरीर में पूरा पेन है जो मैं ठीक से खड़ी भी नहीं रह सकती और वहां जाके मैं क्या करूंगी लेकिन फिर भी उन्होंने सोचा कि मुझे तो जीवन में बहुत निराशा आती है उदासी आती है और मेरे ऐसे निगेटिव संकल्प चलते तो ये कह रहे तो इसलिए जरूर मुझे जानना चाहिए और इस हिसाब से उन्होंने सोच के वो गए और जब वो जिस डॉक्टर के पास गए तो वो तो पहले हिस्ट्री पूरी लेते थे हर एक की तो पूरी उन्होंने उनकी हिस्ट्री ले ली तो बचपन से जब उनको पूछा तो वो एक गरीब घर में थी पली बड़ी थी और उनके मना आठ नौ भाई बहने थे वो सभी मिलकर और सबसे बड़े यही थे जिनका नाम जीना था फिलीपाइंस की वो बहन थी और फिर उन्होंने क्या किया कि बताए अपनी सारी हिस्ट्री तो उसमें बताए कि पूरा घर का पूरा काम उनको ही करना पड़ता था सो जो छोटे छोटे भाई बहने उनको भी संभालने की जिम्मेवारी और बड़ा परिवार होने के कारण फिर माता पिता भी सर्विस के अंदर फाइनेंस के लिए पूरा बिजी होते थे वो तो पूरा उनके ऊपर लोड आता था और इतना प्यार वो चाहते थे माता पिता से लेकिन वो भी इतना दे नहीं पाए इतनी ढंग से उसकी केयर करे पालना दे उसको तो उतना उसको बचपन से मिला नहीं फिर जो भी वो काम करते थे तो कोई ना कोई नुक्स वो निकालते ही रहते थे उसके अंदर कि कपड़े कैसे आपने सुखाए चावल बनाए तो ऐसा कैसे बनाया तो उनको एक आदत पड़ने लगी कि मैं कुछ अच्छा काम करूं ताकि घर वाले मुझे अप्रिशिएट करे और मेरे ऊपर भी उनका अटेंशन जाए बार बार तो वो हर बात परफेक्ट करने के हिसाब से अच्छा करने के हिसाब से आगे बढ़ने लगी लेकिन वो सारे इमोशंस अंदर की उसको प्यार नहीं मिला है बचपन से या किसी का अप्रिशिएशन नहीं मिला किसी ने केयर नहीं की है ही बड़ी और तुझे करना ही पड़ेगा बाकी तो छोटे इस हिसाब से उसको शुरू से ही वही पालना मिली तो अब वो जब बड़ी हो गई शादी हो गई तो उसका जो पति था उसका जो पति था तो वो भी उनके साथ इमोशनल कनेक्शन कुछ भी नहीं था दूर रहते थे वो तो इस प्रकार से वो एकदम मना घर में भी सारे काम वो खुद अकेले करती थी एक्यूरेट हर चीज और इस तरीके से वो सारी बातें करते हुए भी जब उनके पास वो डॉक्टर ने बोला कि आपने अपॉइंटमेंट लेना है यहाँ हम आपकी हिस्ट्री लेंगे तो उनको भी उन्होंने घर में नहीं बुलाया किसी और स्थान पर कि घर उनको अच्छा नहीं लगा तो वही उनकी मानसिकता बन गई थी कि सारा एक्यूरेट होना चाहिए और नहीं होगा तो वो क्या कहेंगे क्या सोचेंगे इस हिसाब से उन्होंने उस मानसिकता में पले बड़े तो इस प्रकार से क्या हो गया कि अंदर इतने इमोशंस ब्लॉक हो गए वो निगेटिव इमोशंस की एनर्जी सारी ब्लॉक हो गई तो हम अभी आपसे यही पूछना चाहते कि आप भी यहाँ बैठे यही चेक करो कि ऐसे कौन कौन सी फीलिंग्स हमारे अंदर आती कि एडिक्शन का मतलब ये नहीं कि सिर्फ ड्रिंक करना या कुछ करना लेकिन किसी भी बुराई के अधीन होना ये सारा एडिक्शन ही तो कोई जैसे खाने के भी एडिक्शन होते है ना या कोई बातचीत करेंगे तुरंत बस उनको बातें करना ही करना है और वो बातें करने को अगर कोई मिला नहीं उनको तो एकदम टेंशन में आते हैं उनको उदासी आती है कहेंगे आज का वातावरण ठीक नहीं ये नहीं वो नहीं तो सबके ऊपर वो अपना एंगर निकालते रहते तो ये भी है तो जरूरी नहीं कि एडिक्शन माना कुछ स्थूल चीजें ही होगी लेकिन ऐसी अंदर भी कई बातें होती है जो आप उनसे मना अगर आप यहाँ बैठे अपनी चेकिंग करेंगे कि कौन सी ऐसी बातें कि जिन बातों के कारण हमें बैड फीलिंग आती है या हमें क्रोध अंदर आता है चिड़चिड़ापन आ जाता है या गुस्सा आता है या एकदम हेल्पलेसनेस लगता है या जैसे कोई मैं मुझे सहारा नहीं मैं अकेली हूँ या अकेलेपन का लोनलीनेस एकदम फील होता है ऐसे कौन कौन सी फीलिंग है जब भी आप आपका मूड चेंज हो जाता है उन बात सिचुएशन के अंदर आप आ जाते हो तो उस समय आपके मन में कौन से विचार आते स्टेट ऑफ माइंड क्या बन जाता है आप सबको यहाँ बैठे बैठे अपने अंदर थोड़ा जाकर झांक कर देखना है क्योंकि हर एक को कोई ना कोई बात अंदर है आज ऐसा एक भी नहीं मिलेगा कि जिसको कोई बीमारी नहीं है और कोई प्रकार का प्रॉब्लम नहीं है एक भी ढूंढने से भी नहीं मिलेगा इसलिए हमें यहाँ बैठे बैठे थोड़ा टाइम है जो हम अपने लिए खुद के लिए देना है और हम चेक करेंगे और जब उन फीलिंग में हम जाते हैं तो शरीर पर कौन कौन से ऑर्गन पर कहाँ कहाँ कितना इफेक्ट होता है 
चेक करना यहाँ बैठे बैठे और जैसे देखते कि जैसे हम उन फीलिंग्स में चले जाते हमारी इम्यूनोलॉजी इम्यून सिस्टम जो है हमारी एंडोक्राइन सिस्टम जो है पूरा जो हार्मोन्स क्रिएट करते वैरायटी या नर्वस सिस्टम है जो तंत्रिका तंत्र जो ब्रेन है उसके अंदर भी अलग अलग परिणाम हो जाते तो जरूरी नहीं हमने एक एक्सपेरिमेंट में ये भी देखा था कि मना जो एडिक्ट है किसी चीज के या जैसे ड्रिंक कर रहे या कुछ कर रहे और जो एडिक्ट नहीं है लेकिन उन इमोशंस में चले जाते जब भी कोई ऐसी सिचुएशन आ जाती है समझो किसी को बचपन से ही प्यार नहीं मिला और अभी वही सिचुएशन फिर से क्रिएट हो गए वो उन फीलिंग्स में चले गए उन्हीं भावनाओं में तो सेम इफेक्ट उनके ब्रेन पर हो रहा है जो ड्रिंक कर रहा है और जो इस प्रकार से निगेटिव इमोशंस के प्रभाव में आ गया अफेक्ट हो गया उस तो दोनों के ब्रेन का सेम इमेज आया था तो इसलिए हम देखते हैं कि कई लोग कहते हैं हमारा तो खाना बड़ा शुद्ध है पौष्टिक खाते हैं हम हम कुछ ऐसे नॉनवेज भी नहीं कर खाते या कोई ऐसे एडिक्शन नहीं किसी चीज के इनको कैंसर हुआ कैसे तो ये सारे हमारे मानसिक स्वास्थ्य खराब हो जाता है तो क्या हो जाता है उन इमोशंस का उन विचारों का हमारे शरीर पर ब्रेन पर हर बॉडी पार्ट पर बड़ा इफेक्ट हो जाता है और हम देखते हैं कि हमारा और एक शरीर जो है प्राणमय ऊर्जा तो जो जो भी हमारी नेगेटिव इमोशंस क्रिएट हो जाते अलग अलग सिचुएशन के वश या अलग अलग व्यक्ति परिस्थिति जो आ जाती हमारे सामने तो उस समय जो भी इमोशंस की नेगेटिव एनर्जी एनर्जी होती तो वो सारी जो हमारी प्राणिक ऊर्जा के द्वारा हमारे शरीर के अंदर सेवन चक्रा है उसको भी इफेक्ट करते हैं उसके अंदर भी छिद्र पड़ जाते वो इनएक्टिव हो जाते पूरा ब्लैकिश हो जाते जिसके द्वारा बॉडी पार्ट्स को अलग अलग प्रकार के वो वाइब्रेशन और वो एनर्जी मिलने वाली थी वो एकदम ब्लॉक हो जाती है तो इसलिए वो उतना ही इफेक्ट हो जाता है तो इसलिए हमें पहले अपने मानसिक रूप से फिर एनर्जी लेवल पर स्पिरिचुअलिटी के आधार से अपने आप को कवर करना है तो इसमें कुछ एक मैं टिप्स देती हूँ क्योंकि तो इतना ज्यादा समय नहीं जो मैं बहुत और बताऊ तो पहली एक यही टिप हो जाती कि हम अपने लाइफ के ऊपर थोड़ा सा अटेंशन दे क्योंकि मन को हर घड़ी चाहिए किसी भी बात में स्टेबिलिटी और बाहर की दुनिया में अगर हम देखेंगे तो मानसिक रूप से शारीरिक रूप से या सोशल सोशल ग्रुप में अगर देखेंगे हर चीज में क्या हलचल ही हलचल है और मन को चाहिए स्टेबिलिटी और हम बाहर से अगर कामना करते कहाँ से मुझे मिलेगा तो मैं ये सब करूंगी तो ये बड़ा असंभव है कि दुनिया में कुछ भी पहले से ही प्रेडिक्ट किया हुआ नहीं और मन को वही चाहिए तो इस हिसाब से अगर हम देखेंगे तो कुछ ना कुछ हमें पहले से ही प्रेडिक्ट करना ही पड़ेगा मन के लिए ताकि मन की स्टेबिलिटी हम कुछ मेंटेन कर सके तो इसमें से एक ठोस उपाय जो है जो हम खुद करते हैं वो है अपनी रूटीन के ऊपर पूरा अटेंशन देना और रूटीन एज इट इज रेगुलर रखने की ही कोशिश करें जो आपका सवेरे उठने का टाइम है खाने का टाइम सोने का टाइम या पूजा पाठ करने का जो वर्क फील्ड पर जाने का वर्क करने का समय पर आने का ये सारा हमारा रूटीन अगर फिक्स है दिनचर्या हम मेंटेन कर पाते ही दिनचर्या के अंदर फिर लाइफ के अंदर जो है हमारा भोजन भी पौष्टिक होना चाहिए हम सोचते कि इसमें प्रोटीन्स मिलेंगे मांसाहार वगैरह करेंगे लेकिन उससे हमारा प्राणी का जो एनर्जी लेवल है पूरा डिफेक्टेड हो जाता है और ब्लॉक होना शुरू हो जाता है जिससे स्टेट ऑफ माइंड भी हमारी चेंज हो जाती है और हमारी जो हम अपने अलग ही स्टोरी बनाते किसी को अगर कभी कुछ बताओ तो कहते दीदी आपको पता नहीं हमारी जरा स्टोरी अलग है तो उनकी अलग ही स्टोरी बन मना एटोमेटिक डेवलप हो जाती कि कुछ भी सिचुएशन क्रिएट हो जाती तो उनके संकल्प थॉट देखो किस प्रकार के चलते रहते फिर किसी को ब्लेम करना कि सब लोग ऐसे ही है सब सभी आजकल भ्रष्टाचार करते कोई विश्वास के पात्र ने उनकी अपनी वो जैसे एक स्टोरी शुरू ही हो जाती हर एक सिचुएशन में माइंड स्टेट ऑफ माइंड उनका जैसे बना हुआ ही और उस अनुसार वो चलते रहते तो हम देखते कि उससे हमारा सारा बॉडी का जो एनर्जी लेवल है पूरा डिफेक्टेड हो जाता है तो इसलिए हमें पहले तो लाइफस्टाइल पर अपने ध्यान देना है रोज के रोज एक्सरसाइज कम से कम दस मिनट तो वॉकिंग घर में भी आप कर सकते हो है ना और फिर रोज रात को सोने के पहले हमें जो भी हमने दिनचर्या में कार्य किए है किस तरीके से किए और किस कितने प्रकार के इमोशंस थॉट अगर क्रिएट हुए 
और जितने भी निगेटिविटी आई हमारे अंदर रोज का रोज हमें रिलीज करके ही सोना चाहिए अगर हम ऐसे ही अंदर रखते रहेंगे तो क्रॉनिक स्ट्रेस बनता रहता है रोज का थोड़ा इकट्ठा होते होते है नहीं कि एक्यूट स्ट्रेस के जो बना हुआ ही है पहले से ही बहुत समय से और वही प्रकार के इमोशंस या कोई सिचुएशन क्रिएट हो जाते तो वो उसमें एकदम चले जाते उस समय भी वो रोए थे और आज वही सिचुएशन कुछ अगर उनको सिर्फ मेमोरी मेमोराइज भी किया किसी ने तो तुरंत उस मोड में ही चले जाएंगे जबकि अभी कुछ ऐसी बात नहीं हुई लेकिन हम देखते हैं कि वो रोना भी शुरू करेंगे उन सारे इंसिडेंट को याद कर करके एकदम रोना भी आ जाता है कईयों ने उनको समझाया हो गई बात जाने दो छोड़ दो लेकिन वो इमोशंस अंदर इतने अटक गए है इसलिए हम देखते हैं कि रोज का रोज वो रिलीज करना भी बहुत आवश्यक है दूसरा हम जितना नेचर के साथ रहेंगे तो उतनी हमें कॉस्मिक एनर्जी मिलती रहेगी और जो भी निगेटिविटी उसके जो कीटाणु अंदर डेवलप होते रहते ऑटोमेटिक वो मरते रहते इसलिए सनलाइट में रहना या नेचर के साथ जाना ये बहुत हमें फायदा देगा रोज ये अगर हम कर सके तो बहुत अच्छा और अगर सिटी में हम देखते हैं तो ओपन टेरेस से वहां जाओ ऊपर आकाश तत्व तो कम से कम मिलेगा ही और हर एक के पास गार्डन वगैरह ऊपर है तो बहुत अच्छी बातें है तीसरा जो है कि मन की जो अवस्था है कि हमारा हमारे विचार जो है हमारी भावना है हमारी मान्यता है उसके अंदर जितने अभी मैं हर पॉइंट का इतना विस्तार नहीं करूंगी टाइम के हिसाब से मैं एग्जाम्पल कुछ दूंगी लेकिन इन शॉर्ट में मैं सारी बातें आपको दे रही हूँ तो इसलिए हमें उनको भी जितने उसके अंदर निगेटिविटी आई है उसके ऊपर हमें ध्यान देना बहुत आवश्यक है जो भी अंदर मेमोरी में अगर हमने ये किया है डेवलप कुछ बातें तो हमें उन मेमोरीज को भी खत्म करना रिलीज करना बहुत आवश्यक है जो दुख भरी यादें अंदर भरी पड़ी है रेगुलर स्ट्रेस कई बातों के कारण आता रहता है फाइनेंशियल के कारण या कई व्यक्ति ऐसे मिलेंगे कोई सिचुएशन परिस्थितियां हमारे आगे आएंगी तो हमें जितना हम मेडिटेशन करते हैं और सतोगुण में हम जितना रहते तो उन बातों को कवर करना हमारे लिए बहुत सहज हो जाता है और हम अंदर से स्टेबल हो पाते हैं ऐसे नहीं कि हम कुछ अपने को स्पिरिचुअल बनाए और ये सारी बातें खत्म हो जाएंगी बातें खत्म नहीं होगी लेकिन उनसे फेस करने की पावर हमारे अंदर बढ़ती जाएगी जो हमारे शास्त्रों में भी दिखा है कि महाभारत में खुद कृष्ण साथ में खड़ा है तो इसका मतलब ये नहीं कि युद्ध ही पूरा खत्म हो गया लेकिन युद्ध करने के लिए जो पावर चाहिए वो मिलती रहती है ना तो जितना हम सतोगुण में रहेंगे स्पिरिचुअल प्रॉपर स्पिरिचुअल एजुकेशन हमारे पास है इतना डीपली उसका स्टडी करते हम तो हमें बहुत हेल्प मिलती है अलग अलग सिचुएशन में अलग अलग लोगों के साथ जब हम व्यवहार में है कार्य कर रहे तो उन सभी बातों को वेल अच्छी रीति से हम हैंडल कर सकते और इंस्ट्रक्टिव विजुअलाइजेशन हीलिंग भी हम करें अपनी रेगुलर जिसके लिए यहाँ ऐसे कई भारत के अंदर तो बहुत स्पिरिचुअल ऑर्गेनाइज और खास ब्रह्मा कुमारी एजुकेशन जो ऑर्गेनाइजेशन है इसके अंतर्गत कोई गुरु वगैरह नहीं है स्वयं भगवान आकर हमें सारी रेमेडीज देते जा रहे तो इसका जरूर आप फायदा उठाए जहां पर कोई फीस वगैरह नहीं ली जाती और जितना हम स्पिरिचुअलिटी को अपनाते तो स्पिरिचुअलिटी से क्या होता है कि हमारी जो रियल आइडेंटिटी है हम रियल में है कौन कि जो जैसे हम यहाँ दुनिया में आए मटेरियल वर्ल्ड में हम अपने को शरीर समझने लगे मैं वाइफ हूँ तो मेरा पति ऐसा होना चाहिए मैं माँ हूँ तो मेरे बच्चों ने ऐसा ही करना चाहिए तो हम हर बात से इफेक्टेड होते गए लेकिन ईश्वर हमें रियल आइडेंटिटी बताते कि स्पिरिचुअल जब हम बन जाते तो मैं ये कुछ हो ही नहीं इस शरीर को भी चलाने वाली में शक्ति अलग हुई है सारा मटेरियल वर्ल्ड है और स्पिरिचुअलिटी में आने से स्पिरिचुअल नॉलेज से हमें पता चलता है कि जो भी मटेरियल वर्ल्ड में हम लेना चाहते हैं कितना भी मिले लेकिन वो अल्प काल का ही होता है सदा काल का यहाँ सुख प्यार शांति आनंद हो ही नहीं सकता तो मिलता है थोड़ा सा हमें लगता और मिलेगा हम जैसे विज्ञान की दुनिया में ये तंत्र ज्ञान विज्ञान और इतना विस्तार में चले जाते लेकिन स्पिरिचुअलिटी अगर हम रोज करते तो इन सारी बातों से विस्तार मटेरियल वर्ल्ड से अपने आप को जूम आउट करना बड़ा इजी हो जाएगा और जो जब हम इन विस्तार की बातों से मटेरियल वर्ल्ड से अपने आप को जूम आउट करते रियल आइडेंटिटी में खड़े हो जाते हैं तो हमें सारी बातें क्लियर दिखाई देती है और हमें करना क्या है वो हम डिसीजन सहज रूप से ले सकते 
तो इसलिए ये रेग्युलर स्टडी करना भी बहुत आवश्यक है तभी हम हर घड़ी हर आधे घंटे के बाद जूम आउट करना और अपने रियल आइडेंटिटी में आकर राइट राइट कर्म करना ये हमारे लिए और बड़ा इजी हो जाएगा तो ऐसी कई बातें टाइम के हिसाब से हम यहाँ ही फुल स्टॉप लगाते हैं और अभी हम सभी मिलकर के गाइडेड मेडिटेशन करेंगे ठीक है तो आप सभी थोड़ा सीधे बैठ जाए Deep breath in, breathe out, relax होकर बैठे एकदम अपने सांसों पर ध्यान केंद्रित करें हम अभी अपने अंतर जगत की यात्रा करेंगे अपने आप को देखें पास्ट का कोई ऐसा इंसिडेंट याद करे जब हम एकदम बैड फीलिंग्स में गए या किसी को अकेलापन महसूस हुआ हेल्पलेसनेस की फीलिंग आई एकदम सैड फीलिंग आई दुख का फील फीलिंग आई उस इंसिडेंट को हम याद करें हम अपने आप से कनेक्ट हो जाएं, फील करें कौन से इमोशंस अंदर क्रिएट हुए थे जो इंसिडेंट मेरे साथ हुआ उस समय मेरे साथ कौन कौन थे मेरी उस समय की मन की स्थिति क्या थी कौन सी फीलिंग आई आप एक्नोलेज करें अपनी फीलिंग को उस फीलिंग को आप नाम दो या अकेलापन महसूस हुआ प्यार नहीं मिला अशांत हो गए टेंशन आया चिंताग्रस्त हो गए डर लगने लगा गिल्टी फील हुआ इल्यूजन में चले गए क्या हुआ अपनी फीलिंग्स को आप नाम दो और जब ऐसी फीलिंग आई उन इमोशंस में चले गए शरीर के अंदर कौन से पार्ट पर इफेक्ट हुआ दर्द महसूस हुआ सूजन हुई रेड कलर हो गया अनुभव करो कौन से पार्ट पर ईश्वर से प्रार्थना करें कि आप हमें गाइड करें, ट्रिगर पहचानने में आप हमें मदद करें, आप हमारा दिशा निर्देशन करें सर्वशक्तिमान परमात्मा उनसे वह दिव्य पावर्स रिसीव करते जा रहे वो दिव्य शक्तियां मेरे अंदर प्रवेश कर रही है और शरीर में जिस भी पार्ट में दर्द है वो दिव्य प्रकाश वहां पहुंच कर पूरा हिल कर रहा है एक एक सेल के अंदर गॉड्स पावर पहुंच कर सारा दर्द निकलता जा रहा है विजुअलाइज करो सेल एकदम 
नॉर्मल हो गई है हिल हो गई है उन सेल्स को भी आप रिक्वेस्ट करो आप हिल हो जाओ स्वस्थ बन जाओ ताकि मैं मेरे जीवन में हर दिन हर कार्य सही ढंग से करके सफलता पाऊ मन के अंदर जो भी नेगेटिव इमोशंस अकेलेपन के या प्यार नहीं मिला चिंता गिल्टी फील होना जो भी उस इंसिडेंट में आपके अंदर इमोशंस क्रिएट हुए थे अभी अपने आप का साथ दे भले आपको उस समय किसी ने साथ नहीं दिया उस समय आप छोटे थे अभी आप एडल्ट हो अपने साथ खुद खड़े हो जाओ मैं अपने आप के साथ खड़ी हूं मैं स्वयं को समझ रही हूं स्वयं भगवान मेरे साथ खड़ा है स्वयं भगवान मुझे साथ दे रहा है उनकी सर्व शक्तिया मेरे साथ है अपनी सेल्फ केयर करते सेल्फ पार्टनर बनते सेल्फ लव में रहे अपने आप का साथ दे जो पुराने वाला मैं है जो दुखी हुआ था दर्द में चला गया था लोनलीनेस फील कर रहा था उस पुराने वाले मैं को आज मैं सशक्त बनकर सक्षम बनकर सांत्वना दे रही हूं साथ दे रही हूं सारे मन के अंदर निगेटिव इमोशंस जो भी है काले धुए के रूप में पूरा बाहर निकलता जा रहा है मैं संपूर्ण रूप से हल्केपन का अनुभव कर रही हूं सारी दुख भरी एनर्जी दुख भरी यादें जो भी मेमोरी बनी थी वो सारी डिलीट होती जा रही है सर्व निगेटिव इमोशंस में छोड़ती जा रही हूं मैं सक्षम हूं सशक्त हूं मैं ईश्वरीय संतान हूं ओम शांति 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 सभी अपने वापिस स्वस्थिति में नॉर्मल स्थिति में आए ओम शांति और आप सभी के लिए ईश्वरीय घर से जो प्रसाद लेकर आए आप प्रसाद भी जरूर लेकर जाना और याद सौगात भी लेकर आए तो भी जरूर जाते समय लेकर जाना यहाँ पर आएंगे आप ऊपर आके लेके जाएंगे पहले जी हाँ पहले मीनाक्षी मैडम को भी हम सौगात देंगे अलका मैडम भी आइए
रोहिणी दीदी और हेमंत भाई का बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद बहुत अच्छा आपने दिया आए मैं पुणे की तरफ से मैं आपके आभारी हूँ हेमंत दादाजी को भी सम्मान करते हैं आइए जो भी जा रहे अपनी सौगत लेकर जाना प्रसाद और सौगत लेके जाना आई वुड ऑल्सो लाइक टू से फ्यू वर्ड फॉर वोट ऑफ थैंक्स टू ऑल द डेलीगेट्स हु अटेंडेड टू डेट सी एम ई सिंस नाइन ओ क्लॉक इट वॉज आफ्टर मेनी डेज अ फुल हाउस फिजिकल सी एम ई सो आई एम ए पुणे विशेष टू थैंक we also wish to thank dr nitin abhyankar who was the convener for today's cme and all the faculty who joined physically as well as from abroad and online uh, miraskar uh, thank you very much for all the videography and dj shield for the platform we also wish to thank the caterers for excellent food shriya caterers and also dr vinaya chitay for the special ice cream she gave to all okay all the chairmen who took out their time we are grateful to you sir and uh, no cme is possible uh, without support and so i wish to thank alkem pharma sipla pharma and also apex insurance for giving the academic support for this cme last but not the least our ima staff uh, i request mr aniket shede kaka navde kaka everyone to come on to the stage please सगे या स्टेज वर या मीनाक्षी मैम खूब छान डॉक्टर अलका मैडम स्टेज वर या धावड़े काका स्टेज वर या एक फोटो घर राजू सर स्टेज वर या ऑफिस बेरर पैकी जे को अनिकेत कु अनिकेत एक फोटो Thank you. 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 Thank you.